situation individual 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 now, I will suggest for you right now do not put French vanilla in your coffee. Coming to you live from the frigid armpit of America, this is the Drunken Peasants Podcast with Ben and TJ, bringing you opinions of the news from an altered perspective. <laughs> Uh, no, not on you, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> if you say, it's okay. You're nothing, okay. KJ. You're garbage. Okay. I just want to no, no, be no, no, light. No, 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 You're no, no, garbage. No, 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 no. <laughs> and now, here are your hosts. Hello, welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast, where we DP the internet. Today is a, uh... Oh, there we go. Yeah. There's no... Forget about that. Everything's going smoothly. <laughs> Everything's fine here. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Paul's ego in the house. All right, perfect. Good. All right, You're welcome back to the show. Thank um, you. I, and even you, if Paul is super loud, the audience just needs to be like, it's the voice of God anyway. I mean, how do you feel <laughs> about uh, hashtag we were there? Uh, I yeah. loved it. I showed it to my wife. He pioneered she, it. She she thought it was uh she thought it was the funniest thing ever. I said hashtag we're there is kind of <laughs> it's kind of trending right now because of me. And she was like shut up and 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 I said no like seriously go go look at it and uh, it was chock full of love from. We need to keep GP. that going, everybody. Hashtag we were there. We were there. Let wow. us know if you were there the day the strength of uh, Brett Keen. Fell again, perpetually <laughs> and always. That French vanilla is going right through me, guys. TJ, you're more that articulate than usual today. I'm more articulate. Than yeah, you. you're mo. You you speaking mo better, TJ. Yeah, I speaking mo good. I talk real good. Man, I I, I learned me all them education down at the schoolhouse. Man, I got educated down at about the sixth I went grade, at least man. until third, th- sixth grade. I went to third. Oh, grade. I was in second oh. grade. Uh, excuse me, TJ, but are you sure you didn't uh, get your education situation from one of your dad's diploma mill scams? Oh, 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 it's all now. TJ has like, a, P- like a PhD father in bullshit. situation like son individual. <laughs> hey, Paul, I saw yeah. I saw several people um, praising the use of individual and situation, but I did see one person who was like, you know what, guys? <laughs> You're doing that joke too much. Too much of a good time. Stop yeah, I it. I read somebody, I think, on. Uh, in apparently, the, that individual has a problem that, with this situation. That yeah. individual situation <laughs> there has a problem I with that, that situation. Uh, Paul, did you see Brett turn on uh, Tommy from the Bronx? Yes. It's amazing. Uh, I, I, the drunken presence tearing Brett apart from the few remaining yeah. friends he has. No, no, didn't you say that he had a list of 20 good atheists? Yeah, now it's down to 19. What a tragedy. Tommy, Tommy from the Bronx was like the second dude that Brett Keen shouted out in that infinite list that he babbled off. His Oscar acceptance speech. He yes. was like, his girlfriend Jay Dobbs, <laughs> of course, and then he was like, and then Tommy from the situation. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and like he's number two, you know, and today he's because, you know, because he's mad. You're either a part of the cult of Brett or you're against it. You know, when the when the alpha wolf, one of the beta wolves, the beta wolf has to go find a weaker wolf. To, but unfortunately for Brett, he is the Omega wolf. Yeah, there's a, he's just a wander the woods. He's actually not even a wolf. He's just a um, a Maltese that the wolf pack took in because they felt sorry for it. By the way, uh, tonight <laughs> is... Insult the Maltese. Tonight is Drunken Peasants History. For the first time ever, we are broadcasting in glorious 1080p. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, 1080p! We finally moved into... More P than ever here yeah. on this podcast. Extra P. <laughs> We've got all the P you need. As much P as you could possibly ever want. We should change our name to the DPPPPP con podcast because, I mean, you know, we got so much P... Yeah. You shook a little too far there, man. No. And we got Paul's ego. That starts with P. Just just a little farther, TJ. 
Go a little farther, TJ. It's, yes, I am. I will not admit to anything. Oh, shut up. So, You're Ben, a- so ben you deny it. Ben, I deny it. Ben is ben a fun guy. Ben, it. I'll just say this Ben's about a denial. Ben. Ben is a fun guy, and that's all you need to know. He's a fun guy. Um, I will say uh, <coughs> I, I'm, I'm incredibly jealous of you guys. And in an attempt to kind of equalize the situation, Fation. I did, did what heroin. I could. Now, Do you feel as though you are at one with the universe right now? Kind of, yeah. Wow, I feel, yeah, that's, I, that's I feel awesome. a connection with all living things right now. Except like for I Brett Keen, feel, of course. Let it flow through you, Paul. I can feel a resonance in the galaxy that is tied together by this human bond that we create with one another. And the only black spot in this giant array of light is Brett Keen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're gonna we're gonna like an Obi Wan speech there, Situation. like it is a force that finds all living things, except Brett Keen, of course. Yeah, Brett Keen is out of it. I don't even know who that is, but I just sense that he's evil. Brett Keen's not even evil in a cool Sith way. Yeah, you know, he's and I evil found... in like a stormtrooper henchman that gets shot in like the first second. Nah, he's kind of like Watto or something. Oh, he's Watto. Oh God, or he's like only money. He's like Jabba the Hutt's stepson who you know can't. He's like if fire. Watto. <laughs> He's like if Watto and Jar Jar Binks had like a love child. That's ah, what he is. Yeah. Maybe, will, maybe I was in the deleted scenes of Phantom Menace. That'll come out after George Lucas dies, you know? Yeah, yeah. Did you know Brett Keen urinated six times? I don't was he urinating? French vanilla well, he goes left. right through. He was, he was talking about French vanilla in his coffee, and coffee tends to make you he was gone for really long times. Okay. Does it work as like a diuretic or something, you know. It was six times and on the drunken uh, peasants wiki, if you go there, each one is time stamped. Well, yeah, look, you can I see mean, it. look, I mean, coffee we is can a even major, we can we can make is a, a video major diuretic. It it, yeah. it does make you piss a lot if you drink a lot of it. It makes your piss smell like it too. Yeah. It for does. some people piss anyway. Smelling coffee. Told you there's more pee on this show than ever. I, I have, I, I finally, I've written my next book, everybody. Is this it's your, wow. long awaited. And uh, it's called Eternal Undying Love. Is this your announcement? By, you yes, about? by T.J. Kirk. Wow. Really? Is it going to be a trilogy it's by a, chance? You know, it is a planned trilogy. Wow. And it's a, it's a supernatural thriller. And that's all I'll say for now, but it's going to be brilliant. Some individuals get in some serious situations. Yes, they do. Wow, I'm sold. Pre-order. Hey, hey, uh, TJ. Yes. will Will it be a hellish roller coaster that I have the pleasure of riding? Oh, yeah. That definitely awesome. sound like words that describe uh, what the experience of reading this <laughs> book is. Are like. you gonna get fake magazines to review it and write positive reviews? Oh, it's already got glowing reviews. Oh, on wonderful. I haven't even put it out yet, but I got the Amazon reviews ready to go. <laughs> I have some people in the Philippines standing by to write fake reviews the minute it's released. Oh, who, they're not fake, you know. They're people. They're people in the Philippines. Well, you, are you saying people in the Philippines don't have opinions, Scotty? You know what? You're Their right, opinions TJ. don't count. It, it, you just so happen to have paid them. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you know, they got some money. I gave them presents. They want to write a good review for me. You know, it's a voluntary transaction. I never paid them to write the good review. I just gave them a gift, and well, then uh, you know the they question, chose to repay me by writing a good review. Wow. For the book. Well, but the question is, them. the question is, TJ, <laughs> how did how did those 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 user reviews end up edited into your editorial reviews section situation? You know, I just some people. You know, I you it's, know, it's a, a natural. It's a natural thing that happens. Is you know, when you're sitting there, you write a book, and people just love it automatically because you know, just how it goes in life. You know, Amazon probably just took it upon things themselves you do or to just add, instantly, to put those in there. You know, if you write a book, it's instantly successful and everyone loves it, and that's just how <laughs> how life works. So yeah. I mean, that's obvious. You know, Amazon.com is just trying to give a bow. Question. Yeah. It's a ridiculous question. You're even asking me. It is, oh, and okay. Amazon probably did it. And you know, furthermore, I think you're a bad person for asking that question. Wow. <laughs> and, and your father was a scammer, Paul. We clearly know that. Like father, uh, like son. Like I mean, I heard, like we, we heard a story on this very show about your, your father beating you practically, you know? <laughs> for, for, for denting his trumpet. Yeah, you know, you all you did was damage an, a musical instrument. He chose to react yeah, with such so, you violence know, and fury. Paul's that, also mine. I must you know? be. I, yeah, well, you must be. Like father, like son, you know? We're all, you know. Except Brett Keen. If history has shown one thing, it's that we are all the exact genetic replicas of our fathers and doomed to make their exact mistakes. Hold on, Scotty. What what part about that didn't you like? Oh, oh shit. That was a scare. Oh, screamer. Twist, scare. In. You, are, you already know the part I don't like, Ben. What? You already know. <laughs> 
those drunken peasants put a screamer in one of their videos, and it's like showing they, a they showed me as, my a, as a matinee. I will be filing a lawsuit. You believe when he came on, it was like, yeah, you guys say I'm a matinee, right? And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> a so matinee. Dumb. Yeah, so we, you gotta say it, I'm a matinee. Matinee. Yeah, you're a late night movie. I didn't realize how dumb Bro, Breaking what, truly was. Isn't that a daytime movie? A matinee? Yeah, it's yeah. gonna go before like the the, the, yeah, the, it's like, the main show. Ticket prices are are less because it's like in the middle of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what it shit. is. It's a matinee show of, yeah. a, of, a, of a motion picture situation. <laughs> situation. All right. Uh, oh, you've ruined the word situation and individual and you know what? for all time. Did it. I give credit where credit is due. The person No, because you're the person that started pointing it out so much that he just constantly, it's like 90% oh, of his go. You have destroyed these words. And then, to add I, insult to injury, while we were doing that in the show, you ruined the Jeopardy theme music for all time. And by the way, that's been stuck in my head ever since. I'll be sitting there. Individual. individual. No, it's situation. Situation, individual, individual, situation. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> over and over, those two words. I feel like I'm going to go insane like the Madden Hatter because you got that crazy shit stuck in my head on repeat hey, ever wait, since. Wait, wait, do you start listening to how Brett Keen says the word on? On? On. He doesn't on. say Do an impression. He doesn't, he doesn't say on. Okay, this is Brett Keen saying on. I'm going to say... Uh, in fact, I'm going to sing a song situation for you. <laughs> uh, I sang a little bit. This is a reprise of it. Uh, we get together and we share the night. It goes orn and orn and orn and orn. Strangers situations. That, he says orn. Or, he doesn't know how to orn. say on. He says orn. I was, I was, I was orn the internet the other day. On the yeah, he did. Oh, you're right. Ah, it's not a horn. Why are you doing this to us, Paul? Why? Good sir. He is a Brett Keen historian, dude. Yeah. Really? You, you should write a book about Brett Keen. He's, He's called it an no one, studied the no stallion. No one would want to buy it. I an mean. unauthorized situation. <laughs> By the individual Paul's ego, the individual, and I and I, and, and I want to say too that that last that when I sang that um the 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 obviously it was a journey in Brett's voice. Somebody did that on the internet one time, and I almost died. I almost shit myself laughing. And he sounded just like Brett, and he was like, "I have a new song situation," <laughs> and he just started singing that. And he did the whole "Ladies and Gentlemen, Three you, Lights," you know. So I did steal. I did. You I, know, but I'm, but, but I'm I'm crediting for my work. You know? Not even you Jacqueline Glenn that shit. Not even three hours before we did the show, I get a message from TJ. Being like, I don't want to talk about Brett Kane anymore. And he doesn't even exist anymore. I'm like, <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting Brett Keen on the show. <laughs> hey, I agreed to it when you did it. I'm like, yeah, let's fucking get him on here and put an end to this shit. Well, we're talking about him again, aren't we? Yeah, but you know, it's the aftermath and shit. Oh, okay. The aftermath of the Brett Keen. I mean, song. he you know, anybody who thought maybe he was gonna be even slightly credible at this point realizes no. No, I don't know so, why anyone you know, would have gone and in that's, with that misconception. And that's the real victory, and it's the last thing I'll say about it tonight, unless we talk about it again, in which in which case I'll, I'll bloviate for for longer. But the real sure. victory of last night wasn't that we like fuck on Brett Keen. The real victory is, is that that video is going to be super popular, and every time Brett Keen googles his name for the rest of his life, that's the first result he's going to see. <laughs> is that fucking video? Which is beautiful. And he's going to be reminded of the situation that happened. <laughs> We were there. Uh, life is beautiful. Anyway, Good to see you. <laughs> we got JF and we got Shirt Guy. Yeah. Hello. What's up, JF? I don't know. I, I receive a lot of messages from the Drunken Peasants fan saying there's a situation, but I don't know at all because I've not watched the recent episode. So what, is, what are people meaning by there's a situation? Uh, Probably last Wednesday's episode. Oh, okay. It was the best episode ever. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I thought it was very enjoyable. Breaking has ruined the word situation. And it's such a and common word. Yeah. It's such a common word. Like I was like last night I was watching football. It's like, this is a fourth down situation. I was like, oh, God. I just, I just oh. heard that in Brett Keen's voice. Fourth down situation. This is a fourth down situation with some individuals. I just think of Paul's ego when I hear that. Oh, yeah. Paul does like... 
I, I, about as bad. As, I, don't, I don't think I've ever heard anyone impersonate Brett. Keen I would better. say that Paul does a better Brett Keen than Brett Keen. I would, <laughs> I would agree with you. I would agree with you. Paul is the master of imitation. Situation, just as at least on this show, individual situation. <laughs> So does uh, Scotty feel vindicated now that the World Health Organization has declared processed meats to be a carcinogen? Yes, he does. Well, I, I already do all that stuff, so not well, red, really. And red oh, meat, uh, red meat is li- listed as a possible carcinogen. Scotty's response, as always, is "Bam! Told you, bitch." <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen, individual. Well, make sure you check out my gaming channel, Games You Love. Concept that I would have liked. I'm glad that that has happened for godly individuals. I researched my particular PP situation, and I literally, there's no com, and they simply don't care. <laughs> And of course, the atheist individuals, when they're all in a group, they want to be 40 years old. Well, that's my feeling situation, ladies and gentlemen, individuals. And I love worldwide net and individual situation. Ah! Shit. Oh my God. The matinee. <sighs> oh, that jump scare always gets me every time. So, uh, you guys won't believe this. None of us saw this coming. And I just want to make sure you guys are prepared Bobby for the... Bobby Jindal. <coughs> what? It's Bobby Jindal thing. No. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> I knew you guys saw this coming, though. Um, <coughs> Brett Keen yeah. is leaving YouTube. Oh, my God. <laughs> for what? The uh, one millionth time? What are you talking about? Please, please, hold it together. I know. (laughs) This is devastating news. I know. The one millionth time was uh, 12,467 I'm dealing with my grief through through, through laughter. Uh, Here's uh, Brett's final video. I'm sure he will not make another one. Never again will he grace YouTube. Well, he's he's still doing games you love, though. That's what he's focusing on. So you know what? We can say whatever we want to Brett because he'll never respond. He's never going to respond. He's never going to respond. Finally, we can say whatever we want. Yep. Yep. So this is Brett's final video. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen. I wanted to let you all know that I'll be focusing (coughs) on my gaming channel, Games You Love, for now on. (laughs) If you want to be able to watch my videos, then you'll see you games, an idiot? games you love. Whether Remember, he's be- never going to respond hey, to this. he's not a waterhead idiot. This is kids. <laughs> Dude, he on. is. I think his kids are fine. He's a waterhead idiot. Just look at him. Remember, he's never going to respond to this. Never. He's never going to respond to this. I'm trying to think of a little song I can sing about Brett Keane's family. <laughs> PlayStation or PC, whatever the case might be. I have no interest whatsoever in continuing on with the great debate. Good, because you've been destroyed a million times. I have felt for a long time that there is no great debate on the Internet. There is Not when you're involved, no. I would say you're right about that. Brett Keen has not made a video about anything but drama you, for months. Yeah, they're like attack videos. He doesn't debate shit. Yeah, what if he wanted to debate <laughs> ideas, he's going about it all the wrong way. <clears throat> yeah, if, okay, the entire time he was on the show, did we really debate any issues? Like, not really. No. no in fact, when I tried to steer it that way, he just immediately, like... It was your father's a scammer, Tracer. Was, you're a scammer. It was a debate about who was a bigger piece of shit, yeah. basically. I won the debate. I'm not as big of a piece of shit as Brett Keen. I'm still a piece of shit, <laughs> but I'm not as Matt, bad of a piece of shit as Brett. That's pretty sad you need Brett Keen to make yourself look good, TJ. It is pretty sad, but it's still true. I'm better than Brett Keen. It's like okay. in that episode of Family Guy where they were talking about Cleveland and the Cleveland's tagline was Cleveland. It's better than Detroit. Well, we're not Detroit. Yeah, mine is like better than Brett Keen, y'all. Better than Brett Keen. Better than Brett Keen since 1985. Hashtag still better than Keen, though. <laughs> Doe. Doe. You can spell that. So in a way, you D-O-E. can say you're actually you're actually happy Brett Keen exists, DJ. Oh, yeah. Yes, he is. He can't deny it. <laughs> yeah, you know, because it's like he sets the standard that, you know, 
no matter how bad you get, you can always look to Brett Keen and be like, well, at least I ain't Brett Keen. At least I ain't yeah. Brett Keen, man. It's so true. Simply Christians sharing their <laughs> testimonies, why they believe the way they believe, and then there's That's been none of your videos, who dude. personally attacked You're a joke. Them, and also have been known to flag YouTubers down repeatedly oh. that oppose You false their flag system. piece of shit, Brett King. You're so you cannot, you have no right to criticize anyone when you engage in the exact same behavior like you're a fu- <laughs> Water-headed. <laughs> Respect freedom of speech. Here's I don't sloshing think around. care about any of that. Recently, in the last week, I put up a video that was 40 seconds long <coughs> with text in it that stated that I needed help, that I had issues with my computer. I've gotten this resolved. However, the atheist community out there flagged me. Wow, you got uh, to resolve. Oh, wait, go wait until you hear this story. This story is clearly bullshit. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to listen to Brett's. So, so he got a flag, okay? Totally true story. Claimed that the video had sexual content <laughs> in it when it was just a text <laughs> video asking for help called. It was just a text video. There yeah. was no sexual content. I saw content. it, yeah. Help me, God bless you. Now, YouTube. I prayed to God. Uh, I, I already know he's lying because it was flagged for sca being a scam. No one flagged it for <coughs> sexual content. People flagged it for being a scam. About this. And I prayed and asked God, if you want me to continue to talk about you and support Christianity. You talk about TJ you, more than you talk about God. Uh, I think I thought we established that since the name of his channel is God TV Radio, <laughs> and he talks almost exclusively about me, <laughs> that I must be his God, right? Yes. We figured that out. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm Brett Keen's God, and it makes sense. It really does. And uh, Brett, I want you to hit yourself right now. <laughs> Eat well, that chicken. to do these videos, then let the strike go away. But if the strike remains and YouTube rejects it, then I will not be sowing seeds anymore. I will not be talking about God and religion or politics. Okay, I'm sure he's not. Gonna, I'm sure he's never going to do that again. Never. He's done. This is. I mean, like he's done. When Scotty said millionth, obviously that was a slight exaggeration. But really, this has happened so. Many okay, times. times, dozens, so many times, so many times. So like at least 24 times. I mean, it's got to be. Yeah. Something you know, like that. if anyone told me it was less than 15, I would be surprised. Hold on. Um, on the DP wiki. There are uh, there's a list of all the names of Brett Keen's channels and which ones were deactivated. <laughs> Great. Let's see. Channel situations. <laughs> all right. Read out all of the channels Brett Keen has had. That, that were terminated? Yeah. Yeah, it, just all of them. <clears throat> all of them? Yeah. Okay, so even the ones that still exist. Sure. Okay, so there's 20 of them. There's God TV Radio. There's Brett Keen Hollywood. There's Sub to Keen Vlogs. <laughs> there's Keen Vlogs. There's Brett Keen Vids, which is... Still around. Uh, Brett Keen, Too Hot for YT, I guess YouTube. Too Hot for YouTube. Yeah. Uh, Brett Keen is God. Wow. Uh, Mr. Evolution 777. Neat. Brett Keen Warcraft. Uh, Brett Keen dot com. Uh, God TV Radio Show, which still exists. Uh, subscribe to Keen Vlog. Uh, Brett Keen Jr. The Stallion seventy six, uh, games you love, which exists still. God TV Inter Radio International still exists. Brett Keen Superstar still exists. Uh, BK Wolfman nine nine nine, which still exists. Uh, there's one that's just called BK Wolfman, which is terminated. And then uh, there's uh, Br Brett's Daily Motion situation. Yeah, and I noticed that they don't even count the original channel he had, which was like just you know Brett Keen. Was that the, was that the name of his original channel? I believe so. Huh. Yeah, I mean this is that's at least twenty accounts. That might not yeah. even be every account. Oh, I imagine how many sock accounts. So even probably. that list is probably incomplete. 
of all of the channels that Brett Keen has had over the years. Yeah, so you, we, we've seen this guy has probably quit 20, 30 times or, and probably threatened to quit a million times. Well, some of those times were times he quit, and some of those were times that he got kicked off uh, for his usual bullshit. But on even show. on those channels, like, he's constantly making announcements like, I'm done. And then, you know, a week later, if that, he's back <laughs> with another one. Channels. If the strike goes through. <clears throat> YouTube tragedy. sent me an email. They claim that they investigated the video. And YouTube is convinced that the video that only had text and a blue background had sexual content in it. No. That's so ridiculous. Bullshit. Me- show the email. Go, you, you can capture your footage. Show the fucking email saying that's the reason. Why are you not showing that fucking email right now? This is such bullshit. <laughs> this is such fucking... You, well, I've seen this happen to people on YouTube before, and they show all the documentation, like, I'm being fucked, and here's how. And you could say, hey, I can really see it from this perspective. This person is being yeah, screwed Yeah, I mean, uh, if, if Brett had real evidence of this, I would stand behind him and say, you were fucked. Yeah. Like, that, that's not fair. You know? If that is the case. Sexual content. YouTube did not say it had sexual yeah, content. YouTube has a broken system, but that it would ain't not that happen. broken. Yeah, it ain't no. that fucking broken. We've done plenty of stuff with YouTube. Our channel. No, I'll tell you what. Our channel <laughs> got fucking suspended one time, and I wrote YouTube an email. And I'm like, with the terms of service and the guidelines, like this doesn't make sense. This, this was content featured in the video because of some girl with big tits, and they were like, you know what? Yeah, you're right. And they reinstated the channel, and that was it. So I mean. If that was the case, I think Brett would be able to get some sort of revo- like resolution. Yeah. But the thing is, he wasn't. The video was not flagged for sexual content. As I said, it was flagged for a scam. I'm just trying to elucidate why I think that this is fucking bullshit. Basically, yeah. Is that one? YouTube does not investigate videos. It allows unbelievable and unimaginable amounts of cyber stalking, trolling. Yep, disgusting, true. bullying so type of behavior on the internet. So you, but it you're you're exposing to... yourself to it, Brett. You've, had, you've quit a bunch of times. If you don't want to fucking deal with people like that, just don't be a part of YouTube. There you go. Yeah, or here's another idea. Why don't you just not fuck with other people? You know, like, no one is inherently seeking your fucking channel out to fuck with you. <clears throat> Why don't you just stop talking shit about everyone else and eventually... Everyone will just forget about you and you can just have like some ignorant fan base who doesn't know anything about what you've done in the past because, you know, you're not dredging it up constantly yourself to remind them. Well, he has to be a fucking martyr. He has to be. Oh, poor Brett. He's always got to nail himself to the cross. Oh, of course. There and actually investigate any kind of videos. That's not true. You're full of shit. How can Christians continue to do YouTube? If atheists There's plenty of Christians that on the internet that have no problem the internet, posting videos simply online. Simply report you and destroy your channel. What's the point then? Is the point to continue to make videos about God so people can sit there and call you every name in the book and insult you it's repeatedly? Not the of your make videos. Video- yeah, you don't make videos about God. <laughs> I mean, maybe you've made some. I don't know. Uh, most of your videos have literally just <coughs> been stirring the drama pot with various people you don't like and telling lies about atheists that's your channel yeah that that they use vote bots to give your video like 200 down votes you know your videos don't really get a lot of views you know what i bet you if he didn't say all this shit that i bet you this shit wouldn't actually happen to him i'm sure now people do that's what i'm saying with him but it's because he's like basically inviting you to. He's like, you're all a bunch of fucking idiots. Don't vote bot me. And someone's like, yeah, you know what? Okay. I'm going to be a fucking strip kitty and just fucking run some vote bot thing on you. Fuck you, Brett. King. I don't think anyone vote bots him yeah, who, because who, there's not enough vote down. He has like, every now and then I'll see a video where he doesn't disable the, the ratings and it's only like 50 to 200 down votes. It's not even that many. Yeah. That's yeah, really not that A vote bot no would give him like bot. thousands, wouldn't it? I don't I mean, know. Like, I mean, it just depends on I'm sure who's I'm doing sure it's it. Possible. And, you know how dedicated they are. No one gives enough of a fuck. You know, there's just a few people that show up to his videos and give it a thumbs down because they know he's a retard and he's good for like a laugh, and that's about it. That's you pretty know? awesome. That's what happens. It's not vote bots. It's literally just 200 people that follow Brett Keen around and eventually, occasionally. Check and how in many on of him. them are, are fans of ours? That probably quite a few of them. I mean, like. 
<laughs> but the thing is, if Brett didn't do all this stupid shit and stir this drama pot all the fucking time, you know, this wouldn't happen to him. Well, he'd also have no viewers, too. Well, yeah, but <laughs> that would, you know, that's going to be the case either way. He's boring. I I take issue. Uh, uh, Look, even as much know, as we featured him on this show, an and as much as people anything. love when we feature his videos, they do. As much as that is the case, he st- his channel itself still doesn't get any fucking views because people go there and they watch it and they realize, you know, without someone making fun of this, it's kind of fucking just dull and really boring. And, and honestly, we've that, that's not. I mean, most of the people we've had on the show, like most of them, seen some bump in like viewership, like G Man. On the um, on the DP wiki, they took a vote on uh, which drunken peasant saga is is their their favorite. Yeah, and the Brett Keen saga is w- wins by like a landslide. Yes, there's there's only a few hundred votes on it right now. Anyone anyone who wants to just go to the main page of the DP wiki, and you can vote on it. Uh, there's the G-Man Saga, Vigilant Christian, Ryan Wiley, Tim Black, Jenny McDermott, Atheist Rue, and Vegan Gaines. Yeah, it looks like most people like uh, the Brett yeah. Saga the best, you know? And I would say the feedback that I get uh, proves that completely. Yeah, I would say there was the, the most enthusiasm for that. Yeah. It goes off of your name, all this. But despite so that, no one goes and watches his shit I by itself. Out my dad no. and I prayed to God and I said, God, if you want me to stop talking about religion and politics, if you want me to stop. <laughs> Why don't you make a fucking decision for yourself, you fucking crybaby? Simply allow God, the just give me the fucking through. answer. And lo and behold, YouTube allowed the strike to go through. My appeals were re- So wait, <sighs> Brett Keen, you have now stated that. <laughs> Not Brett. <laughs> Hold on. He has now stated that. God himself has told him, do not make any more videos about religion and politics. Not that that's even what he yes. made videos about anyway, but God just wants Brett Keen to focus on gaming videos. Yes. Okay, we'll see. We'll fucking see. <laughs> Come we'll, on. We'll see if Brett don't Keen even, listens to don't God. Don't even fucking say this bullshit. We'll see. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Brett, you better obey God, motherfucker. God himself has told Brett this time, Scotty. If Brett comes back... One month max. Everyone remember. Everyone remember. The second Brett Keen comes back and and starts making another video like this... He's defying God. You need to let him know, Brett, you are in defiance of God. (laughs) By your own admission. You are in defiance of God, Brett. You are going to hell just like G-Man said. You know what he'll say. He'll just be like, well, I asked God again. He said, go (laughs) back. God changed his mind a few days later. You know what, Brett? All right, go ahead. I changed my mind. You know, I do that a lot. God's like, oh, you know, Brett, I thought about it further. And, you know, I think you, you the world really needs your videos, Brett. Rejected. Drunken <laughs> so peasants. Now my uh, account has a Brett Keen Saga was my favorite. So, and yeah, keep me, making that them. Was Come God on. God answering my prayers, letting me know that my time is now as fighting oh, God. Uh, for Christians and the Christian community has come to an end. No. So for now on, if you want to hear me or listen yeah, to me talk. Yeah, all right, sure. Wh- Roll the credits on the Brett Keen uh, saga, Yeah, man. the saga ends. <laughs> you ready? To roll the credits, you got you got credits. Uh, something kind of close enough. All right, right. there's no actual credits, but it's it's a good song to go out with until, of course, Brett comes back eventually. All right, this is our farewell tribute to Brett Keen since he's going for you, you waterheaded fucking idiot. Yep, it's a it's a great song. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen. Individual situation. Individual situation. Individual situation. (laughs) It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. It's not unusual to have a situation. Amazing atheist, he attacks my family. It's not unusual to see me cry. Thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. That's the 
my uh, my song that I wrote myself. Situation. Situation. Greatest song of all time. Beat my wife, Dorn. <laughs> yeah. Ten, ten out of ten. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Would beat Dorn again. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my gaming channel, Games You Love. Like water pig, like water headed idiot. <laughs> Brett Keen. Oh, yes. I usually just tend to sit back, eat body parts, and making lampshades and furniture out of popcorn, drink a cream soda, or perhaps a root beer. Yeah, maybe some shit. There you go, I got attacking the living Brad's family. So whenever you hear the doors creak and the floors make noises or you hear something going on outside or sirens, you should probably have anxiety and be nervous. It is what it is. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen. Make sure you check out my gaming channel, Games You Love. Today, though, we're going to talk about particular young children. <clears throat> but the point is, let me lick somebody pineapples. Like you're probably thinking to yourself, "Well, shit, Brett Keen." Oh, oh. 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 <sighs> Make sure, Make sure you, you check, check out my gaming, gaming channel, channel, channel games, games You Love. love. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from Ned Ass. Make sure you check out my ass, Ned Ass, which you love. When you get an opportunity, check out my brother's ass. Channels start going down, or people start seeing that they're not making money off their ass. When you start seeing that happen, you need to know that that's me. In many cases, you're not allowed to use my videos without my white guilt. Oh, this is the video that Brett Keen made and like released this like the very hour that Paul predicted that he would come back. Maybe uh maybe Brett and Paul are secretly collaborators in a comedy team. I know, it almost seems that way like they're putting us on. They're like Abbott and Costello. <laughs> they're geniuses if they're, that's the case. They're Keen and e Keen and Ego. Yeah. Kanigo. Kanigo. Kinigo. All right. Oh. Well, he don't get in trouble for it, so. Turn me loose. Turn me loose. I got no, to do no, it my way. Yeah. What a talent. Turn me loose. Turn me loose. Turn my asshole loose. Or no way at all. Oh, lo, lo, lo. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You've been listening to Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Me <coughs> attempting we have? my singing voice with Lover Boy, Turn Me Loose. And today we're going to talk about resurrections <coughs> and what it means to return from the grave. What it means to stand up and state, hey, look what I've done for the human race. Like in The Walking Dead. Look what I have done for life and mankind itself. For those out there who may have trouble believing in Jesus Christ. Hold on. I thought that you prayed to God and God told you in the form of your strike not being overturned that you should stop making videos on YouTube. But then God came back to him a couple days later and was like, you know, Brett, I was just testing your faith. Like when Abraham took Isaac up the mountain, it was like that. 
Your YouTube channel was Isaac. You showed you showed me you were willing to do it, Brett. Now go forth renewed and spread the gospel. <laughs> yeah, the gospel of the amazing atheist is a piece of shit. The gospel of Keen. You need to ask yourself, shouldn't you trust Jesus Christ? Shouldn't you trust the things that he says that he's done? Shouldn't you trust the very miracles? Every day that you exist is a day that you can account for a miracle. There are literally trillions of things that could go wrong in the universe. And the very yeah. fact that you were able to wake up this morning without the universe growing cold and dying or something horrible, a giant planet killer taking us out, some kind of... So what happens if that does happen? Do you just, at that point, do you admit you were wrong? Like, oh, I guess it was just a matter of time. Like, let's say the comet is hurtling towards Earth. It's going to kill us all. There's nothing we could do to stop it. Are you going to be like, well, this is part of God's plan? Or are you going to be like, I guess what I said was bullshit? <laughs> well, you've never said that, so that'd be a first. Maybe it would take a comet heading towards, hurtling towards the Earth to uh, get that those words to exit your lips. Cosmic junk or solar radiation. And, well... Human nature itself. Yeah. Did you know that every single second of the day someone dies? So sooner or later... Yeah, so the miracle kind of ended for them, you know? Every day you're alive, it's a miracle. So it's the a, day when you die... situation. Is the, when the miracle just ends, or... Well, no, I guess that's when you go to heaven. Or hell, and burn for all time. That's the case. If people are murdered and die, and... And die from other human beings, die from the environment, die from pollution, die from what they eat, die from what someone might do to you. Uh huh. It seems like the very fact that you have simply survived enough to wake up this morning and be able to watch this video tells me that you are a miracle within yourself. Not yeah. really. I mean, like most people tend to live the same average ish lifespan. I mean,. You know, some die younger, some die older, but there's like a general age that people tend to live towards. Um, it's not really miraculous. It's just what's always been going on. I mean, the life expectancy has gotten a little higher as medical advances and shit have happened. But, yes. you know, there's always been a life expectancy. There's always been, you know, you're a human being and this is about how long human beings last. And, you know, most of us will get to around that point. Some of us won't. Some of us will far exceed it. Who knows? And you probably ask me, well, Brett, what about the people who died? Yeah. Well, I consider that promotion. That's the reason why I'm the video. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So hold on. Hold on. So so death is always promotion? I mean, what if you're going to hell? I mean, that's not much of a promotion. So if someone, like, came and murdered someone you knew... You'd be like, oh, thanks for promoting them for me. Thanks for being uh, the hand of God and promoting this person (laughs) to heaven. Uh, Yeah. I don't think you would have that attitude. I really don't. I did before this. I state, I've been promoted. God bless. I think that whenever people die, they will have an afterlife. Unless, of course, you're an atheist who believes otherwise, that you'll simply die and become cosmic junk floating around. More like a poop crumb in a toilet is what it means to be flushed. <laughs> yeah. How eloquent. You're just, if atheism just believes that we're all poop crumbs in the toilet. Yep. Waiting to be flushed down. But that's the good news. That's the good Too much French vanilla. Yeah. The good news about Jesus Christ. Is a French vanilla poop crumb. As long as crumb. you have faith, as long as you have hope, not only believe in God, but also believe in yourself and believe in your own rationality and logic. Believe in the heart and the brain that God created for you. Then you. Hey, uh, I kind of want to ask Brett Keen. I don't know if he'll ever see this or not, but if you do see this, uh, and maybe people could tweet this to him or something. Um, how do you feel about G-Man saying on our show that you, Brett Keen, are hellbound? That you're going to go to hell? Uh, he says you're not a real Christian and that when you die, you're going to hell, Brett. Oh, man, we should have them on our show to, to debate each other. Yeah, it might be interesting. That would be unbelievably wonderful. 
They'll probably just make peace again. And uh, ha, ha. Two days later, they'll be at each other's throats again. I know, and that's just, you know. I mean, Brett, your guy, this guy who knows you well, who was your friend for, you know, a long time, now says that you're going to hell. I mean... And that you're not a Christian. Yeah, that you're not a real Christian. I mean... What do you, I mean, what do you say to that? I mean, normally when G-Man says that about someone, I think he, it's no true Scotsman, but I think he's right about Brett. You do? I don't think Brett is really a Christian. You think he's just faking? I think so. Faking, faking, faking to bring home the bacon? I don't know. Maybe. I can't, I can't say for sure. I don't know what's going on in Brett Keen's head. You're fine. I suspect that the reason why faith is so strong is because faith is what makes the world go round. What? Faith is the most powerful. <laughs> yeah, do you guys know that? Faith is what makes the world go around. Yeah. Science might have some other ideas, but they're wrong. Substance that one could ever have. If a person goes into a race, or they go into some kind of challenge believing that they have no chance whatsoever, then you've already failed before you've even began. You can't do science and you can't live this life. And you can't trust people unless you believe in yourself and you have hope that things will go just as predicted or things go as you would hope that they would go. Brett, I mean, I'm not even trying to be insulting with this, but when you look at your life now, do you really genuinely feel as though things have gone as you hoped or predicted they would? I kind of have a feeling that if I talk to... You know, 20 year old Brett Keen and asked him where he'd want to be. You know, I don't know. I think you're 38 or something. Really? Yeah, he's really. Oh my God. He's way younger than you would think. I know he is. I think he's like 38, 39, something like that. (laughs) If I asked 20 year old Brett, where do you want to be in 20 years? I mean, I kind of feel like 20 year old Brett would be like, I'm going to be a fucking rock star or something. I I don't feel like you'd be like, well, I'm going to make videos on YouTube that no one watches. And my only claim to fame will be that the channel I had nine years ago was kind of successful by the standards of that time. I'm an agoraphobic situation. Yeah. I mean, like I don't even mean to be insulting with this question. I really don't, but I on, do you honestly believe like, are, are you where you are? Are you really where you thought you would be? Are you really where you wanted to be in life? I mean, I guess you can point to some things you have, like you got your wife and you got your, your kids and all that. Um, but I mean, surely that's not all you wanted for yourself. I, I refuse to believe that you're happy. You've never really shown any indication of it. I don't think that you would keep needing to make these YouTube channels if you were. Um, especially not YouTube channels that continuously focus more on stirring drama, more on starting shit with other people. Very little to do with... I mean, back in the day when you were doing the atheist channels, very few of your videos ended up being about atheism anymore. Now you're doing the Christian thing. Very few of your videos are about Christianity. To your credit, this one is... I like this new direction where you're actually talking about the theology. Yeah, yeah. This is the first video in a long time. Like, I can re- I can actually respect this a lot more because you're actually talking about what you supposedly believe. Yeah, and, and the, the title actually has to do with the yeah. video. It's, it's, it's a- not like the amazing atheist and Scotty from the drunken peasants and Paul's ego in the title and then, like, in the video that's, like, nothing. It, it has nothing to do with any of that. Yeah. You you were doing that all the fucking time. So I support this. I mean, I really, you know, that's why I'm trying to be a little bit more respectful than usual, because I kind of hope he continues on this direction of actually talking about Christianity. Um, we'll see. If there's no hope, if there's no faith, then what is the point of this world? What is the point of life? Everyone at all times has some kind of faith or belief. Mm-hmm. But if okay, you put your faith sure. in people that you know that you can't trust, then you would be foolish. And that is one <laughs> of the reasons. <laughs> okay. Irony. Um, you know, I, I kind of have, I'm of the opinion that people make their own meaning or purpose in life, including Christians, including people who talk about how there's some great objective meaning. I don't think that 
even I don't think they're tapping in anything authentic. I don't think there is a God. I don't think that when they pray and they feel the presence, I don't think they're actually feeling the presence. I think that's a feeling that comes from within themselves because that's their found purpose or the purpose that was assigned to them through indoctrination or whatever. But I I do believe that human beings are capable of having a sense of their own purpose in the world and that it's very much subjective, but I don't think the subjectivity of it robs it of its power. If you truly believe in your purpose, if you truly um, accept whatever your personal meaning of life is, and you really follow it, then I believe that it doesn't matter whether you know that it's only a subjective thing that exists within yourself. I think it's profoundly more honest to make that admission than it is to persist in the idea that, well, uh, this is coming from some higher power than myself. Uh, Now, there may be higher powers out there than ourselves. Maybe there's some super smart alien beings or something. Or or maybe there's some kind of God that's beyond anything that we've ever conceived of and has nothing to do with any of the fucking current religions. Um, But I don't believe that we human beings have any means of communicating with those forces or beings or whatever if they're out there at all. Uh, There's no way to connect to that that I can see. Uh, I think that you can only control what goes on in your own mind, and even then only to a limited extent. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I think we're bringing a patron on. Yeah, I'm trying to get him on. I had to get back into Skype and everything. Yeah. It says we have a connection problem with them. Seems weird considering our uh, strength on the stream is pretty. Yeah. Good. Oh well. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I'm just gonna let's keep playing. Oop. Why I don't trust atheists whatsoever when they state that there is no God. They're basically claiming and asserting for you, making a positive claim that they know enough about the universe to dictate whether intelligent life can exist or not. Anybody that is that arrogant and prideful that can claim that things don't exist at out in the universe, based upon what? Most of the atheists I've met have never even made it well, through high school. Most of them, they don't um, have any kind of philosophical major. I don't think that's true. Yeah, I don't, I don't really agree with that. I mean, I, I can't, I personally didn't finish high school, so whatever. Right. But I feel like most people I've talked to that are atheists have finished high school. But I mean, whether they have or not, it's an unfair criticism. I mean, Brett himself was an atheist for the majority of his YouTube career. Um, I don't think he would apply these criticisms to himself. I really don't. Uh, maybe he would in some general sense now to make it sound like, but you know, he was the same person (laughs) then that he is now. Nothing about Brett Keen has changed through the power of religion. Uh, he just tells himself a different line. I think we'll, uh, we'll get this. Hey, what's up? Not much. Not fucking much. Okay. Patreon. I know a lot of people in the chat thought I would be Jim Ass. No, I'm sorry. I have to disappoint you. Yeah, it's not Jim Ass. You could be Jim Ass-esque. Well, I guess. That wouldn't be too hard. I just need to shout incoherent sentences every now and then. Do it. All right, so we're watching a Brett Keen video. I don't know if we're sharing screens. how, How amazing. I don't know if we're sharing screens with you or not, but... Uh, we'll do that. Share the screen. I think it's this one. You seeing that? I wish I didn't, but yes, I see it. Okay. All right. Here's nothing. They are simply people on the internet making money selling t-shirts. So what the hell do they know about the... Speaking of that, buy our shirts. I don't actually don't think there's any on sale right now, but... I mean, they're always technically on sale, but there's no open campaigns right now. Right. So you can go buy them anyway. Oh, and by the way, uh, our our Patreon guest is the same person that was on when, when we had Brett Keen on. Yeah, he is. Yep. I am. 
It was such an amazing conversation to have with a brick wall. Did you like Brett? Um, no, not a, not even a little bit. Not even a little. You no. don't even you don't even have that Paul's ego esque like you gotta love him kind of thing. Um, mm, kind of, but not really. No. Okay, you're just a mean guy. Universities are not people who are ever going to get on a rocket and go out and explore space. It's because you're not you're going to do that, Brett. I can These see people. it right now. Yeah, <laughs> Brett's the one on the rocket. They and, all no, the he's, t- he's making the rocket right now. It's in his backyard. That's why he's yeah. so tired and lying in bed all the time because he's working on his rocket. Mm-hmm. They can go to the moon. Well complain about the suffering and pain in the world, but they're too busy selling t-shirts on the internet to do anything about it. God created us all with the ability and function to be able to save each other and help each other. But for some people, that just isn't an interest of theirs. Remember how uh, earlier in the show we were raising money for Galen's uh, dental surgery and stuff? Yeah. It's probably a fake campaign just to make money. Yeah, Galen's Galen's jaw is fine. He just wants some money off of people. He's just like, about time I get mine. Now, I can attest Galen's uh, been pretty fucked up for a while now. That's why you haven't, haven't had him on the show in ages, because uh, his health's just been so poor. Yeah, he has, he has other issues, too, from yeah. what I understand. Poor bastard. In fact, just today, I heard he fucking, uh, he was so fucked up from pain that he ended up falling again and injuring his hip. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh fuck, man. Yeah, I saw the bruise. It was pretty nasty. Get Galen some money so he can get his shit fixed and hopefully come back on the show and piss everyone off again. <laughs> but yeah, and also, I mean, like, I did a thing for chair. I did thing for charity water. I mean, even Brett Keen, I think, was involved in a few charities back in the day as an atheist. I there mean, was like he even talked about your charity shit in one of his recent videos within the past few months, and he pretty much demonstrated that he had no fucking clue what you actually did or what it was even for. Is that even surprising though? I mean like, but I mean the, the point is that there's plenty of charitable atheists and there's plenty of stingy Christians. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty generous as giving to charities, not, not just publicly, but I mean, I fucking donate to causes and shit all the time. Sometimes money just burns a hole in my pocket. And when I can't figure out a way to spend it, I just give it to some poor people or some cancer research or shit. So I could feel good about myself. Since I'm <laughs> such an asshole, you know? One thing that atheists like to claim is that they don't need religion or they don't need God or a soul in order to be good. Well, can you define for us what good is? Can you explain to the God believers out there why it is that you think that you can be good without any intrinsic meaning or purpose? Oh, my God. How many times have we got to hear this objective morality argument? I mean, look, just from like the first point about this, Um, all of you, all of you Christians have different ideas about this supposedly objective God given good and what it is and what it means and what it entails. Uh, just for uh, the fact that you and G man both identify as Christians and yet G man had told us right here on the show that you're going to hell. You know why? Because your idea of the objective good of God and his idea about the objective good of God are two different ideas. You know why? Because they're not actually objective. They're completely subjective. Just like my idea of good. Just like Ben's idea of good. Just like everyone's fucking idea of good is subjective. You know, and you can sit there and say all day, wouldn't it be nice if we had some objective moral standard? Yeah, maybe it would. But we fucking don't. (laughs) I mean, just wishing it were so is, is empty. It doesn't mean anything. Anybody can wish for any fucking number of fucking things. I wish there was objective morality. Well, that's a nice wish, but you got to live in fucking reality, Brett. And good, according to you, doesn't even exist, nor the definition of justice. According to your worldview, you are nothing more than chemicals, nothing more than a bottle of Windex. How is a bottle of Windex good? <laughs> I, I didn't know I was a bottle of Windex. <laughs> when, when, did, when was I a bottle of Windex, Brett? I'm a this pretty is terrible, a stunning revelation to me. I'm a pretty terrible bottle of Windex because every time I lean my head against a glass window and then pull it away, there's a big greasy spot, you know? <laughs> 
<laughs> so I'm like pretty much the worst bottle of Windex you ever. Greasy ass motherfucker. I have a very. I'm, I'm You're a, lucky you have blonde hair because if you have black hair, your hair would look all super nasty yeah, all the yeah, time. Man. Well, I, I'm pretty good about washing my hair for the most part, but I'm just an oily <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> I mean, I pretty much wash it every other day. Feel that shit. It's nice. Well, it's not brushed though, but whatever. <laughs> It gets tangled very easily. But yeah, I'm an oily face, motherfucker. Yeah. I always, I mean, even right after I get out of the shower, though, like two hours later, my face is just oily again. So I'm a terrible bottle of Windex. Um, what I mean, like, chemicals are demonstrably what you are, Brett. I mean, it's what everything is. Everything has a chemical composition, you know, including stars and planets and all of the things that you think were created by God. Chemicals are what God uses to make stuff. In your worldview. So I don't really understand this. You're just chemicals. You're just like Windex. It's like you understand that you are demonstrably chemicals, right? I mean, that's what you are. There's no, there's no even denying it. It's not even up for debate. Observer, an external force that says that the liquid has any kind of value whatsoever. Do you only How have value because other chemicals? How about keeping you alive? Is that chemicals? enough value, Brett? Is keeping you alive not good enough? Well, Do you need more case, from the liquid? Which value it is. But, you know, I mean, like, when you talk about Windex, I mean, like, Windex's value is it can clean windows and shit. That's what it does. Human beings are far more versatile in what they can do than a bottle of Windex. So the value is higher. But I don't know. It's probably high. It's probably not uh, the same across the board. I don't think because Brett couldn't even clean a window, even with Windex. Walking around, you state that you are, or does your chemical simply telling your other chemicals that you are trustworthy and worth <laughs> value and that you're good? What science, y'all? It's it's well, your first... chemicals telling your other chemicals. Chemicals telling my chemicals what I think. Well, you see, the chemicals don't have, like, a conference meeting in your brain, Brett. You see, they react with each other, and shit happens because they've reacted <laughs> with each other. Dopamine and serotonin and shit just sitting around talking to each other like, yeah, we gonna give this motherfucker a pleasure buzz. What you think, serotonin? Fuck yeah, dopamine. Sounds good to me. Because without the external force and without the faith within yourself as well as that of the universe then really I don't see any value in you whatsoever. So that is your challenge. That's your homework for tonight. Right. What makes you good? What How makes I... any kind of chemicals out there good? And if you say <laughs> something like reasoning or because... Well, so, there's plenty of chemicals out there that make you feel good. Yeah. I think we can agree on that. Um, I mean... Uh... There's all kinds of chemicals that we use for good, if this like is, cleaning chemicals and, and things like that. If this is pr yeah, like Windex, which is what we are deep down inside. Yeah. That's why the veins are blue, you know, because before it hits the air, it's Windex. ...of your logic, then how do we know for a fact that you are actually logical? You're simply determining on your own perception and subjective opinion and views. No, that's not how logic works. Um, it's not... The whole point of logic is that it's not colored by emotional bias and mm. what you want to be true. Mm, the chemical. <laughs> so does that make it good to have subject? I mean, like, logic is something like one plus one equals two. That's some basic logic for you. You have one of something, and then you have another. You have two of something. It's not up for debate. You can't say, like, emotionally, I wish I had three. Therefore, I have three. Doesn't work that way. The views and opinion? If so, explain why. I did. God bless you, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Well, God bless you, My Brett. name is Dawn T. Shut up, Dawn. Dorn! God bless you, too, Brett. You lovable son of a bitch. You love him, too? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's a good fella. Uh, here is a news story about Donald Trump. You know, I mean, I honestly worry about Brett Keen oh, sometimes because I mean, like, seriously, because I mean, like his health is obviously poor mm -hmm. and yet he spends all of his time obsessing over this YouTube drama and trying to do one upsmanship on other people and shit like that. And it's like, God, don't you just see like 
how all this stress that you're subjecting yourself to is just causing your health to decline further. Shouldn't you, instead of taking, instead of wasting your time making videos attacking people, why don't you just stop with the drama shit and just, you know, relax, spend some time with the family you supposedly care so much about. You know, it's not good for you. It's not good for the internet. No one likes it. Feel bad for the stupid. Anyway, Donald Trump. (laughs) I'm telling you, you shouldn't come around here. We've got a situation, and let me be clear. I'll kick you, and I'll beat you, and I'll tell you it's fair. So beat it. (laughs) But you want to be bad, just beat it. Beat it, beat it, beat it. When Thor makes my cheese, you eat it. (laughs) It's it's how they dip. He talks back, just freak your hand back, and give her a smack. And beat it, beat it, beat it. Thanks, thank you, thank you. Show's Thank over. You. Situation individual. 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 I will suggest for you right now, do not put French vanilla in your coffee. Haven't played one in a while. Yeah, I haven't played one in a while. (laughs) When you get a chance, know what you think. Radio, make sure. Hello, ladies. Keen from God Brett TV Keen Radio. From Make God sure you TV check out my gaming channel, channel Games You Love. love. And when you get a check chance, right check out my brother's YouTube brother's channel, channel YouTube where he channel does rock and roll guitar. music for you. It's Subscribe really to him and let him know what you think. Down when you get a chance, down, down, also check out my other YouTube channels, Brian <laughs> Superstar. God TV Radio. Like, he's not a success on YouTube. The reason people have multiple channels is because, like, maybe, hey, they have one really popular channel. It's like, I want a vlog channel. It's yeah. like you don't need a bunch of channels. You need a secondary vehicle. Well, you're not even successful at one. <laughs> he wants. To, well, you know, he just figures the more channels he has, the more chance one will be a success. Games That's you love. Terrible reasoning. Did, but did we respond to a video? What was it, like uh, two or three weeks ago, where he was like, "I'm I'm done with all of this," and this waterheaded idiot is back. <laughs> just back for more, Brett? Huh? You're gonna humiliate yourself again. Okay, Brett, go ahead and do it. And when you get an opportunity, check out my official website. A lot of exclusive good stuff on there you probably no never have seen. Uh, on no God's one's TV going except to make fun com. of you. Also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. No. And if you want to donate to the channel, you can do that and support it. Oh, by my God. Patreon. I'm just going to donate Today my we're entire Today we're going to talk paycheck. about entertainment. What minute marker we're is this? Talk about He's going to talk about what entertainment. Hold on. Be a character. Hold on. I want to know what minute marker this is. I don't know. How popular on YouTube? How I want to know how long it took him to get through all this bullshit long. before he actually even starts saying anything. Maybe I would like say a, probably like, like three, two and a half minutes, yeah. three minutes, <laughs> including his intro. Yeah, like two or three minutes. I was talking to a he doesn't have anything to YouTube say. atheist yesterday. Yeah, I was um, talking his show to was him. called the Oddcast or something like that. Okay, and uh, apparently he is a supporter of the Amazing Atheist. <laughs> He's made it clear that he the doesn't agree with atheist. the Amazing Atheist committing scams or anything. He's probably not an endorser. Yeah, <laughs> thank God. Is that, uh, I get a lot of French drunken vanilla situation going on there, Brad? Me, Brad. Why do you constantly crack on the Amazing Atheist for that? That's because I have no life and I just want to yeah. blame TJ for all look, my Look, problems. Brad, you, you know, it's like you've played this card. It's like... Why do you constantly joke about the fact that he penetrates his own anus with bananas <laughs> what's so funny about that that you have to bring that up so much <coughs> well well interestingly enough i noticed that whenever <laughs> talking to drunken peasants fan about this particular topic this subject particular. i noticed that they try to defend the amazing atheist oh, and amazing his atheist. anal fury by why does he even need to be defended <laughs> 
Why does he <laughs> even need to anal be anal defended? Fury. No one needs Who to cares? defend you. <laughs> the amazing atheist in anal fury, the banana's revenge. If TJ told me tonight I'm going to go do the same exact thing, I'd be like, I don't even give a shit. He plays a part that he's not Give really. Give the money TJ back, Kirk. TJ. He's some kind of other person whenever he's making his videos. <laughs> and even TJ has pushed this idea. Even Paul's ego, which Paul's is a guy ego. who's in his 30s, describes that the reason why the amazing. Okay. What does that have us, to do with anything? All of us are in our 30s except for Scotty. Yeah, but what does him being in his 30s have to do with anything? He's a man in his 30s, Scotty. <laughs> I don't know. He's in his is fucking he, Is he 30s. describing... Bre uh, not, not Bre is Breaking describing Paul like a suspect about 6'1", uh, two, 255, uh, white male in his 30s? Like, what's going on here? Yeah. He's profiling him. He's in his 30s. <laughs> he should know better because he's in his 30s. Ain't you stuck a banana up in his ass is because... He goes on to tell me about nerve endings and how it stimulates and pleasures him. And then I realized right then and there that, wow, what a sheep. <laughs> so how, is, how is that your problem at all? Like, I, I don't get there it. There are places in the world where you pay people to stick bananas yeah. into parts of their bodies. There so, are. who cares? I didn't get paid. Yeah, he didn't even get people, paid. People are making ad revenue off of it right now. <laughs> so is he. Brett Keen's making at least 30 cents off this video. And I mean, he's, talking, he's talking about ancient history. As far as the internet's concerned, it's like he's dredging shit up. What, like, do you th what do you think Brett Keen does with, like, the, the checks he gets, you know? Oh, like the 100 bucks he gets every, like, five or six months? Yeah. I assume he probably just goes and blows it. Like, like he goes to, like, Golden Corral or something and just, like, <laughs> gorges himself. Like, it's like one time out, like, Brett's got to treat Brett, right? No. I do believe that if it's your body, if it's what you want to oh, do. Oh, now, hold on. Now he's saying, well, if it's your body, do what you want to do. Okay. And why does he care? Bible tells me in the book of Revelations, let evil men do evil things. Let disgusting, wicked people do what disgusting. <laughs> okay. I mean, disgusting, evil, pipe. disgusting. How is it evil to do it to yourself? Yeah, if I was like, if I went up to people on the street and Brett was like, oh, I have a pro, I think everyone would be like, yeah, that's true. So we've but been listening for three minutes. Don't even use the Bible as, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Well, basically all we have is, well, it's disgusting because it's disgusting <laughs> because it's disgusting. So we've been listening three minutes of uh, turning around and not explaining why is he finding it disgusting. Because he what wouldn't do people it. people do. But listening to full-grown adults actually defend someone sticking a banana up there makes you realize <laughs> right away they're defending that it there's no because critical they thought. like TJ and they're talking to you and you're of course bringing this up for the one billionth time, you know. But I then when they, but then when they defend it, you're mad that they're defending it. It's like, why are you defending it? It's like because you're attacking that him on that position. I think the next time uh, we talk about Brett Keen. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get Skype set up where we can call phone numbers and we'll call Brett Keen's phone number. See how he's doing. See, how, see what he's up to. Or at least leave a message. But there's no rationality. There's no logic with these people. None. <clears throat> and again, no I'm going to remind you all a banana a that I, Yeah, there's a clear rational. A rational explanation. <laughs> It's just there is, well, I'm sure there was a clear it. rationale for TJ. He there is like, a rational yeah, reason. He wanted to stick it up his ass. The rational, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so funny because before that, everyone thought about the Ray Comfort thing. How he said a banana is the atheist's worst nightmare, and then it turns out there's a video of TJ, <coughs> you know, plowing his I own ass. I fulfilled his prophecy. But it wasn't my worst nightmare, though. It was it was a it was a pleasant dream, <laughs> a, pleasant, <laughs> a pleasant little jaunt so to just, Banana Land. He just got that part of it wrong. That was the only time in my life I've ever stuck a banana up my ass, though. I tried previously, but they were all too soft. <laughs> that was the first. You need was, to get them green, right? <laughs> yeah, they got to be a little green. You know, that's the key. You try to shove rotten, but uh, oh god, not rotten. You know, they're just a little soft. You got to get a star fruit next. Yeah, you know, we're working our way up okay. to pineapple. I keep getting told that 
this is what characters and comedians of YouTube do. This is a part of the entertainment in order to get in. The- this was not part of yeah, entertainment. It was not part of the entertainment. It wasn't even supposed to really be released. Yeah, it was leaked by a third party. I mean, it turned up. It turned out being. It, it just. It got incorporated in the entertainment because what, what are you going to fucking do? But it's. It wasn't like part of the entertainment. Although some people have speculated that I did it for attention. So. Apparently, it was a good career move. I need to start doing more shit like that. Use and make money. But, you know, (laughs) just because someone plays a gimmick or a character doesn't necessarily mean that you get away with doing heinous shit or stupid stuff. I'll give you an example. There was a a man. I'll give you a better example. There was a man named Brett Keane. Who has gone through literally dozens upon dozens of channels because he basically refuses to deviate from the same behavior that has fucked him time and time and time and time again. And it's amazing to us all watching him trying again and again to restart a YouTube career that has been dead for eight fucking years. Eight years it has been since you were actually a relevant YouTuber. And it's sad that you can't let go of it. And it's even more sad that you can't even learn from the lessons that you've been taught literally dozens of times. It's amazing to me how you haven't adapted one iota. Um, Yeah, that's pretty much the story of you. So the end. You know, that, that, that's pretty much that's the best example of some fucking buddy thinking they can get away with shit. They actually can't. He referred to himself as Pee Wee Herman a while back. Oh, and God. Pee Wee Herman He's gonna was doing a show Herman. that a lot of children were watching. A lot more <laughs> extraordinary and a lot more extravagant than the amazing ass hat does. But That's true. <laughs> Pee Wee did have a pretty elaborate show. I Still, thought it was awesome. The amazing yeah, it was ass like a giant ala- It was a, a lacid. It was a giant acid trip of a show. Brett Keen tried like a 1999 bird on you. The amazing ass hat. The amazing ass hat. <laughs> He's an ass hat, guys. Nonetheless, it was a show that children were watching. They were being taught. And it was called Pee Wee's Playhouse. Oh, it was not really an educational <laughs> show. Yeah, it was no. pretty much sheerly for entertainment. They weren't really being taught much of anything. There was no drinking or drugs and things like that or bullying behavior. But it was clear that the moment that you start watching the first five minutes of Pee Wee's Playhouse that it was ridiculous. There wasn't no logical, rational thinking. You could not expect any kind of free thought. And to be honest with you, I don't understand why so many atheists actually think they're smart anyway. Just because you claim that you don't believe in something, that doesn't automatically mean that you're super intelligent and you're better than Who, everybody who's else. Who's made that claim? Straw man. Yeah, who's made that claim? I'm smart because I don't <laughs> believe in God. <coughs> Atheism it, it, means smart. Once again, if anyone was ever guilty of that, it would be Brett. I mean, that was the whole reason he was an atheist. I mean, he was like the dumbest atheist there was. I remember people even back in the day said that. That's not just like some revisionist history zero, shit I'm zero saying Zero self-awareness. He's going to bring up that video that you made about him. What video I made about him? The video that you made like praising him. Oh, okay. That video. TJ wishes that one would just go away. Yeah, I wish it would die. Everybody out there but it who exists. actually believes in something. But a lot of stupid asses believe that about themselves. They believe that if they claim to be a part of the in crowd of atheism, this somehow makes them smart. What, what's what the saying, in crowd? Yeah, I don't even know if atheism has an in crowd. All right, we don't, let's do the fucking handshake, man. The fucking We don't hang out with anybody else. Oh yeah. The official atheist intelligence handshake. Which you guys do not know because you were not smart. I'm going to take a look at this letter. There's a letter that we didn't open last time on the mail segment because it was so small. Hey, it's you as a chick, Scotty. Okay. And then it's Ben as a chick. And then it's me as a chick. I guess. It doesn't even look like us, really, but... Yeah, you should, everyone should hold theirs up to their camera. Yeah. We're some fucking anime esque chicks. <coughs> Let's see. So, why is there no Brett so, Keen fan art? So Ben has like a whimsical one. 
Okay, I look angry, and TJ looks like a slut. Oh. It says, Dear Drunken Peasants, enclosed are three illustrations of the peasants as hot anime babes. You each get one. For some time now, I've been wanting to draw these three characters, so it was fun to project to try and see what your anime versions would look like. And I know that Beyond Fear already did this, so I'll let you guys be the judge as to who did a better job. Well, they're both good. Uh, anyways, thanks for all the free entertainment, a poor starving artist. P.S. I'm also probably your one and only longtime feminist watcher. So if you guys are still looking for a feminist to come on your show, feel free to email me. And then there's, your email is on the back of the, uh, the thing. So we have a feminist who drew us as chicks wanting to come on. Hmm. I see. But I yeah. Talk to him. Do you want to talk? Yeah, bring him. I don't bring know if him it's a him. Time. I think it's yeah. a girl. Is it? I'm not sure. We don't know. Doesn't say. Don't want to assume, so we have no idea. About Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman, Herman ended up going into a porn movie theater. Yeah, Pee Wee jerked the off in the movie theater. Whacking off I don't care. To what he was seeing you the did, What um, you did was just like that, TJ. Well, I mean, he went to a porn theater. I mean, what's I? I, I mean, who I never cares? understood. I never understood why Pee Wee lost a job. Even as a kid, I'm like, so what? It wasn't like he did it on the show, or like on the street corner or something. Yeah, I mean, like he went to the appropriate place to jerk off in those days, which was a porn theater, and he jerked off. Yeah, it wasn't a, a daycare <laughs> center or something yeah, like who that. The fuck, who the fuck was harmed by that besides him? I you mean, know, like, prudish America got to yeah. punish Pee Wee just because <laughs> you know whatever some shit in his personal life. It's stupid. Uh, you know, so I defend Pee Wee. <laughs> Fuck you, Brett Keen, you fat fucking turd. <laughs> Publicly, he was caught, he was arrested, and he never got to be that childhood superhero again. He never got to be. Yeah, another thing is I'm not a children's Pee-wee entertainer Herman anymore because Pee Wee Herman was a entertainer. A, a suppo- yeah, but Pee Wee Herman hosted a kid's show, all right? If he got caught jerking off in a porn theater and, you know, he was kind of, you know, he was, like, known as, like, an outsider making, like, some avant-garde movies or some shit, no one would have been like, oh, my God, you know, don't let him make any more avant-garde movies. It doesn't matter. You know... I don't have the kind of fucking audience that is going to give a shit. Apparently, very apparently. So, you know, what's the fucking point? Yeah, you're wasting your breath with this one because no one cares. Anyone that cared has has already stopped watching. Yeah, like people who don't like that, they're already gone. That It happened so long ago that that's, you know, and everyone already knows about it. You talk about it like it's some sort of big secret. Like, huh, you, you didn't know this, huh? Bringing your, their attention to we, it. We have a fucking shirt with a banana, or, well, a hoodie with a banana on the back of it. <laughs> but there's no down arrow pointing to the ass. Supposedly a comedian that was supposed to be there for kids. But it turns out that he liked to whack off the porn <laughs> in a public movie theater. Who cares? Uh, a public movie theater? No, it wasn't a public movie theater. It was a porn theater. <laughs> It was a porn theater yeah, where they show porn. He wasn't fucking watching. What you know, do you think men do in there? <coughs> yeah, he wasn't there to watch like a real fucking film and then just whipped his dick out. Was like, you know, time to jerk it. Yeah, he, he didn't show up to the fucking you know a special presentation of Casablanca or some shit. Like, yeah, yeah, he didn't show up to Ooh. the fucking Lion King. Like, damn, Simba looking fine tonight. Yeah, <laughs> no. I mean, it's, he fucking went to a porn <laughs> theater to watch some porn. He watched some porn and he jerked off to it like men did when they went to porn theaters back when there were fucking porn theaters. You know, I'm sure that if Pee Wee had lived in the age of the Internet, he would have jerked off in the safety and comfort of his own domicile and been fine. Yeah. You know what? The Internet could have prevented that. You know, Pee Wee'd still be on the fucking air. <laughs> Finally, The Rock uh, has, has come, come back to the Drunken Peasants <clears throat> podcast. Finally. Spares. Uh, oh, it's kind of odd know. because there's some French movie Fernanda. theaters out there. There's actually places in some of these cities. What a total aggression. Sodom and Gomorrah. 
Sodom and Gomorrah. Where it's perfectly legal and okay for you to go in and do that. <coughs> but apparently, out of all the movie theaters Pee Wee Herman could have went, he went to the one where it's illegal to jerk off to the movie screen. <laughs> oh, my God. This Mel guy Gibson, is so was, dumb. The, the, the movie screen. He, lo- he he took his wiener out, and he looked at the movie screen, and then he rubbed it, and then he went to jail. This is garbage. It's just like he reiterates shit that's already happened a million times, and a million, just in a million different fucking ways with, like, a slight twist, like, and this other guy did it, TJ, so you're, you're a basically, you're a pedophile, TJ. I don't know what the Have fuck a good day, Pee Wee TJ. Herman even has to do with this. He's like, to- he's not even talking about me anymore. He's been talking about Pee Wee Herman for the last two minutes. Oh, he gets back to you. I'm sure he does. The video is Merry Christmas, Amazing Atheist, Drunken Peasants fans. <laughs> yeah, you know, you would figure as a Merry Christ- Christmas, Brad. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. You would figure as a you committed, water-headed fucking idiot. Fucking Christian, supposedly, if he was going to make a Merry Christmas video, it would be like a legitimate, nice, like, Merry, even though we disagree, guys, Merry Christmas from me to you, because this is the time to set all that stuff aside and... You know, goodwill towards man and Jesus' name and all this shit. But instead, it's like, you're garbage, TJ. Yeah. You're stuck up banana in your ass. And Paul's ego is a sheep. He's a sheep. He's a sheeple. This video sucks. What's next? (coughs) Bye-bye, Brett. All right. Uh, I think we can move on. Here's, Here's a video that Brett Keen made. It looks like it's a tribute to Evander Holyfield. Sweet. It's called Evander Holyfield, Champion of God. Champion of God. Everyone go check out Justin Keen. Maybe he's not quite the piece of shit his brother is. Yeah, I mean, he's all right. All right, here's uh, here's the intro. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brett Keen from God, God TV, TV Radio. Radio. Make, Make sure, sure you check out my gaming, gaming channel, Games, Games You Love. And when you get a chance, <laughs> check out God TV Radio International, as well as my oh. website, GodTVRadio.com. Mm-hmm. I will not be promoting Brett Keen's Superstar channel for a while. Atheists have been attacking it repeatedly. <laughs> you ever notice anything that's going wrong? Atheists yeah. did it. Is it yeah, Snowball atheists. did it. It was Snowball. <laughs> that's an animal farm. Atheists it's like Trump ra- blaming everything on immigrants. <laughs> steal our content yep. as God believers, post it on their YouTube channels, make money off of it while at the same time mocking and abusing and insulting. I wonder who he's talking Christians. about. Hold on. Who's he talking about? <laughs> The drunken, the drunken peasants. <laughs> we stole his content. Actually, yeah, it's called sure. Sprite. You might want to look into that. Do you realize that probably like 75% of your views come from our audience, Brett? I would no say one, 99%. <laughs> you, should, you should blow us. You should be licking my fucking hemorrhoided asshole right now, yes. Brett. You should lick the fucking special analgesic fucking cream and shit. You should be licking that up. Jews and anyone out there that believes in a god or has a particular you should faith be sucking of religion, my fucking toes. It's okay for them to do it, but the moment that you get in the ring with them and you take them on and you destroy them take over them and over, on. which I am literally undefeated. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That was no, awesome. I'd, <laughs> I'd say he got his ass kicked pretty thoroughly the last time he was on oh here. Oh my god, what a fucking idiot. <laughs> Undefeated, just like G Man, right? Yeah. It is exactly like G Man. <laughs> no one ever gets one over on old Brett. <laughs> I've never been destroyed in a debate by any kind of atheist out there. There's atheists have taken pop shots at me. There's pop atheists shots? Have stressed you said pop shots. You didn't yeah. even say pot shots. Is that, like, pop is that like I open a can of Coke and pour it into a shot glass and drink it? Yeah, I pop guess it shots. is. <laughs> yeah, they just keep taking way. their pop rocks at me, but they yeah. ain't gonna <laughs> ever <laughs> defeatalize the keenster, you know? The keenmeister. Keenmeister. But they've never defeated <laughs> me in any kind of debate. 
Now, some of them out there will claim that they won, just as Mike Tyson bit the ear off even Holyfield here. Even? Even? <laughs> even Holyfield? <laughs> His name is Even Holyfield. <laughs> it, Try even? again, Brett. Try again. Dude, he should kick your ass just for saying his name wrong. Oh, that would be awesome. Because even in his advanced years, Evander Holyfield would kick the shit out of Brett Keane. Ten times out of ten. Evander Holyfield. Mike Tyson might feel in the back of his mind that he was a champ and a winner. By- he was a champ and a winner. He was. Yeah. Not Evander in that Holyfield- fight, but- No, but he was at one time. He was hands down the best boxer at one time. Evander Holyfield was better at the time that they fought, for sure. They fought twice. so Doing that, but it was cowardly. Anybody can hit below the belt. Anybody can commit fouls. But not everybody can have a victory. Not everybody can win. I'm not a big-time boxer fan. In fact... You mean boxing, right? I'm not Box, a big-time no. boxer he wears, fan. He, no, he's saying he's a briefs guy. That's what he's saying. <laughs> He's a box not fan. A big time boxer situation. No, he's he's a box fan. You know those those like little fans. Yeah. In the boxes, yeah. He's an actual he, box uh, fan. Yes. Yeah, I've never been a box fan. I don't really it's like to watch sports at all. I'm not one of those type of guys that likes to sit in front of the television with a beer in one hand, the remote control in the other, okay, and watch. No, you're one watch. of those kind of guys that does that with the internet. Only instead of a beer in one hand and a remote in the other. It's, you know, um, your dick in, in one hand, and I don't even know what's in the other one. Probably mac just type it. Yeah, a big bowl of mac and cheese. Don't and then occasionally you'll take your hand off your dick to shovel more of it in your mouth. It's a box fan. Or does Dawn do that for you? Maybe Dawn just sits there with a spoon. Here comes the airplane, <laughs> Brett. I don't enjoy watching football. I don't enjoy watching baseball. I don't like boxing. The idea of two men getting into the ring and beating each other half to death in order to win a fight. Okay, if it, if it was half to death, they wouldn't be doing it. Yeah, that would be illegal. It does not happen. I mean, like, it has happened. People have died in a boxing ring, but it doesn't happen that often. I mean, it's, it's a very controlled environment. Yeah, there's, like, controls uh, <laughs> against that sort of thing. Yep. But I guess he said he's not a fan, so how would he even know? So why the fuck is he talking about it? Yeah, like, you know, if you're going to use uh, something for an analogy, you might want to have, like, a... At least, you might want to know enough, like, before you say, like, Holyfield is God's champion, you might want to know that his name is not even Holyfield. Yeah. Nothing <laughs> to me. Just as the gladiators back then when they fought each other to the death. They were slaves. These guys are making millions of dollars to fight. Even the loser makes part of the money. Yeah, slight difference. Very yeah, slight, it's, but, it's you know, giant worth difference. noting. Worth yeah. noting. No, you know, slave, millionaire, <laughs> kind of all really. equals the same. Right. Although I respected their ability and their power, I always felt like it was something that was unnecessary, just as unnecessary as golf, taking a crooked stick and hitting a ball down a field and trying to make it into a little tiny hole. And trying not to get your hand bit off by a crocodile whenever you get it into a lake or a pond kind of reminds me of Happy Gilmore, Adam Sandler. Happy Gilmore, Adam yeah. Sandler. <laughs> so, there are crocodiles in the golf course ponds? Uh, maybe in Florida. Well, you know. Nope. Well, it, it would be alligators. It wouldn't be crocodiles. Um, it's still hardcore. I yeah, like down. Know. There was that yeah, element like, of danger. Yeah, I guess like down in South Florida, you'd see that kind of shit because there's like the Everglades and shit down there. But that's about it. Sweet. But there was something interesting that happened to me today, and I felt like God moved me to look at something I normally don't look at. I was going through Netflix, and uh, I noticed that there was a video based upon champs of old as well as new. And I felt like, well, I've seen about damn near everything on Netflix, all the movies they put on there in 1980, and I grew up in the 80s. I was born in 1976, so. Oh, my God. Okay, I, uh, so how old is he? 1976. Someone do the math really quick. That's all 40, 41. So he's, he's only no, 41? 
39 decimal. Yeah. Oh my god, he's not even 40. He's no. not even 40. Yeah, but it looks like he's 50. I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> He looks like he's at least 50. If someone told me Brett King was 56, I wouldn't even flinch. If he's 39, that means him and I could have went to high school at the same time. Yeah, Ben, see how much worse your life could be? Fuck, I could look so much older. <laughs> I would imagine if you every single Imagine move. if just you went prematurely like gray like him, you know? Yeah. It's true. You have like pure white looking hair and like that salt and pepper uh, facial hair. You look pretty old, but not yeah, as old. Still not as old as him, I don't think. No. So I felt like, man, I need something to do. I can either play The Sims or play Fallout Four or watch this. I didn't expect much. I didn't think I was going to see anything worthwhile. You know, it's funny. I don't like watching sports, but I am a big fan of Rocky Balboa. I do like watching the Rocky movies, but I know that. Like, well, that's not a sport. That's a choreographed <laughs> boxing match. Yeah, that's so, a movie. It's kind of different. Whatever. It makes him an ex- that makes him an expert. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Why didn't you know what? The, the kind of begs the question: Why didn't he make a movie? Why didn't he make Rocky Balboa God's Champion? They, I mean, Stallone even believes in that shit, just like him. So he could have been like, "Yeah, there's you know all kinds <laughs> of good moral messages in Rocky," and you know. A lot of atheists try to attack me like Clubber Lang and Rocky Clubber III. Lang. <laughs> you know, Ivan Drago and their assholes, you know, and blah, blah, blah. You know, we could have, you know, then, then we could, I could be a scary Russian and, you know, Ben, you could be a, a, a surly you. black guy. And, I pity the fool. Uh, that your woman, Balboa? Uh, Come over to my house later, I'll show you what a real man do. <laughs> Apparently, Stallone is making a, another boxing movie with Michael Jordan in it. I don't know if you what? guys knew about that. Yeah, I saw the uh, poster so for what? that when I went to see Star Wars the other day. Okay, it should be interesting. Yeah, yeah. it's Creed. Oh, yeah, that's Michael, the one, Jordan? Yeah. Michael Jordan is in Creed. I didn't even. I didn't know uh, the the one that was on the Fantastic Four movie, not uh, Michael Jordan. Oh, okay. Oh, oh right. I, get that. Oh, I, thought I thought you meant the basketball player. Jordan. I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah we're That's what like, I thought. <laughs> I didn't know there was even another Michael Jordan. So, I mean, I Me guess neither. I did know there was other Michael Jordans. I didn't know there was any yeah, other famous it, Michael Jordan. It's probably a pretty common name overall. Yeah, it doesn't really, it's not that crazy. Um, that oh, ruins the story. Sport. I just think that Sylvester Stallone taking 100 hits to the head and still kicking ass is kind of cool. That's because it's fake. I kind of feel like Rocky Balboa sometimes. I take the hits and I keep on coming. Those boxing. <laughs> oh, my God. No, you're not like Rocky. Okay, Those let me explain. sequences. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, TJ. Sorry. No, no. I just want to explain to Brett the differences between him and Rocky Balboa. Rocky Balboa as a character, I mean, you're probably about as dumb as Rocky. I agree with you there. Hey, but see, I don't know, you know, hey. His whole thing is like he's good hearted and nice to people. Your thing is that you're a scummy piece of shit. Yeah. So you see right there, pretty big chasm of difference between the two of them. <laughs> Like, Rocky Balboa would never go on the internet and make video after 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 video video about how someone who he thinks wronged him fucking eight years ago is a piece of shit. Like, he wouldn't do that. You You would do that, Brett, because you're a piece of shit. Dorn's, uh, Brett's like, Dorn, I did it! (laughs) (laughs) You're Dorn! Uh, only, only if uh, maybe after he takes a shit after three days, <laughs> he needs a squatting potty. <laughs> it goes back hey, to the squatting potty. I, we did it. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to think of myself as more articulate than Rocky Balboa. Ha! Did you? Uh, no. <laughs> He said he wants He's, to think of himself as more articulate than Rocky. Yeah. yeah I'd say about the uh, same. Yeah. Maybe you're a little Personally. worse, actually. I don't so know. What I you discovered know. was hey. Mike Tyson was considered a, a champion. People loved him. They thought he was great. But at the same time, Mike Tyson. He wasn't fucking considered a champion. He was the champion. Yeah, he was the undisputed champion. He had all the major titles in his weight class. He didn't do that just because people perceived him that way. He did that because he actually fucking did that. 
you stupid fuck. <laughs> Played kind of the heel. What he was doing in the ring was real. It wasn't predetermined or fake. Right. But there was a dark side to Mike Tyson, and that dark side attracted people. People appealed to it. You mean it appealed to people, right? Not people yeah, appealed no, no. to it. People <laughs> appealed to it. <laughs> Much in the way uh, uh, you know, uh, a fucking chocolate milkshake drinks you, you know? He was doing uh, uh, one of those, those, um, those Russian so jokes, Russian. man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yet on the other in hand, Soviet Russia, other... video up, you know, boxer appeals to you. Or no, you appeal to boxer. <laughs> I don't get it. He was working his way up. He was a great athlete, a great boxer. He was great at everything he did. And a big old but the public didn't care for him because he was a man who was religious, who believed in God. His name was actually Holyfield. Get it? Holy field. Oh, God. Oh. He just wasn't getting any He kind chose of that the... last name. Yeah. <laughs> um, Brett, um, no one <laughs> d- d- no one was out there like, we don't like Evander Holyfield because he's religious. I didn't even know the fucker was religious. Yeah. No one gave a fuck. We just watched him box. Yeah, like Mike Tyson was interesting outside of the ring as well as inside the ring because Mike Tyson is a fucking character. No one looks at Evander Holyfield is not a character. He's just a guy who happens to be really good at boxing. Yes. And I never heard him get religious, you know, when it was related to boxing. I never so, knew the fucker was religious until this yeah. video. I mean, yeah, he assuming didn't Frank even knows what he's fucking talking about. He, he, prob- he probably he well I'm I'm guessing maybe Holyfield is religious but he didn't flaunt sure, it. Sure, plenty, plenty of professional athletes are religious. Sure, I mean, good chance most people in America are religious. Public didn't care for him. They didn't respect him. No matter how hard he worked, it just didn't seem like anyone. What are you ever talking about? Nobody respected him. That <laughs> That's so him silly. That illuminated the room whenever he walked. When when you have the title, you're respected. I mean, like <laughs> especially especially when you defend it over and over and over again. And, you know, you beat the shit out of Mike Tyson twice. I would say you're respected at that point. (laughs) Yeah, I I don't remember anyone being like, fuck Holyfield, I don't respect him. Yeah, he's making shit up here. Some of the public claimed that he was just too nice. He was too kind. He was too good, too compassionate. No, no one said (laughs) these things. How shall I say fair play? Mike Mm -hmm. Tyson, however, went to prison for rape. He went to, got in trouble for many assaults. He got in trouble for a lot of different bullshit. But Mike Tyson, for some reason, the public loved him. They just felt like when this guy got in the ring, he destroyed, he killed. And they liked that about him. They liked that he was this guy who was immortal, bigger than life. And the media plugged him as invincible. They even called him Iron Mike. Okay. And this is all that I learned from actually watching. I And they called Holyfield like the real deal. Everyone has, you know, their moniker. Yeah, even I mean, you think you'd know that just from being a Rocky fan, the Italian stallion. Yeah. You know, I mean <laughs> Yeah, b- boxers, a lot of them, I mean fighters in general, a lot of them have these stupid names they make up for themselves or that get made up for them. You know, that doesn't mean anything. You know, there was an Iron Mike. There's there's probably about a fucking million different. You could probably look at today's fighters. I don't know. I'm not really into boxing well, like, too much. Like, but Or, well, even MMA, you know, like uh, Ronda Rousey. She's rowdy Ronda Rousey. Yeah, you know, they got that shit. People fucking always are making that shit up. So, I mean, what's the point? <laughs> I was aware of Mike Tyson's existence long ago. It's just I never really gave a damn to watch the fight. Um, I did see a couple of Mike Tyson fights a while back where he took guys out in like the first round. Yeah. I mean, he took people out in like 30 seconds. Uh, Tyson versus Michael Spinks. Everyone should check that out. It's a pretty badass knockout. And I don't know how anybody would want to spend hundreds of dollars just so they can see a guy knock another guy's ass Hundreds of dollars? Well, I guess if you're sitting there live, hundreds of dollars. They got the money and the time to do that. So what happens is, is this man of God, he continues to work his way up, and the entire public and the media, they're saying, even though Holyfield's won the championship, that he will never be considered a real champion unless he beats Mike Tyson. Yeah, I mean, that happens in boxing when you have two extremely good boxers that never fought each other, 
Everyone wants to know who the better of the two are or is. So, I mean, that happens all the time. That happened with Pacquiao and Mayweather. And that was disappointing as fuck. Yeah. As he beats the bad guy, Mike Tyson even gained a reputation, a name of being the bully in the ring. He just comes in there and beats your ass. But holy how unusual for a boxer. Guy, he was going to church. He was believing in God and, and talking about how he loved his mother and his family. And he just, he didn't have a bad bone in his body. He wasn't getting out on the camera and threatening to whoop people's ass or kill people. In fact, he would literally come. I mean, it's it, part of it is psychological warfare. You know, if it, I mean, if you go into a sport like this and the other person's legitimately afraid of you, then you have an advantage. Simple as that. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, like, it's part of, like, the psych out and shit, you know? Make your opponent fucking scared of you before they've even stepped in the ring with you. You got to win yep. the psychological game. That was part of Mike Tyson's strategy. Absolutely. Now, I, I, don't, I don't remember enough about Holyfield to remember whether it was part of his strategy or not. I'm not going to take Brett Keane's word for it on anything because, you know, he just... He spews totally bullshit inaccuracies left and right, but... Oh, uh, uh, it, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was just going to say, someone in the chat said Ronda Rousey only adopted the rowdy Ronda Rousey after Piper died. That's not true at all. She actually contacted Piper to get permission to use it while Piper was still alive. So, so you're full of shit. That's Rand Rand or or something. in the chat. Wasn't, she? Wasn't he? I don't know about that, but I know that they knew each other. Yeah. She was Rowdy Ronda Rousey before that. Uh. All right. First first up on the list, we have the manatee. This video is called... You I'm, call me a manatee. Give the money back, TJ. Amazing atheist. This is I'm not a good Christian. You're a waterheaded mm -hmm. idiot, TJ. He's admitting that he's not a good Christian, guys. Good. Cool. Da, 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 da. I am Brett Keen and I'm coming to. Alright. God TV Radio. Guy Hello, with Hello, gentlemen. My name is Brett, name is Brett Keen God from the God TV Radio. radio. <laughs> Make sure you check out my gaming channel. channel. Game Show Love. You get a chance to check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. I'm, I'm there now. And also check out I was God just looking at GodTVRadio.com. Everybody, go to GodTVRadio.com now. Look how much shit takes up his screen. It's a join me live, his Skype, his fucking phone number, his website, his Patreon. Damn it, I forgot to... Rate and subscribe, his Twitter, his Facebook, and his wife's Twitter. Ah, oh, man, we should call Brett Keen. I wonder if I can get that set up. Yes. Maybe we can do it later in the show. Pro hat. If I can get it set up. That would be sweet. Would you want to do that? Fucking right. We should wait till Paul is on too. Yeah, let's try to do it Friday. That's a good idea. Okay. We could, you know, what we could do. We could. Um, uh, well, I won't say it on the air, but I okay. have a really good idea for how that could, we, we could do with it. Okay. You check out my website. You're going to find a bunch of exclusive content on there that you won't find oh, on goody. YouTube. I can't wait to go. I uh, also would suggest that you check out the links in my description, and uh, if you feel like it, you can check out my brother's YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about something really important, and I'm hoping that some Christians out there, perhaps even Muslims and Jews, can give me some advice, some suggestions. What about atheists? Well, what about atheists? I have been yeah. doing very well. Come on. This Christmas has been the, hard on me physically the French, the French with my health problems. He's got health problems, guys. Come up. on. Come on. He's got health problems. <laughs> it's the French vanilla, dude. Well, <laughs> one thing we know for sure, he doesn't suffer from affluenza. He doesn't, he doesn't suffer from calorie deficiency either. Uh, I mean, like, what, what health problems does Brett have? It's, it's always these vague health problems. They're like, you know, I have an autoimmune disease, or I have this problem, or I have this problem. It's always like, I, I'm just not doing well. It's like, he ate too much macaroni yeah. and his hernia is back. You know, you have high cholesterol because you sit around all day and never fucking move. Like, what? You know, what's causing all these problems for you, Brett? Having to be rushed to the emergency room by my wife, and... Uh, 
got my head checked out. I felt Waterhead. like someone was pounding. <laughs> Waterhead and fucking idiot. His head was pounding from the water that was in it. Yeah, uh, the water was sloshing around. You have a terrible really headache. Hard, you know, you know that could be signs of alcoholism. There's, you know, like these migraines people get. That's that's not good, Brett. They just talk and like I've been a drunk. Also having some issues I'm with my throat, crazy, which is why my blah, video blah. sounds so unusual. He's been having throat issues. It's been hard. It's something that can help He's you. He's been sucking a lot of dick, man. My Come kids on. had a great or Christmas. Or not enough. My wife got a great Christmas. I uh, had my family over. And, uh, a bo- you just, and nobody nice. attacked them, Did right? Did you buy your uh, wife a modest time, dress though, situation? I don't know if you reached that Patreon goal. Maybe he just did it anyway for Christmas. <coughs> well, I was doing Christmas and spending Brickmas. time with my Brickmas. family. In and out of sleep and naps and everything like that. <laughs> in and out of... Having some hot turkey. So is your, kind of is your life, Brett, oh. is your fucking life just like wake up, look around, check the fucking internet, have a nap, get up, you know, fucking Dorn fucking throw some slop at you, you fucking eat it. You know, you take a nap, you wake up, you fucking go make a terrible video. <laughs> Based go, on a dream you had that the amazing atheist pulled your pants down and yeah. all the girls. You have a nap, you know, it, it, that, that's just your life. He's like, you know, <laughs> in and out of my naps and Fuck sleep and guy, a little bit of turkey. It's like, uh, what? Who lives like this? That it actually sounds kind of like my lifestyle. Better, but also made me sleep. You guys are kindred spirits. You know, in a I lot start- of ways, I feel like I am similar to Brett Keen. You're kindred spirits. I mean, you made the video gushing all over him. Yeah, I know. And I feel oh, like, Brett. but I feel like, you know, yeah. when it came to these like certain crossroads, <laughs> I went one way and he went another way. So like from when I see Brett, I'm like there, but from the grace of. You know, whatever exists, which isn't God, go I. So it's like the equivalent of like seeing someone you like you went to school with as a bum. You're like, man, if I had followed the same path he had, yeah. I had to realize some things about myself. He's like a reverse role model. This December, some flaws that I have, some problems. There's a couple things I've been thinking about that I have Only issues a couple? for a while. <laughs> that has brought me to the conclusion well, that I'm not a very good it. witness for Christ. I'm a blemish on the body of Christ. Yeah, and the reason why you're a ward on Christ's ass. Birth. You're terrible, Brad. I lack the ability to endure a lot of aggravation, and I don't <laughs> have a great deal of patience. What about bearing I also false don't witness? Follow Jesus Christ's teachings as I should, and I don't know how to do it. You see, one of his teachings is to love your enemy, and I just <laughs> have not been able to get that far. And my faith. It's one of the reasons I keep calling myself a work in progress, but <coughs> I literally don't see how I can get any further whenever uh, it comes to this particular topic. This is a joke. I'll give you an Here's example. Here's an idea. All right, let me, Brett, let Even me instruct I'm- you. Let me instruct you on how to do this. <laughs> First of all, stop making attack videos yeah. against me and anybody else who slightly ruffles your feathers. That's a good start to loving your enemy. The next step is don't focus so much on this stupid internet drama because guess what? No one on the internet other than us even cares who you are. Uh, us and our fans are like the, the lone people looking at Brett Keen and we're basically looking at it not as interested viewers but as it like is, I am interested. spectators at like a car crash, you know? <laughs> I am uh, interested. Wow, that's grisly. <sighs> Christmas Day and Christmas morning, atheists were calling me. As I'm more Christian you know, than I Brett, though, because I love Brett. I love all the fucking ad revenue. And talk to me if they're feeling lonely or if they're feeling bad. or they just you know, want All the atheists like Christmas. that. Yeah. I really put myself out there, and I tried to give my heart over to people, share my testimony, which is something that's really hard for me to do. Because it's very personal, and it does have things to do with my family and friends and those who are close to me. I, uh, you know, when I talk to non-believers, very few of them I ever feel like I ever want to talk to again. (laughs) Whenever I do a video, sometimes I... Yeah, (laughs) seriously. People who support me mixed in and with more, more people who support me and say nice things. I have an idea or a thought that I want to be able to say something inspirational or help somebody in their life. 
I have hey, the Brett, desire to serve no John. Yeah, you st- help your fucking self, all right? Quit trying to. You have no business trying to help anybody he's else. He's not in any sort of position to help anyone. He says he has bad health. He says he's poor. He says he has nothing really going on. He doesn't work. He doesn't really even get out of his bed. And, like, he's going to be helping people with, like, what? The only fucking thing Brett Keen knows how to do is to be a social fucking parasite. That's it. If that's what you want to learn how to do, if that's your goal in life, then go to the fucking Brett Keen School of Living. But besides that, no. Odd, but something happens in the process where I start remembering the kind of shit that they've done to me. I start remembering the bad things that they do to people. And sometimes I don't even have to remember. Sometimes when I simply log in or I go over to my Facebook or Twitter, right then and there I get some shitty message from some ignorant person. And I don't feel like saving them. I don't feel like bringing them to God. I you feel like anyways. some people... It's a waste of time. And this is straight from the heart. There's no point in bearing false witness. There's some people <laughs> oh, really? that are so disgusting and vile and horrible. I don't see any reason why I ought to try to bring them to God. And I know some of you, you might say, but Brett, you know, all of us, we are deserving. All of us are sinners. All of us have problems. I think that a lot of us, we make mistakes. And I think a lot of us will sometimes sin and find ourselves falling into the flesh, sometimes losing our grace for a moment. But I think that there's some people out there who enjoy and derive some kind of happiness from hurting other people. Yeah, like people you. like you. Yeah, people yeah. like you. Yeah, you're a classic example. That's good. Yeah, I'm glad you realize there's people out that like there. Now, if you look in the mirror and identify that person as one of them, yeah, you figured it out, Brett. If you want to, if you want to fucking find who to blame for all of your fucking problems, all you have to do is walk into any bathroom, any room with a mirror, and just look in it. That's it. Maybe not all of them. Come on. A lot of problems are Dorn and her shitty cooking. <laughs> People like that. I uh, I don't want to go to heaven. <sighs> I want to kill them. I don't want to go to heaven. I want to fly want them. To, uh, I don't want to try to waste my time helping someone that I know doesn't want any help, doesn't care. Doesn't give a damn but about aren't those the truth. Those the people that really doesn't need God. Care Brett. whether God is behind it care. or not. You don't they want to share heaven with those assholes. You. They just want to make fun of you. They just want to make you feel like garbage. And people like that, I don't, uh, I don't want to save them. Brad, I don't it's so want easy to, to make fun them. of you. I don't want Can to you really serve fault them. anyone? And that's bad. And I don't know what to do about that. I know that whenever in the past, when I was a non-believer, I know I was sarcastic sometimes, and I knew that sometimes I was unconventional. Sometimes, for some people, I may have come off mean. But a lot of Christians, whenever they talked to me, I remember in the past, they knew that I (laughs) wanted the truth. They oh knew my that God. There, there was more. <laughs> this is laughable. Oh, my God. They respected. They looked at Brett, and they're like, we respect you. Brett. You, you seek the truth, Brett. Okay, you need, if you want to improve anything in your life, you need to just realize every thought that you have about yourself and your relationship to those around you and the world and YouTube and everything is entirely your own egotistical sociopathic fiction. You need to just take all that out and throw it away and start from scratch, all right? Because what you're saying right now does not jive with the reality of who Brett Keen is, was, and will probably continue to be. To me than just wanting to argue and fight or cause problems. And it was one of the reasons why a lot of Christians spent day and night trying to help me and support me. But I don't have what they have. I don't have it in me to sit there and put up with people like that. When I start sensing that someone is screwing with me or being ignorant or disgusting, is he trying to defend himself? The person I'm talking to is not even listening or doesn't even give a shit. Yeah, I mean, he's basically using this sob story about how he's an imperfect Christian to basically once again attack anybody who disagrees with him. 
he, that's just his mo. It's like the videos are either like poor Brett Keen, fuck the amazing atheist and all these other people. He's totally he's found a way to make a poor Brett Keen video that is also an attack video against everyone who's ever disagreed with his position. There's a few times I could tell he really wanted to say the amazing atheist, but he's like, I can't do it. I just can't say it because I want this to be like some general sob video. You know what I mean? I'm a sad, sad And man. by the way, support my channel and te- check out games you love. You know, I'll even write Brett Keen every once in a while on, like, Twitter and be like, Hey, Brett, how you doing, man? You go- Everything going okay in your life? Does he reply? Usually he'll be like, I am doing fine, you know, or my health is, is bad, but I'm, you know, spirits are good or whatever. So I show concern for Brett. I show kindness and compassion and mercy and favor and a disposition to benefit and serve another. Brett doesn't. I'm more Christian than you, Brett. I'm the amazing fucking Christian. It makes me just want to walk the hell away from them and never look at them again. Good. Thank you. You know, I... It amazes me, and I admire some of you out there. Some of you out there, you probably look at me and you respect the fact that I use science and use a lot of different tools. (laughs) (laughs) No, come on, Brad. Really? Are are, are you really going to say this? Are you really going? Are these words really going to come out of your fucking mouth? (laughs) What? Are you fucking shitting me right now? You use science. He uses science. What People you, respect him for that. I guess in like the sense that like it, you know when you're programming your microwave to heat up your fucking uh, frozen be- burrito weenies or something, you know. Yeah, I guess you're using science then. Beep beep beep. I'm a science. I embrace science. <laughs> there there is my a God. Whenever I'm doing what I do, but. It's in my There's arsonary. There's a lot of things that I'm Wait, missing. Your what? His <laughs> arsonary? Did he say arsonary? What did he say? Did he say Does he ar- mean arsenal? Yeah, yeah I, think, I, I think he said arsonary, though. <laughs> it's in my arsonary. Where is that? It's in, it's in the arsonary, guys. Maybe we misheard. There was a woman out there that passed away a long time ago that I used to be friends with named Teresa Rhodes. And no matter what people said to her, did with her, she was able to put up with them all the way to her dying day, all the way to her dying breath. And I just can't. I just can't do it. I think some people deserve to burn in hell. (laughs) I think that we all make mistakes and we deserve deserve to be punished. Especially the American. But I think that there's some people out there who want it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's people that are sitting out there. You know, I really just want to go to hell. It's like spank me, Satan. It's like you spank me. If you watch or you hear you, you like watch documentaries about criminals. Criminals never say like, oh, I know I'm going to hell. I know I've done a lot, a lot of bad shit. They're like, oh, I'm going to go to heaven. No one's sitting around going, oh, I'm going to go. I'm fucking going to hell now. Oh, yeah. There, there's some people who would rather burn in hell. Or have their soul obliterated <laughs> than ever be humble. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be humble. I huh? think that there's some people who hate God ass. so much. And then you're going to be humble. That whenever they're talking to you, they don't even see Oh, my see God. You or hear it's put me to sleep. Let's move on. All right. Um, I wonder if we can call bye, him. Bye bye, Patine. You can try. Yeah, let's see if I'm able to. I think I may. Yeah, I think it. I think it'll allow me to now. Um, give it a shot. <laughs> this this is gonna be fucking hilarious. Uh, let's see. Whoops, wrong wrong one. Let's see. It should be. Do 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 do. This is dead air. Sorry, right. sorry, sorry. I'm I'm just trying to figure out how to do this. Okay. Um, the air is dead. The air is dead. That's what. I guess we got to fill air time. Those of you who are trying to reach is currently unavailable. Oh. Please leave a message after the beep. What the f? Okay. Hey, Brett. It's us. Hold on. No, 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 no. Drunken pet. No, no, no. Hold no. on. 
Hold on. Is that not it? I don't know why it's it's making me like okay. What? I don't hold on. Okay. You need the number? Yeah, what is it? Six three six five two five one two nine zero. Okay. I don't think it's gonna let me do it. I think uh I think we may have to wait on that for a minute here. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move on. Yeah, I I think we could take a break and try to call him if you want to do that. No, nah, it's not that big of a deal. No, we'll we'll try to do it Friday. We, I mean, his, he ain't gonna fucking change his number between now and Friday. True. We'll we'll ha- we'll have it down by then. Brett I, Kane, we're I have an, for you. I have a pretty funny idea. Awesome. But the idea kind of only works if we get his machine. So if if we get him, we'll just troll him like normal. But if we get his machine, I have a good idea for what to do with it. Okay. Somebody prank called Brett Keen's number. Do you want to hear it? Sure. Okay. Oh, no. Hello? Uh, yes. Hello. This is the Chinese buffet calling. <laughs> That's wonderful. Last time you come in, you eat way too much. <laughs> you not allowed back anymore. Hey, uh, hold on a second. I your got ad- your number from credit card info. I know your address is showing up on my uh, electronic You're device here. You're a bad here. customer. You start talking. Yeah, it's hold on a second. I'm go ahead and get this you. restaurant, you eat all expensive food. You eat all the crap leg. You eat right. so much food and not even eat all. <laughs> okay. So uh, how do you like it so far? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I um, love it. <laughs> 10 out of 10, dude. A manatee, a manatee reference might kill me. I'm just saying. Plates when I leave your table. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 You know, you're uh, back. You bend. Ben, 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 ben. Yeah. Okay, nutball. See you later. <laughs> You've just been pranked by prankdial.com. Cool. You've just been pranked by prankdial.com. <laughs> oh, that's the fucking best. Yeah, I that was not, pretty good. I do not sanction any harassment of Brett Keen, but please keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the, I don't know if that was a cognitively dissonant statement, but please, please don't just, stop. That's amazing. It probably the is, but we're gonna his, go with no. Can you can you even prank call somebody who puts their fucking phone number in big block letters at the top of every well, video they upload? You, you mentioned funny, you, uh, yeah. Paul knows about this, but go ahead and talk about it because it's hilarious. Yeah, uh, you know he does that, and uh, we were trying to call Brett on the last show. You know, and we were sitting there and uh, Ben was trying to type out his number and I just read, I read his number to Ben and then Brett Keen took to Twitter is like, you published my number, you said my number, you doxed me. It's like, uh, Brett, your number is uh, on the screen throughout every single video you put out right there on the top in big bold letters like, call me, I'm Brett Keen, this is my number. I mean, like, what is that number there for if not for people to call? You've put it in the public space of YouTube, so what do you expect? You, ha- you cannot publish your own number and then have an expectation of privacy. <laughs> it, that's just yeah, silly. Like, honestly, like, wh- where do you think we got the number, you big, fat, chicken grease? Like, where do you think we got it? From the Missouri phone book? No, you published it publicly over and over and tell people to call you, too. Yeah, do, do you want to call him now? Where the fucking Chinese food calls. You, you want to try it now and see if he answers? Yes. You try him. All right, let's do oh, it. What are we going to do? All right, let's try this out. We'll see if this if this works. I've never done it this way before. Who's going to oh. be point on this call? I think it should be Paul because he's this historian. I almost yeah, want you. Take, I almost want to see I don't you know call. If he can hear me though? Can he hear me? He should be able to. You should call him as uh, as him. We're sorry, Aww. you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in Smart. service. If you feel Aww. you have reached... That's garbage. Maybe Brett uh, couldn't handle it anymore. We'll see. We'll keep trying. Maybe it'll be, ba- Maybe it'll be active again at some point. Rest in peace. Try again at the end of the show. Yeah. 
That sucks. Zorna, this whole... Remember when I told you that it was going to be okay for me to publish our public phone number? Uh, it started to get a little out of hand. The Chinese buffet down the corner called me yesterday, complaining about how many <laughs> shrimp and crab legs we ate. We need to go underground. We need to take this shit dark, Dorn. Change our number. Yeah, I feel sorry for whoever gets that number next. Yeah, that that is going to be... <laughs> that That's pitiful. I would change it almost immediately if I found out. All right, so do you want to play a little bit of Brett Keen? He, he's been doing these weird hangouts, but they're not hangouts. They're something else. They're, they're on some <laughs> other website. Okay. And the funniest thing is that the thumbnail for this video has Paul in it. I'm like, oh, was Paul on Brett Keen's hangout? And I went and looked. I scanned through the whole thing. Paul's not in it once. No, no. I don't even think I come up in it as a topic. Like, yeah, I skimmed it's, it too. That to is. Like, am I a huge salient topic in this hangout? Nope. I don't what, even think my a, name gets mentioned. It's just like, well, what? What's hot in the streets right now? Paul's <laughs> big ugly face. Let's use that as my thumbnail. Yeah, basically. <laughs> He's just trying to get views there. Oh, that's pretty sad. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll watch a little. I oh. don't want to watch too much of this shit. Okay. All right. Do you want to just skip it? No, we can watch it. All right. So uh, do you still play guitar? Hey, Brett. We'll, we'll skip absolutely. this guitar you want to play for guitar us? person? No, no one wants that. Oh. No one wants so, it. So what happened to this girl? She uh, she was an atheist, didn't, didn't believe in God. Um, I got to be honest with you, Ben. If this board, is a typical Brett Keen hang. hangout, you're going to play hell trying to find a single entertaining thing in it. Like he literally just beaches himself on the couch and lays <laughs> there while other people come in and he expects them to just drive the conversation. Like it's the worst. He is so it's the boring. Ever. Okay, so should I just skip it? Yes. All right. This is garbage. that that one guy that like used to be a boxer. I can't remember his name. He's in this hangout, and he's kind of annoying. I don't know what you're talking. About. Uh, I can't remember his name right now. But we he was on the show once. I think G Man brought him. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my gaming channel games you love and when you get an opportunity check out all my other youtube channels including my brothers and my new movies you love channel mm -mm -mm. Mm. my beautiful wife she made me a fantastic bowl of chili no cheese Peace out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my YouTube channel, Games You Love. <laughs> mm, my beautiful wife, she made me a fantastic bowl of chili. There is no cheese, is there, Brett? Is there any cheese at the end of the fucking maze, Brett? I don't know. One can hope and have faith, but uh, that's true. You know, yeah, that's with you. But I don't know that there's not any cheese. <sighs> no cheese. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Today, I discovered. I just got the news. This has been in the past couple days, though. Unfortunately, I had a stroke. My stroke. <clears throat> I devalue and demoralize women. I believe that the feminist movement, they don't have any kind of brain. 
they're just stupid ass creatures that float around and shit and eat and offer really no kind of contribution to humanity whatsoever. However, I the master over manatee. Eat shit. It's disturbing. I come on you sometimes. Yeah. Bananas are manatees. Stupid ass, stupid bastards. It's like Brett Keen Cump bananas. But bananas, 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 but 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 bananas, 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 but 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 bananas, stupid bastards. Legal notification situation. This is Jesus with some lightning bolts. If you're an atheist, then you're a fucking dope. Be nice in the comments or we'll block you. Agree with Brett or we'll block you. Have a nice day. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just enjoying some non-alcoholic root beer. I've hacked the DP channel today to alert you to yet another scam from TJ the Amazing Atheist. This time, they're even calling it the ultimate scam situation. You see, what the peasants have done is stolen my content, as well as my friend Tommy Sotomayor's content, and made special episodes where they insult me, my family, my water-headed children, as well as Tommy Sotomayor. Now, the drunken peasants have bundled both of these special episodes together. Forget this. Five dollars. That's both the Tommy Sotomayor Fatherless America episode and 23 Situations in Odyssey into Brett Keen for the outrageously high price of $5. That's two boxes of mac and cheese. That's five items on the Wendy's dollar menu. Do not fall for this scam. Remember that RV trip around America? Whatever you do, do not click on the link in the description and don't give these piss ants your money. By the way, uh, help save my family's home by donating to my PayPal. Peace out, losers. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Warren. I don't know, man. I Hello, have an individual on. situation. Check out the beautiful... <sighs> The Damn individual it. Brett Keen segment situation. Did you realize that intro kind of implies that Brett Keen's big balls of fire? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a cool How do you superpower. know he doesn't? If he does, my estimation of him in the, is, is gone up. Dude, you know, like, if he, if he, I'd respect him You know more. what that means, too? If fire shoot there would be something special Dude, if him. fire shoot I'll tell you what, guys. I, I didn't realize this, but Justin Keen used to be like Brett. But now he's he's made himself beyond that. That's like, true. Like I saw a video of Justin Keen back in the day. He looked like Brett, but now he looks nothing like him. Wow! That's yeah, an accomplishment, dude. Yeah, look, that's that's Justin wow. Keen. All right. Do you feel like animals have a consciousness that they're aware of themselves? <laughs> I don't think uh, animal behavior <laughs> goes beyond uh, instinctual behaviorism. Uh, learn the behavior from whatever its surroundings are. Wow. All the time, if if you see any small animal, even a small child, human child, put in an alleyway with nothing to learn from and no environment. Yeah. Can- I mean, okay. Well, another insightful, poignant comment. Yeah, you know what? Keen, you know? It does maybe kind of sound like... He's not really saying anything at all, but I think it's brilliant. I know. You know, I was kind of like, you know, at first I was like, oh, is this just meandering bullshit that has nothing to do with anything? But then I realized, no, no, this is awesome. This is actually beyond anyone on this podcast even understanding this. Yeah, I mean, uh, I wish that I was a smart enough man to really grasp what Justin Keen is saying here. Because, I mean, obviously, on this podcast, all of us love Justin Keen. Yep. Yeah, so much. Yeah. Yep. He is and, the best. Uh, Kane. He d- he looks totally different now, though. That's... Right. Well, this is uh, you know another testament to the greatness of Justin Keen is a uh, you know uh, having Brett Keen as a brother obviously dragged him down a bit earlier in life, but he found the willpower within to find. I agree. A weight loss method. You know what? I just want to salute weight. him. I mean, it, yeah. it wasn't meth, everybody. Good job. Despite what Justin people Keen. around Festus, Missouri might tell you, it was not meth. That is a filthy lie about Justin no. Keen. We it was love sheer Justin force Keen. of will. We respect sheer Justin force Keen. Of will. He ate vegetables I can only, I can and salads was, and every day. 
I can only hope to aspire to the greatness of Justin Kane. I'll, I'll never reach it, of course. But yeah, I, I actually um, I bought a uh, you know I bought a what would what would Jesus do? Um, you know some some bracelets, and necklaces, and stuff. Because you know I mean they're for Christians, but I I figured instead of Jesus, I'm just thinking Justin Kane. You know. Yep. What would Justin Keen I, do? I just feel like Brett now is just He's an inspirational like, figure. Brett, how can you live in your First brother's two, shadow yeah, like I, I this? I just feel like it's like a monolithic shadow at this point. Yeah. I mean, just like, look how far Justin <laughs> Keen has come in his life. I mean, it was... What if there's some sort of parasitic relationship where all... Where Justin is just like, you know, that's why he has the greatness of two people, you know, because mm. he sucks Brett's greatness away from him. Uh, He's a somehow. greatness vampire? Yeah, maybe, but only only towards Brett, you know, and that's why he, you know, Brett has some inherent greatness, but it's all sucked up by Justin, you know. Maybe that's just that's just a theory. I don't know if that's true, but it no, would explain. I think I think Brett's uh, greatness was a uh, non-existent. You just think, you know, maybe it was just seeing having an example like Brett. Like, man, I yeah. so don't want to be I like think that. It's, you look at that. You, that's a reverse role you, model where you look at my my brother's a total. Well, piece uh, of shit. Imagine, imagine this. You know, you're you receive Brett. You're going to hang out with Brett, and Brett's your brother, and, you know, you just come, and you see Dorn, and you just see Brett lying around, and Brett's probably in the same situation he's always been in. It's like, you just honestly look at that, and you're like, man, maybe you love Brett because he's your brother, but you really just don't like Brett as a person. And, I mean, like, if you even want friends to come over to your house yeah, you deal with Brett, you have to be, like, twice no, as No, Justin, Justin probably only goes and visits Brett. I don't, I don't think he ever comes to his house. I'm talking about when they were kids. Oh, when they were kids. When oh, they, kids. they was really dragged down then. Yeah. All I right. mean, it really, the only thing that Brett kept was that singing voice of an angel. I know you guys have all heard him singing typo negative before. I oh, mean, God. The destiny <laughs> that's in her eyes and between her thighs. <laughs> oh, God. You did better. Yeah, that was actually better than Brett did. did. Yeah. (laughs) You actually were not as able to be as bad. Anyway, uh, next one uh, is a fairly recent video from Brett. It's Brett Keen stops smoking in other major changes news. Wow. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, godtvradio.com. The website can be found in the description. To easily click it, and you're there. Let me tell you a little bit about my website. This is the Brett King Club. This means that you can join a Google group that I've created. These are all my YouTube channels. This is my brother. This is my daily motion page. This is my Twitch channel. This is my Twitter. Okay. This is my PS4 handle. You know, man, this, I, is, my, this is my slander page. Be sure to spread those 14 fans you got as thin as you possibly can, Brett. Yeah, yeah Brett, why, do you, why do you need... Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, on top of that, like, what is he walking us through here? It's labeled. Like, why? Know, right? <laughs> this is my channel, and this is my brother, Justin. And this is right here, this daily motion button. Yep, that's my daily motion. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, the funny thing about Brett is, like, Brett, there's people who have, like, 10 million followers, and they don't have as much shit as you. Yeah, and, like, I mean, think about this. Like, you you don't have one successful channel, and you have, like, 10 channels. What is the necessity of this website even existing? Like, man, the only reason I don't have a bunch of people follow me on social media and shit is because I don't have a, ch- a website that <laughs> congregates it all in one place. Also, I, I, I've criticized them numerous times, because basically, his, <laughs> before he did this, his site was just a blogger page. Now he's added some bullshit to it, so it's like, look, it's a real website. Circa 1998. Well, if anyone wants to play with I want to go to this website and click on Brett Keen Club, though. What is that? What's going on with that? (laughs) He said it's it's a Google group. Uh You should should join the Brett Keen Club. Is Is that like the Fox Kids Club? Dude, can we pull it up? The Brett Keen Club? What the fuck could it possibly be? What's in there? Who's a member of that? (laughs) <laughs> I don't know. You might have to be approved by Brett, I'm sure, so... I don't even want to fuck with it. In the it. future, for now on, all videos on. where I'm responding to trolls or dramatic bullshit or dealing with people who are doing the bullshit that they do on YouTube, this is where those videos will go. They will not be on YouTube anymore. Yes, they will. You can support, you can donate, and you can help the Keen family. Three different ways to do that if you feel like it. When you come to my There's site, three ways this is pretty much my brother's Brad. section. Over here. Right, here's, here, here's, a, uh, here's a prediction. This is pretty-
because this is a recent video, right, Ben? Like this is like within the yeah. last couple of days or so. Yeah. In one week, there will be drama on Brett Keen's channel. One week. I give him one week from today. By by next Friday, there will be massive amounts of drama on Brett Keen's channels again. Guaranteed. And why is that? Because no one's going to come to this site and watch those drama videos. Yeah. Nobody, nobody's going to go to his shitty fucking 1992 website and watch drama videos. And he's not going to make any money doing like like his fucking horrible – like when he tries to do a non-drama video. I was thinking about how – some people think that that reality is a simulation, just <laughs> like the Matrix. Uh. <laughs> Much all my stuff. Oh, there it is. <laughs> did you see it? Every link out there and ways to contact. Did me, you see blah, the blah, Matrix? I did. Yeah, I did see it. Fred, no that, one needs. That's another recent video he did. No one needs all this shit to contact you. It's like, no one is trying to get in contact with you, Brett. Like, why do you have 50 fucking channels? You must have nothing better to do with your life than create fucking d- channels. that w- They're not defunct. Yeah, I mean, like... They're just... No one's going to... We no actually traffic. we actually make a living off of YouTube. And <clears throat> TJ, he doesn't have that many channels. Mm-mm. He has... This is like a, a, a split channel for him. Yeah. And then he has, like, what is it? TJ does life. Yeah. And that's it, right? Yeah. Besides Amazing Atheist. So, right. There's like three. You have like, Three yeah. that I actually use, uh, ever use. I mean, I guess I might have made a few channels in the past that I only used for a little while, but. Yeah. You know. And I haven't even used TJ Does Life in quite a while either. Yeah. It's like, there's always huge, like, sporadic gaps in that, in uploads to that shit. I mean, and if you look at this shit, too, he posts, like, these these videos that he's made where he's rambling about shit, and then he just copy-pastes a Wikipedia article down below. Like, just look at the first line of that of that story there and tell me you can hear Brett Keen saying that. <laughs> like, normal sensory neurons, <laughs> nociceptor neurons, travel and peripheral sensory nerves. No way, dude. No way. It's totally him, dude. What are you talking about? <coughs> huh. Wow. This is my Twitter right here where you can actually see every new feed that goes up. And down below, these will be my posts and articles and so on. <coughs> watch. So on. Oh, my God. We, like, why are you just, like, I, is this not self-explanatory as you see it? Like, here, these things look like articles. Guess what they are? Articles. Holy yeah, shit. people are gonna come. People are gonna come like yeah. videos that I made. Guess what they are? Guess, Scotty. What? Guess. What? What could it be? Guess, Scotty. What is this? Mm. What do you think this is, I Scotty? Know. I don't know. I just don't fucking know. The video, Scotty. Oh. It's a video made by Brett Keen. videos and and read stuff yeah all right so yeah make sure you check out this stuff because i've got different videos on daily motion and different stuff going on twitch most of the twitch videos will end up being exported over to games you love games you love right no one cares no one cares about all this shit this is a total but waste of time. Show, show some love and show some support. That's the way to do it. Also, for now on, whenever I do a Google Hangout, you'll get to watch it in real time while it's happening. Dude, how riveting. Instead of 31 flavors of ice cream like Baskin Robbins, Brett Keen just has like 31 flavors of dog shit. It can't just mm. be, it can't just be like, I'm Brett and I'm full of this shit. It's like, no, we got a <coughs> wide variety of shit. You can see me fucking doing horrible things all over the place. How do I spread my already pitiful views thinner? Let's make 28 channels. <laughs> I can't wait to join the Brett Keen Club, though. Dude, Brett's probably like divide and conquer. I'm Brett Keen's number one fan. There you go, Ben. If you joined his group, you'd be one of like, you know, like maybe 10 people, so maybe you could claim that. You'd be like, look, Brett, I'm your number one fan. 
We should uh, we should all join the Brett Keen Club and make it all about how great I am. That would make me so happy. No. I, think, I was blocked on Twitter by Brett because I told him his video sucked or something. What? Why would you tell Brett that? Why are you trying to hurt Brett's Whoa. feelings, dude? Crossing the line there, buddy. I, you know, I know we, we, we have fun Josh and Brett Keen on the show every once in a while, guys, but deep down, I think we all respect Brett. Brett. <laughs> You couldn't even say it. <laughs> it's like, the you, video. Uh, like you tried to say it, and just like, no, 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 no. The videos will be removed from YouTube, yeah. and they will be put over on my Patreon Fuck channel. Bread. People want to watch it. They got to be at least a $5 Patreon. Also, so if you want to be a channel. part of my Hangouts in order to get the link, you're going to have to be a $5 Patreon. Now, this means you pay $5 and you're going to be able to get into any hangouts Damn. I do during the month. But if you ever delete your Patreon didn't or your he, pledge, didn't, what Didn't he, like, a week never... ago criticize us for doing this? Wasn't he like, you don't have to pay me any money. Like you like the drunken peasants, they make you pay a Patreon thing for their hangouts. Yeah, but he you criticized us and me. then he stole from us. You know, yep. that's how it usually works. Way to go, Brett. You know, uh, I want to move on to one more video, uh, so a little bit more of a classic Keen. There's a classic Keen channel out there that's pretty good, and we're going to watch one from there, unless you want to watch a little more of this one. I saw, um, no, we can watch that one, but I, I saw through the chat, within like a couple seconds of each other, there was a comment that was like, that's fuck, TJ. And then there was another one that's like, fuck you, TJ. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pretty much the chat in a nutshell. Yeah. Let's fuck TJ. Fuck you, TJ. Thank you, chat. I'm glad you're full of such strong feelings about me. Indeed. Um, Love him or hate him, TJ. <laughs> many people, many in this crowd say TJ shit. Many say he's terrific. Who knows? Even I'm not to- sure. All right, let's do, let's do the next yeah, one. Yeah, let's play the next one. This one's uh, from, I think, a few months ago, maybe like three or four months ago. No. It's, no? I don't know. Uh, the, am- the amazing atheist, I trusted you, and you scammed us all. Fuck. <laughs> great. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett <laughs> Man, King look at him. TV Radio. Make sure you check out all my YouTube uh, channels. What the fuck is going on with your hair? Facebook and Twitter. Also, make sure that you check out my... Why is he giving off this creepy teenage girl vibe in this video? Yeah, dude, he fucking it looks is. like a he's fucking, laying in bed writing in his diary. Yeah, it just looks like. I mean, like I remember this phase of his video making too, and I always used to get this feeling when he when he did this, like, "Dear diary, today the amazing atheist was a meanie." It's like, oh shit. Billy looked at me today, and oh my god, I almost died. I love him so much. <laughs> XO XO. Brothers YouTube channel. He's a very talented guitarist. He is. Indeed. Wow. Yeah, he's yeah. man, Brett, it must be tough. Look, look at him. He's sad. Like yeah, look how sad he, he is. mentioned Brett, that. Dude, look, Brett is basically praying to Justin right now. <laughs> Dear God, please make me as great as Justin. Please. Yeah. Never be Justin, Brett. Justin was the golden child. Brett, you know, I don't even know why your fucking parents even fed you, honestly, <laughs> when they had Justin. If I, I mean, like, honestly, if I was sitting there and I had two kids, and I'm looking, and one's Brett and one's Justin, mm. would you even give any food to Brett? Like, why even bother? Why invest in that yeah, when just, you got that? Just throw him out of the house and be like, it's just like, for yourself. yeah, you're good. The wolves will raise you. Either that or they'll eat you. Whatever. Yeah, Either way, you're not my problem. <laughs> yeah, wolves typically raise you. That's the benevolent nature. Dude, I've heard it, it, look, it's it, happened. It's the benevolent like nature Romulus of and Remus. Yeah, dude. It's happened before. So a lot of Drunken Peasants fans, you came over to my channel, you watched me take the challenge, I've literally got almost 3,000, uh, perhaps even more tonight, views on a video where I went ahead and took the challenge. You guys have heard twice, in two different videos, that TJ stated he was going to pay $1,100 for me eating a hamburger, as well as showing my teeth. Oh, it's during this well, time. Did. And I'll admit to you, it was very difficult for me on the teeth part because it's something I've always been bothered about. I told Paul Ziegel that in Skype and told TJ whenever I talked to them long ago. You see, the teeth in all my old videos is fake. 
a long time ago, my father uh, no, they're not. knocked my teeth out when I was Unless, so, unle- so unless you went through a period where you were wearing a pair of dentures that only had two front teeth. That's bullshit. <laughs> Uh, yeah. That your dad didn't just see you every time, like, time to knock another tooth out, Brett. Come Over on. the course of my adult life, my father remo- punched out my like teeth. Like, every six one months, one. his dad yeah. would just walk up and just sock Brett in the face. Yeah. Like, you know, you know, it was this time of the year, man. Well, what happened to knock is, out a molar, you know? Well, what happened is my dad would contact me, and he'd be like, Brett, I want to patch things up. Can we meet? And I'd say, <laughs> okay. And as soon as I got out of the car, he'd jump me and go tink, 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 and chisel out another tooth. That I son mean, of like, a bitch. Do you have any idea how how I mean, like what kind of fucking punch <laughs> would knock out every <laughs> single tooth in your fucking head? <laughs> I mean, his father would have to have been like the a fucking Brock Lesnar or some shit. And like you know, did he take a fucking? <laughs> Like baseball bat to his face and just, dude. Yeah. It would take it would a take multiple hammer. hits. <laughs> yeah, it would take multiple hits from a baseball bat to do that, dude. And you'd think he'd have way more like damage to his face if that were the case. Like <laughs> the amount of force it would take to knock out like his molars and shit. Uh, yeah. I mean, he would have like scarring on his face from that. His oh, father yeah. punched out every single <laughs> solitary. Tooth in his fucking head. <laughs> That's what happened, ladies and gentlemen. I believe it. Uh, Why would you question, uh, Brad? And dude, like, he, he'll just, he's just willing to lie. Like, uh, yeah, my father, he, he fucking punched all my teeth out. It didn't happen. So he's just lying about his fucking dad. Like, yeah, my dad punched my teeth out of my fucking head. I distinctly remember too, and I'm, I know it's only a matter of time until this the whoever's running the classic Keen channel finds it. But I distinctly remember hangouts with Brett, where like he wouldn't show his face and his voice would be all kind of muffled <laughs> more than usual, and and then he would talk about how like oh, I got some dental problems, I have a I have a bad tooth, I have, I have a tooth taken out. So this story is just complete horseshit. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, no, Paul. Everyone was convinced by uh, Brett's uh, story. Everyone just believed him. Just like you know what? People were, dude. I, mean, I legitimately had people come to me like, "You're a piece of shit for making fun of Brett and not having any teeth, knowing that his dad is the one who punched." There's his no teeth. believe anything. There's no, how could you believe? There are that? people who are gullible dude, enough to believe. How the fuck did you believe shit. Brett about on anything? Scotty, you shouldn't even be surprised oh, yeah. that people will believe stupid bullshit like that. Man, there are some dumb motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah there's got to be. Dumb, really fucking dumb, stupid. Dumb yeah, really fucking Scotty. stupid people. People who have no ability to reason whatsoever. They just believe anything they hear that they want to believe. That, that, yeah, that, that would be the criteria. You just hear it and do it. Oh, Brett said it. It must be true. He got his teeth punched out by his dad. Oh, my God. I feel bad for him. So it's something that's always bothered me. Congratulations. A lot of people feel like not as a child about their body that they're not happy with. But I had the courage to allow wait, thousands wait, wait, wait. and thousands wait. of people. He said he said his teeth were knocked out as a child. But what, that have been that would have been his first set of teeth. So, he, <laughs> <laughs> Brett, your, know, your shit doesn't make any sense, dude. <laughs> your shit. If you if someone knocked out your baby teeth, at some point you would get your adult teeth, Brett. So I mean, n- not not even mentioning the fact that you spend ninety percent of your life flapping your empty gums in front of the internet. You act like it was such a fucking horrible thing to pull your lip up. And show everybody what everybody already knew anyway. To look upon <laughs> a flaw of me in order to take a challenge that TJ put forth. I said I would. I did. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> you know, you make Brett cry in this video, I've literally TJ. had tons and tons Aww. of drunken peasants fans come in and out of my room since he said he was going to do this twice, stating, TJ is not a scammer. He will do what he says he's going to do. And he did. But he didn't. Tonight, he I did. listened to him actually liar, state Brett. after twice saying he would pay. And, and he did. go through with it. Yes, he did. Now, this poses a problem for a lot of non-believers out there because... It poses the no problem because it's bullshit. ...is considered probably the most popular atheist on YouTube. That millions of atheists out there endorse and subscribe to. And non-atheists, and too. And the fact that you know that he scammed me and let him get away with that 
After the only thing that I've really accused him of is being like his father, a scammer. Which he did scam the drunken well, person's fans out that, there. All the people who's given him money. That plus rape, the- plus pedophilia. Um, but yeah, that, that that's about it. I'm pretty sure there's been more even than that. Oh, and uh, yeah. also personally masterminding, engineering the downfall of his channels. Yeah, that's for years a good now. one. Every year, every day. Uh, and for stealing his video content constantly. <laughs> And uh, using it for my own profit, and uh, he's going to sue me. And he's Fat ass. Going to report me to the FBI, and uh, <coughs> et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> yeah, he's going to have Paul arrested. I like when he called you a fat ass. Oh, yeah. Fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> this big bullfrog necked motherfucker calling anybody yeah. a fat ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> What is like? <laughs> it's so true. The way you would draw this, lay on his fucking it's fat nice. stomach too, man. Like, like, cause you imagine Brett's gut, dude. Come on. You basically just extend his face down, <laughs> and then just kind of curve it in. As he's a like fucking a, blob. <laughs> it's like an underside of a turtle or something. I mean, nah, just, you just you just uh, draw his face like a normal human face in really wet ink, and then pour water on it and let it just <laughs> drip down. That's how you make a freaking face. That reminds me of a slug. I just kind of see it in his face. Like Java. Like, like in, this, Java. in this pause here, in this pause here, it looks like he's got like horrible tonsillitis or something. <laughs> like it looks like his tonsils have just like grown to the size of softballs in his neck. Past. He never <laughs> gave me back what he said he was going to do. I seen him do that to people before, Ugh. and I didn't feel like it was Ooh. right. Jeez, the bottom of his fucking face is just making me yeah. uncomfortable now. I've I, I've seen TJ do bad things. <laughs> so what? So what is your proof, Brett? Of course, there's there is no evidence. You know what's funny, Brett? If we just talked about any shit you've done, there's just a mountain of evidence against you. So it's it's kind of just funny that even when you pull this shit, you don't just go and find shit TJ's actually done that's bad. I mean, besides the banana shit, like, there's a bunch of shit TJ said. So if you're going to attack TJ on something, at least attack him on something you can actually prove. Like, TJ said this mean thing to this person. Here you go. Like, you literally are just making shit up. You have no fucking proof, and you always have some nebulous fucking language where it's like, I've heard said that TJ, you know, touched a child, but, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I didn't feel like it was good for him to scam all those people, and I didn't think it was right for his father to scam countless children out of an education. <laughs> children. Children. children! I thought it was a college. <laughs> Wasn't it a college? Yeah. <laughs> There's children now. No, <laughs> scam children. LaSalle <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> La- 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 Kindergartens. <laughs> Millions of hopeful children signed up hoping to get a good education. I, I, I literally want Brett to say that, like, he saw someone pushing a stroller and a baby had a lollipop, and our dad just came along and grabbed it. He's like, he's taking candy from a baby. Uh, you know, come and on. And then he throws the stroller off a fucking, uh, <laughs> off a bridge or something. <laughs> 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 Enjoy your education in hell. He <laughs> just licks the lollipop. The mom's like, no! Yeah! That was my day, <laughs> so everybody. Many, so many, ch- what a lovable so many children's lives were destroyed by LaSalle <laughs> University, let me tell you. I'm sorry that you perceive me as the enemy or some kind of villain. But um, <laughs> oh, I know sorry. that there's a I'm lot sorry. of uh, atheists who've contacted me on Skype, which I've uninstalled recently. I just simply don't want to talk to people anymore. That um, Yeah, guess what? You can just not sign in. A lot of you in. believed in him. A lot of you put your faith in the TJ keeping his word. And he and did. I'm sorry that you didn't get what you wanted. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> he did. And he did. And he did. And he did. I was really, really hoping to make that video where I say, hey, you he did. kept his word. You maybe did. I had the wrong idea. You did, but you deleted I, it. And then you bitched about I how he was giving you more money. After all these years. Yeah. So uh, He continued to give you money after he gave you the money he said he would. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just uh not even out of niceness or anything, just because it amused me you, to do so. TJ, you know what? I think Brett. I mean, look, it's been it's been a while, and there's no, there's still no interview. I think TJ, you have to go to Patreon on he's this. He's a scammer. Yeah, he's he's fucking scammed yep. you. He has publicly scammed you, TJ. Brett, you've been invited on this show several times. We're not talking about we, 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 the interview is not going to take place on your show, Brett. It's going to take place either in the Amazing Atheist or the Drunken Peasants or something, right, TJ? Yeah. So, Brett, you need to come to TJ. 
I would I say no matter where it takes place, we'll let it just be TJ yeah. and Brett. Just TJ yep. and Brett. Yeah. That was but, that was the agreement. No, none none of the rest of us gave him six sixty six a month. But, TJ, I think, I, I think you got to give Brett a deadline here because otherwise, I think you're just gonna have to do a charge back on him because he's not fucking delivering on this interview. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. So yeah, you, 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 Brett, you should probably me. contact me privately, yeah. Brett. Contact yeah. me on Twitter or something, Brett. Because yeah, you need to contact me on Twitter. Because something tells me that uh, that thousand dollars isn't sitting in your bank ready for a chargeback, Brett. Something tells me that got spent long yeah. ago on. You have not given us the perk. Shit. You promised. You promised TJ yeah. and anyone else who donated that amount of money to your Patreon, Brett. Yeah, you said you were that you would me. you give certain perks. Have you featured TJ on your channel? I think there's a few things he said he would do. Brett, you have not lived up to the terms. That you stated and your uh, Patreon uh, perks. So I mean, like we're like, we're forced, Brett. And look, I'm sure TJ, do you even want to do this, TJ? Yeah. Oh, you do want to do this? <laughs> do do it? Oh, he does want to do it, Brett. I guess I guess <laughs> Brett, you burned that bridge with TJ personally, yeah. man. <laughs> Did you, you need to come up with a deadline, TJ, and fucking tweet it or something. No, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Me and Brett are gonna the do this interview. The clock's ticking, manatee. You know, uh, there is a possibility that uh, maybe we can arrange something with Brett. Maybe we can, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe we can arrange something mutually beneficial to both of us, Brett. We got to see Brett cry at the end. Maybe he'll tell the truth. Maybe. Look at him. No. I was really hoping to be wrong. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Drunken Peasants fans, and I'm sure <laughs> some of you get over it. Some of you will be able to sleep at night knowing that you endorse someone... Who lies and hurts people for fun? You know what? Even the even the dumbasses that even the dumbasses that were like the the idea that anybody lost sleep over this, Brett, is the silliest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. No, no, there, there were break, dude. like 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 the fucking subreddit went retarded. No, I know, but even even those fucking retards, like nobody nobody was like. Laying awake in bed at night, going, man, I hope Brett gets a thousand dollars, man. I really believed in TJ. <laughs> I thought you were different, TJ. I thought this was gonna be the time that me and you just patched things up, and I don't think a month, you and Brett became buddies again. I don't think a month goes by without at least one really huffy fan being like, "You know, man, I used to respect you." <laughs> But now, 2014, man. Now that you said this one thing that I don't like, fuck you, TJ. Dude, in every time period, too, there's like, man, TJ, 2012, man, you were on point, 2012. I love 2012. 2013, shit. 2014, shit. 2015, shit. Everything before that, also shit. But 2012. I think like 2010 is probably like my favorite. No era. way, dude. No way, man. 2012. Everyone knows the best era was 2011, dude. All right, <clears throat> here we go. All right, when Amazing Atheist videos fucking mess up. YouTube for a little bit. I'm not gonna quit. But, uh, <laughs> oh, you're crocodile tears. You're not even all oh upset. Oh God, Brett, Brett just stop. Enough. I know That's you guys Brett thought better emotion. of the Amazing Atheist. Oh, you know, you know, way, way, whatever, you know. Hey, I'm sad now. <laughs> there it goes. I hope that you all have a uh, a beautiful <laughs> day and a merry Christmas. <laughs> God, it's laid on so thick. God bless you yep. all. God, God bless you all. <laughs> oh, <thank God. laughs> oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lord, I make me this materialize me. Oh no, no. No. God, Brett, you're so oh, pathetic. God, it's <laughs> no, you're sobbing. You're sobbing, <laughs> Brett. Come on. <laughs> and Brett, the Oscar goes to you. He he dude, he's so clearly not upset. <laughs> you're you, a fucking moron. You can, you can see when he opened his eyes. Like, there was no tears. His eyes weren't red from crying. You could tell, if he was really upset, you'd fucking know he was upset. He literally so tried to pull, like, the... <laughs> TJ, but it, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad. Do we need to play that? Do when you interview Brett, you need to play that. You need to play how sad Brett was. 
Like, Dude. Brett, I made you cry. <laughs> remember, remember the time I made you sob, Brett? Brett, it, come honest, on. It honestly does fight. look yeah. like it might be, like, a little bit misty here. And I wouldn't put it past Brett to right off camera. He's got a fucking freshly cut onion. And he just, like, the reason he put his hands <laughs> in his face is so he could rub his eyes with some <laughs> onion juice. I'd believe it, dude. <laughs> Piece of shit, Brett. Nobody fucking buys this fucking act. This is the worst <laughs> thing I've ever seen on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> and we're the drunken peasants. <laughs> oh, God, fuck you, Brett. Oh, fuck you for being this funny. Yeah. Dude. Oh, Brett. You're the master. You're the master of comedy, dude. You're the master of unintentional, I'm such a piece of shit, you laugh at me comedy. Oh. You're going to be considered one of the great comedic masters. Oh, God. Pioneering the star, uh, the, the pioneering the, the, the nascent fucking field of unintentional humor. So I'm I'm downloading a video really quick here. And this is we'll, a Brett Keen video. Yeah, sweet. Oh God. Uh, well, while you're doing that, I can talk about. I made a prediction last uh, Wednesday or last Friday, I think. Yeah. And I said by next Friday, Brett would have uh, you know attack videos back up because the video we watched then was like no more attack videos, <laughs> no more drama on this channel. Of, of and course. I think it's debatable whether he's already fucked that up. Um, you know, I guess, you know, the chat, and the fans will have to decide, but, um, he's uploaded multiple videos to other websites. So like you now and shit, and it's the same old shit. TJ's a pedophile. His dad's a scam artist. Paul's ego solicited nudes from an underage girl. Scotty lives in TJ's shadow, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, but they're not on YouTube, but he has done multiple hangouts and a good at least 30, 40, 50% of those Hangouts is just saying the same shit. So does a Hangout count? Because if a Hangout counts, I'm already right. But if it needs to be like a direct video where it's just like, here's me breaking down the amazing atheist, then he hasn't done it yet. So I guess we'll see. It'll be fun. He'll, he'll do it. It won't be long. This is a Brett Keen feminism video. His, yeah, his yeah, it's perfect. Obsession, his total obsession. This dude. is nice. All right, here it is. Individual situation. Check out the beautiful asshole. <sighs> the individual Brett Keen segment situation. So uh, you don't need to know that much backstory about Brett Keen except for he's a piece of shit. Yeah. So that's all you need Got to it. know. Yeah. <laughs> Atheists have been known to subscribe to channels to talk about. Oh, man. Uh, it doesn't give us enough time. Yeah. Check out the all-new GodTVRadio.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from oh, God right TV here. Radio. <laughs> Make sure you check yeah. out my website, awesome. GodTVRadio.com. And if on. you'd like to be a part of my live broadcast, simply become a patron or connect with me through my become website. <laughs> also, I've added <laughs> a lot of new things to the patron, site. Make dude. sure you check patron. out um, it's an old the word. drama it's videos section uh, for oh, all Brett. the... Troublesome videos between me and YouTubers and other shit has okay. went. It's uh, left YouTube, and now that's where you'll find it if that's something you're into. Oh, your new Today I wanted site. to talk right. about the objectification of females. As many of you right. know, Robert Which De Niro, is one of my on favorite now? actors in the whole wide world, some of the best movies he's been in, gangster mafia films, and of course he's been in some more philosophical movies like Awakening with Robin Williams. Uh -huh. But one of his last <laughs> films that he made was horrible. <clears throat> it was a movie called Dirty Grandpa. It was the first <laughs> time I got to see Robert De Niro jacking off in a chair to porn. It was the first time I'd ever heard him sit at a table in a restaurant and tell his young grandson that he would like it if Queen Latifah would be up in a hot air balloon and take a shit from that distance into his <laughs> mouth from below. Oh <laughs> I don't know, man. You're selling me on this fucking movie, bro. <laughs> that sounds great. I mean, like, I thought it looked like uh, shit, but man, I don't know. You're making me kind of reassess this. Yeah. Maybe I want to see this. This yeah, sounds pretty damn. crazy. And then this guy 
the same guy who I adore as an actor makes a video calling <laughs> Donald Trump a slob, a pig, a horrible person for some of the shit that he said. Now, Donald Trump is a, a full-blooded American man who... <laughs> what does that mean, he's a full-blooded? Full -blooded. I mean, he ain't one of these half-breeds, man. I he's mean, all 100% his... born with the flag up his ass, American man. I mean, his mom, his mom was born in Scotland, so... <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> How does Ball he blooded? But I mean, like <laughs> Brett Keen is like he's made, Brett Keen's made a shit ton of pro feminist videos. Yeah, well, for because uh, he was buddies with Jenny McDermott for he's a little been, while. Yeah, and he's made a shit ton of videos about like Christians, Muslims, pagans, and Jews. Like, I all are welcome here. Dude, but Brett misunderstands. But you support a candidate who's like pretty obviously anti-Muslim. So I don't, I don't get it. You're very inconsistent, Brett. As usual. And I mean, an obvious to anybody with two eyes and the ability to watch a few videos pre this campaign, this man has, has not been a Christian <laughs> for very long. It's, it's, it's pretty clear that this whole Christian thing kind of like makes him uncomfortable and he did it so that he could run for president. Like, I don't, I, I don't remember ever seeing a clip of, of Donald Trump. Maybe, maybe he said it, but he certainly hasn't lived it. You know what I mean? Oh, no way. Yeah, he's not an evangelical. You never was saying before. some goofy shit, not knowing that his mic was hot, that his mic was open. But Robert De Niro knew that he was going to be seen by thousands of people but he was playing a character publicly. A yeah, I mean, this is like you see how ob you see how quickly everyone just shouts that at you. That's because this is like no shit moment. How did you not say this? And then immediately, well, he was playing a character in a movie. Like, are you going to make that distinction? Let's see. And what you would refer to as acting. He uh -huh. read the lines of what he was going to say in a movie and decided right. he was going to do that. And it didn't matter if children and teenagers and young adults or even senior citizens were no, going to watch and be offended. Uh, that's uh, what the rating system yeah. is for. That's why I have a rating system on movies, dipshit. <laughs> you know, not, gonna... <laughs> yeah, you know, when I see a movie called Dirty Grandpa... I don't. I don't think anything of that. Doesn't mean anything to me. It's like, hmm. What, what could this? What could this movie be about? What could be in this movie? It's about a grandpa who fell in some mud. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. Robert De Niro did it because he's an actor, and he thought that kind of shit was he got funny. Paid. Right. He got paid. Well, That's why he did it. there's a lot of men behind the scenes. Whenever they see a woman. They may look at a woman and say, damn, she's sexy. Damn, she's hot. I want to wow. do this and that and this and that. Oh, Brad, I really don't want to think about you doing anything like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, Brad's that. saying that just like, ugh, ugh. You know, like there's a line that, you know, I don't even want you to cross, Brett. You're going to cross dude, that line. You're, you're going to spark some Brett slam poetry, dude. They say because I'm a manatee, I'm not allowed to feel sexually. It's going on, dude. You're gonna you're gonna bring it on. It doesn't mean that you devalue the woman. It just means that you're focused on a specific or particular quality of the female at the time, and that's usually the way it is. Whenever we get into relationships or meet people for the first time, anyway, isn't it? <laughs> oh God, he's so wise. What the fuck do you know about any sort of relationship, dude? It, 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 it strikes me as Dorn is probably the most you've ever had. May, maybe one or two other things. Where did he get the... I, maybe. The the pictures he chose are so interesting. Like the one of the girl like, yeah, licking you the have banana. To to get that. Yeah, yeah, this is... Uh, yeah, what did he type in to find this? Yeah. Do you remember we watched the video and like in Brett suggested uh, like the sidebar like like recommended videos? It was like was it like cow enemas or something. <laughs> no, it was yeah. or what was no, it? No, it was prolapsed cow yeah. vaginas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I don't know what the fuck Brett watches, but uh, that's kind of a very strange video to be recommended just randomly. Yeah, does he watch? Videos about prolapsed cow vaginas often. I can't say that he does, but I mean, it, that just seems very strange. <laughs> we don't know their mind. We don't know the way their thoughts work. We usually see someone in our 
our natural instinct and our nature, our biology tells yeah. us, wow, this person is attractive. Yeah. This person has something I can identify with. This person is someone that I think that I could mate with or do this. <laughs> it's the same primal instinct that an animal has. Um, show, show, show Blair what Brett Keen looks like. Like she needs a, she needs I'm like, some, she needs like a frame of reference for what's being said here. I have like, an uh, image in my head. God, God and Adam, the Sistine Chapel. Maybe. All right, you you tell me how close this comes. You just pull over the whole whole damn thing if you want. How about this one? Um. This one. Yeah, that's closer yeah. to how he looks now. I would say give it, give her that one. Beautiful Brett. Hold up. <laughs> Imagining bald, first of all. Nope. Nope. No. Oh. Yeah. Can you guys see that? No. It's brown. I have the white hair. I guess Beyond. the white hair. Yeah. Guess his you, well, age. Yeah. What's Brett's age? Uh, 39. Whoa. Wow. 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 Holy shit. Is it 39? Yeah. yeah. Wow. How the fuck did you know? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like every other, every other person that we've okay. asked that question that isn't familiar with Brett Keen goes like 58. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. I mean, you can see he doesn't like take care of himself, but he doesn't look old. He looks kind of old, but not old. Damn. Brett, you got Wait, a fan, so, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so quote so quote much. quote from Blair quote quote from Blair White, dude. Brett Keen oozes sexuality. She said it here know, on the show, folks. You heard it. We oh know God. Brett loves the trannies too. <laughs> you know, he said he's trans too. No, no, no. no, no he either. loves the trannies though. He loves it. <laughs> this is his favorite. And thing. if we supposedly evolved from animals then this is not objectification, it is not sexualizing, it's simply our nature taking hold. The problem becomes if you begin physically assaulting someone. The problem begins if you can't shut your fucking mouth. If you said what you feel about a person, that they turn you on or they do something for turn you in that on. demeanor, and then it doesn't... <laughs> I love how Brett's talking about other people being able to shut the fucking... shut their fucking mouths. <laughs> as if he's yeah. ever had that ability in his life. I mean, come on, Brett. I mean, on advice from Brett just feels so wrong. And you, just, you just, like, like on a visceral level, you're just like, come on, dude, you're, you're trying to give someone advice. I mean, even, even just a general way, Brett, you have, you have no advice for anyone. But could you imagine listening to this and actually being like, fuck yeah, this is this is it. Love no, this. No, no one does like, that, though. There's got to be some people. I'm sure there's some people. No, practically none. No. M- maybe maybe, maybe when he first started doing this, he's been he doing some. this for as long as me. And he, he literally has not had an audience for like eight years. He was popular oh. at one time. But he's just he was popular going. nine years ago. Yeah. Did point, you guys nine ever years see, ago? Uh, nine years ago, we had did you guys ever see that one woman who was on YouTube for like years? She was a crazy, crazy Christian lady, but she was also like a seventy-year-old transsexual, and her name was Marjorie Brubaker. Did no. you ever see her? No, no, oh, wow. no? that's crazy. It was fucking gold. She would make videos every day about how like she's summoning the white light on people and. How all these people are demons around her, and she'd be screaming into the camera, just going, being completely insane. But then she deleted all her videos and was never seen again. It's Sounds bad. like Gail. Yeah, a little bit. I loved her videos. I loved watching them. Gail is really more matter of fact, though. Like, just kind of like, like when when you hear like watch Gail, it's like she's basically just giving you like what's like re- her reality is like like that's just it. There's like there's no question that, that this happened. Like whatever she says is just true. The, the the great thing about Brett, I think the thing that keeps people coming back to Brett, if only to make fun of him, is that he'll make a video one day saying, you know, atheists come to my channel and accuse me of all kinds of. Re- I've been accused of being a pedophile. I've been accused of abusing my children. And then the next video will be the amazing atheist fucked a 12 year old. Oh my God. Paul's ego solicited nudes from an underage feminist on Skype. 
You know what I mean? So like he, he everything that he accuses other people of doing, he does on a routine basis. Yeah, if you have to remember, it, you have to remember how it happened though too, Paul. Uh, someone randomly called one of his eight-hour Google Hangouts to tell him this. It, yeah, he yeah. Didn't say it directly. Yeah, he him. loves to do that too. Like he won't come right out with the accusation. Well, sometimes he does. Like with TJ, yeah, he'll just uh, yeah, straight sometimes. up be like, "Yep, here's the proof. TJ fucked a twelve-year-old." But like <laughs> he also likes to do the like. He'll have these hangouts, and then some mysterious person who he's never met before will come in and go, uh, yeah, uh, I'm from Louisiana, and uh, TJ, uh, back when he was in – I went to high school with TJ, the amazing atheist, and he, he, he raped a woman. He ra- and, and, and then Brett will go, what? what? Well, I want to say – I'm not saying this, but you're telling me that TJ raped a woman in high school? <laughs> Like he loves to try and like like that gives him you know plausible deniability that it wasn't him that said it. That's like a joke, but do you ever consider actually like going after this person? I feel like if people were making videos saying I was like a molester, I'd do something about it. Well, we 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 do. Um, we just choose not to use legal channels. We just choose to cover him on the show and make him look like a retard over and over again. Oh, I think that's that, that's the better so. way to handle Brett. It's more fun, I guess. Because oh, no, yeah. like nobody in the money. world is going to listen to yeah. Brett Keen and go, yeah, well, maybe and Paul Zigo <laughs> is a pedophile. It's just yeah. ne- it's never going to happen. And if they you do, know fuck them, I mean? dude. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. Who cares? If you believe in Brett Keen, who gives a shit what you think? Dude, Brett's, Brett Keen is really just, a, in his essence, a failed scam artist. And he's just, like, resentful to you, TJ, because he feels like you're a successful scam artist. Yeah, <laughs> I'm awesome. I think that's, I think that's what, his view and then you go to touch them and mess with them yeah. or they've asked you to or stop and you keep on fucking doing it no means no and I also believe that it is nature that if you are trying to make another um, human out there have an unpleasant experience or make them feel completely uncomfortable that you what if they, they should be allowed to smack you in the fucking mouth or do whatever the hell it is to get you away from them if you can't control yourself. Let me take uh, a drag of my wow. vaper. What a bold <laughs> stance. If I someone's trying to rape you, like... you're allowed to slap him, girls. Okay. Uh, it, so, wait a minute. Did Brett Keen <coughs> just give us all license to slap him in the face if we ever see him? Yeah. Because yeah. he's made me he's made me uncomfortable and, and, and put me in positions that I didn't want to be in multiple fucking times over the last ten years. I think he just gave me carte blanche to slap his jowly fucking face if I ever see him. Oh, no. Sweet. You know, keep up with what he's saying. His voice is just so I can't listen. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, What's was, wrong? What's that wrong, was Blair White? TJ, though. Don't tell me you're not sexually aroused by the hunk of man that is the manatee. The <laughs> Brett Keen situation. Uh. Yeah, I'll pass. I'll pass. All, 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 you know what, dude? All the ladies play coy with Brett Keen, but they all want it. They all want it. He is the stallion. He had a, he had a channel. Yeah. Now you saw that picture of him, right? Yeah. He had a channel for a couple of years on YouTube where his handle was not Brett Keen. It was the stallion, and he would it open up. Be, every, but... Yeah. Yeah. He would open up every video with, "Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's the stallion." Can you think of a person in the world that is least like a stallion than Brad Keane? <laughs> it's like a like an obese donkey. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was gonna say, TJ, do you remember that video where he said like uh, it was like one of the fight challenge, like during the fight challenge shit, where he's like he said, "Oh no, the interview mm-hmm. that he was gonna slap you." That's kind of same shit he was just saying right there. Is like. Donkey. Because you offended Brett, TJ, he should be able to just come up to you and assault you, dude. Cool. All the times you've talked shit about him, dude. Yeah, you should. Fucking manipulated it so his life has been a total fucking failure. How you manipulated that, you know, because every night you go to bed just planning Brett's downfall. It's so hard. I just I just have to fucking, what I do is I stand back and let him do it to himself. <laughs> it's a very difficult master plan. Time to move on. Individual situation. Check out the beautiful. <sighs> the individual Brett Keen segment situation. All right. Here we have uh, a recent video 
Donald Trump must win or Brett Keen leaves YouTube forever. What a grave threat. Never heard of I mean, one. like, first of all, why? Second of all, it's good. not going to happen. Yeah, for, yeah if, second if of all, happens, good. If, if it third, happens, good. It's not going to happen. So, I mean, and like, if anybody is swayed by this, they're going to be swayed to vote against Trump to get his stupid fucking ass <laughs> off of YouTube. This is the, this is the most terrible, like, angle he's ever taken. Dude, Brett's getting old, man. Oh, I haven't seen this intro before. Yeah, it's a new intro. Oh. Neat. Yeah, I'll just skip it. Oh, I like it. It's it's a masterpiece. Oh, jeez. Why? <laughs> Radio. Make sure you check out my website, godtvradio.com. <laughs> You can connect with me on Facebook and Twitter and also subscribe so to all my you? YouTube channels yeah, why would you do through that? my website. I want to thank all my supporters out there, my Patreons, as well as people. His all Patreons. three of them. Both of them. Both of them. <laughs> His Patreons. <laughs> One of which is probably him, so he doesn't have that family, sad zero patron Those who have donated money thing. to help out my wife and children and myself. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I love you all who've been there for me and have had my back. I love all of you. <laughs> Hurt by YouTube. Back. I've been under a lot of stress due to this <laughs> political presidential campaign. I you feel have? like the system is rigged. No, there's no fucking way, dude. <laughs> Brett Keane does not give a shit who is president. No. Nope. He does not care about America as an entity. Anything, like, here's here's your measure if Brett Keane cares about it or not. Is it Brett Keane? If no, <laughs> he doesn't care. I think, I think Brett Keane cares more about the Horde and the Alliance as entities than America. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I have felt that way before Donald Trump even... Decided to become a presidential candidate. It's all right. I believe that the government is fucking bullshit for many. <laughs> Thanks. What an eloquent Man. summarization of your position. Man. Government is bullshit. Well, the government's fucking bullshit. You I, guys. I I watched this video earlier, position. and it is chock full of just absolutely <laughs> incisive political commentary, just like that. <laughs> I think the government's <laughs> bullshit. I think the whole thing is rigged. I think. If Donald Trump doesn't win, you know, bad things are going to happen. Ugh. It's hard to imagine Brett even trying to be like a libertarian. It just, doesn't, it, just, it doesn't really fit. He's just too, like, he's not proactive enough even to, like, be like that. Because most of those people are like, let me go out and show I'm, like, I'm a free inhabitant. And, like, you know, I shouldn't be detained or stopped for any reason. Like, most of those people are, like, act, a little more active. I can't even imagine Brett trying to do some shit like that. Many years. I mean, one of, one of the funny things about this is I'm, I'm almost positive. We'll have to dig through the Keenology channel. I'm almost positive early in the election cycle when Donald Trump first started to become like a wow, it's, he possibly could take it, that Brett Keen made an anti-Trump video. I'm almost <laughs> positive I remember that happening. So, <laughs> uh, Yeah, not, only, not to mention that, like, wasn't Brett Keen making a bunch of feminist talking points earlier? Saying like... Drunken presents, a bunch of women haters and misogynists <laughs> over there. But now Trump, what Trump says is okay, but what we say on our show is misogynist and, if, and, and you know what? And if you don't, TJ, he's gone forever. Well, you, you just give me anyone, anyone listening the grace instead of to vote for Hillary. Before Donald Trump was even on The Apprentice, I believed that the government was bullshit. I didn't care for Bush. I didn't care for fucking Clinton, Bill Clinton. I didn't give a shit about all the crap that was going back and forth. I didn't give a shit about Senior Bush. Yeah, that's right. This is yeah. more honest. Senior Bush. This is a more senior honest Brett. I don't give a shit about any of them. A but now I give a shit because it seems like maybe I could get some views. So Brett goes to Google and types in Senior Views. Bush. What views. Kind of websites does he get? Please give me views. I'll, I'll quit YouTube if no Trump wins. It's totally <laughs> legit offer, you guys. This video will be deleted at that point. He'll just fucking delete it. He'll be like, no, I never said that. You know, in a way, he's like Trump. He's like, oh, I never said that. I never did that. 
Maybe that's why he wants Trump. Maybe maybe his support for Trump is genuine, and he's like, he's a scammer individual just like me situation. Brett's into senior Bush. I mean, this this really is kind of a new chunk of the Brett Keen cycle, too, because over the last two or three months, Brett's made four or five insert ultimatum here i'm gone forever videos like this seems to be his new thing like if you don't give me money for my son's car i'm gone if you don't give me patreon i'm gone if the drunken peasants don't take down all the videos about me i'm gone it like it's not working brett nobody yeah. cares <laughs> brett your ultimatums are just no they're just dismissed it's like, entirely it's like a hunger strike from someone everyone wants to see starve to death i don't doesn't make any sense <laughs> fucking senior bush <laughs> oh jesus that is the more honest brett though the not giving a shit oh, give a shit. you still don't give a shit and i feel like bush <laughs> it was a rigged system Oh, and we got stuck with one of the worst what? motherfuckers for I years feel like it was Bush. who it's started a, a war and made us like a Trump. whole lot of enemies. I believe because of what Bush did and Obama, that is the reason why ISIS exists today and also because of some of the bullshit Hillary Clinton has done. I feel like a lot of innocent lives have been lost. I feel like America's lost a lot of money. I feel like things are only going to get worse if Hillary Clinton gets into office. The fucking vagueness with which you speak, Brett. I mean, like... Yeah. I mean, this is like a primer for having a conversation with somebody who knows <laughs> nothing about politics, but just every once in a while flips on CNN. I feel like it's rigged. Uh, some bad things happened during this presidency, and, you know... <laughs> it's it's awful. Like, people are dying, and... Oh, there are some bad. situations when they were in office. You know, it's like, come I, on, dude. Of course, of course, he didn't care when people were dying before. You know what I mean? Because people, you know, always been dying. But now, uh, this election, it's causing, I'm going through a lot of stress here, guys, about this here election. Didn't give a shit about any of the other ones, but this one, man, I'm, I'm putting my channel on the line for it. He's got to make Get the, the world a better place for his waterheads, dude. <laughs> I feel like we're going to continue to get attacked. I feel like the economy is going to crash. <laughs> I feel like a lot. What is this, Glenn Beck, dude? Glenn Brett. What the fuck is it's going on here? <laughs> yep. Is Brett going to start selling bonus <laughs> this is, buckets? Yeah, this is so cliche, man. Glenn Brett. You know, the economy is about to tank. Every, every, everything bad's going to happen if Hillary's elected. It's just all. It's just going to be a tidal wave of fucking fail, dude. I feel like there's going to be a tidal wave that you know destroys the West Coast. And, uh, oh, let's see, uh, let's see if he gets to calamity. I feel like yeah. the super volcano is going to erupt and Frank, there's going to be a plague. Which one is better, Glenn Brett or Brett Beck? Uh, <laughs> I, like, I like Glenn Brett, but. Yeah, yeah, Glenn I can Brett. see Brett back. It's fun too. Yeah, a lot of things are going to be tough. very, very difficult for my children, my family, oh. my friends. Think, things are already so difficult. For no friends, yeah. so I think things are already difficult for your I children. I feel like everybody. You're their father. Like it doesn't get much more difficult than that for a child. Maybe Brett Keen is a really good dad. You don't know. Damn. You don't yeah. know, Paul. Maybe. Maybe that's like maybe that maybe we've been looking for his redeeming characteristic. Maybe the reason he talks about his kids so much is because he genuinely cares about his kids. You know? <laughs> Come on, dude, he's a terrible father. It's, it's so ob it's so obvious. I just want there to be something good about. There's Brett not, Keen, dude. dude. You're just, never gonna find. I that wish thing. there was something. I wish there was one thing I could be like. Well, at least Brett, you know. But no, dude, Brett is a total and utter scum fuck. There's no. There's, you're never gonna find the redeeming quality. I, I mean, Paul, you and Paul have been looking for like nine years now. Like, I mean, not not even like closely, but just the whole time. Like, maybe Brett's gonna do something redeeming. He's never done it. Like, I read nope. a book about J young Jeffrey Dahmer, and like, I felt more sympathy for young Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> I'm like, you know, Jeffrey Dahmer did murder all those people, but honestly, he has some redeeming characteristics. But Brett, I mean, he hasn't committed, as far as I know, like, things that horrible, but uh, I, I don't see any redeeming value in anything he ever does or says. It just seems like it's all just oh, totally dude. scummy. I have some perfect questions for him when we do the, uh, the, the, the uh, like, the, basically the follow-up to the other one, the fucking Vimeo one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, because uh, the, the main question I have for Brett is, like, in, in any of the stories or anything you've ever told... 
Like, tell us, or if you have it, just tell us a story where you're at fault and did something wrong. Like, you, you fucked up. You're the one, and it's all on you. The buck totally rests on you, Brett. It was your doing, you're, and you're totally responsible. Tell us one story like that. Well, or of course, one. It's, it's all the stuff that happened before he was a God believer. Let me give you, let me give you, I'll, I'll gaze into my crystal ball, and let me give you a little glimpse into the future of how Brett's going to handle this, this fucking I'm gone if Trump doesn't win video. Trump's going to lose. It'll be a couple of days after Trump loses, Brett will upload a video, and this is how he'll frame it. You know, guys, I'm not going to let this beat me. You know, I was really considering, you know, I was really in a place where I didn't want to do it, but I realized that my voice matters, you know, and and if we're going to go forward under all this catastrophe, I want to be here as your voice. I will not be silenced by this political climate. That's how it's going to be painted it's just what he does. He's done it a million different fucking times. I'm leaving YouTube. Guys, I know I said I was leaving YouTube, but I'm not going to let the haters and trolls silence me. I'm staying. Brett really is the man standing on the fucking rocks with the waves crashing against him, <laughs> TJ. You were right. Yeah. I mean, like, you got to give him persistence. I mean, it's not really that much of a redeeming trait, but... God damn, the motherfucker won't will not give up even when it's clear that he should. But he's delusional too. I mean, so obviously when you're that delusional, like Brett probably thinks like he's actually a, a decent sized YouTuber. I, I think he honestly believes that. But how? Like he he has Dude, he's, he's compared, he has access to metrics where he can look Dude, there and be like, he's, Aw. but like he's compared you guys to like uh, me and the amazing atheist. Like he always he's always trying to insert himself in the same like, category. I know here, I've noticed so. that, but it's like. You're not there. No. You're just not, you're not even close. At, w- at like one point in right? 2006, you were there. Since then, you've been nowhere near there. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know, man. I made you, TJ. <laughs> Every religion you. that just so happens to be a part of America, or in this world for that matter, because the president can impact everything on this planet, especially when dealing with other world leaders. Causes me a lot of anxiety, causes me a lot of stress. And I can see how the news media is doing everything they can. More like Brett has some dim sense oh. that other people are experiencing anxiety and stress, so he can <laughs> yeah. fucking go on YouTube and be like, I'm, you know, I'm anxious and I'm stressed. I don't really intellectually understand the reasons why, because I don't understand, you know, higher concepts, but I can feel there's a climate of fear, and I just. You know, I really need to exploit that as soon as I can. You know, he gave you he gave you the reasons, TJ. It's it's rigged. People are gonna die. Bad things are gonna happen. Like he knows he's got a he's got a, a keen political mind. <coughs> yes, very keen indeed. And to rip Donald Trump down. Donald Trump never claimed to be perfect, or never claimed to be a saint. I think Donald Trump pretty much has claimed to be perfect. Yeah, he has. Yeah. What are you talking like, about? He's literally, he literally goes around saying he's the best at every single thing. Yeah, that's pretty much a claim to perfection. I'm, by the way, I'm pretty sure at some point towards the end of this video, <laughs> Brett does a keenism, a new keenism. Oh, oh that's wow. exciting. Hillary Clinton definitely isn't perfect, and she's more on the ranking of a fucking devil if I ever seen one, including her husband. It turned out that according to WikiLeaks, Obama may have actually interacted with these bad emails as well, which is one of the reasons why behind the scenes they might have deleted the emails because the president we have in right now had his fucking well, it's dirty It's like hands listening to a caveman try, try to talk about WikiLeaks. E- email's bad. Brett no like email. Obama involved with email. <laughs> Brett, no email bad. Brett, you've never read one of those emails. I guarantee fucking T, he has never looked at any Wiki of the emails he's talking about. His browser history, dude. Is Brett nope. capable of reading? I don't, I don't know. Well, he, he must be. Which tells us that we've been... a book, kind of. That's why I doubt it. It tells us that there's a lot of horrible things going on. And the American people... Some of you are so blind you can't see the shit that's going on. <laughs> Some of you, you can. So, yeah, Brett Keen. Brett Keen says we're blind, guys. 
to what's going on, but you don't have a... You want, like, like some voice chat with a bunch of, like, 13-year-olds, like, online gaming, and you're like, what do your guys think about politics? (laughs) And then just, like, regurgitate what these 13-year-olds told them? That's what it really sounds like. I'm not... You can't make this fucking shit up. ...power or the ability to do anything about it. Others do have the ability to do things, and I have a feeling that that's going to cause more danger in America... Because there's a lot of people out there that are frightened, a lot of people who are angry, and I think that people are going to get hurt. Um, not because... Oh my I- God. At what point in American history are there not people who are frightened <laughs> and or angry? Like that literally, you can say that at any time in history. There's people who are frightened, people who are angry. Yeah, yeah. But if you study There's history, always some kind of injustice going on somewhere. Yeah. I mean, Brett, if you study history, there, there, there's never just like some period of history where like nothing was going on. Everyone was just getting along and everything was perfect. Like, so it's wh- not reality. What we're going to do right now, guys, is we're going to take a quick break. And then when we come back, we're going to continue uh, this video. So we'll be right Sounds back. Good. All right, we're back, and we're going to continue uh, this Brett Keen situation, if you will. This individual with his situation. I want them to, but I believe that people, whenever they feel like their backs are up against the wall like a fucking animal with no escape, <laughs> they'll lunge. No escape. They'll escape. destroy. Yeah. They'll annihilate. <laughs> Dude, I hate when I have no escape. Dude, doesn't Brett just talking cliches, too, like the, like an animal? You know, your back gets the wall, back into a corner. It sounds know? like the lyrics to a fucking <laughs> Linkin Park song. <laughs> Stuck against the wall, stuck in the corner. Stalker. Stalker. Stalker glared. Glared. What, what is it? Stalker glared menacingly yeah, at menacingly. Damien. <laughs> Do we, need to, we need to find that book so we can read more of that shit. Fuck you, Damien spat angrily, smashing his fist against the wall. If you push my back against the wall, I'll strike you. I'll bite you. I'll fight you. <laughs> Pure anarchy. Scotty just left if with Hillary his Clinton camera in a blurry There's a lot of people dude. out there that feels like there's scandals going on, that the system is rigged. There's they scandals that she's going tired. on. And that there's no fucking changes that are going to happen that are going to be good. It's just all going to go down to shitter. So I've made a decision that if Hillary Clinton wins, I'm not coming back to YouTube. I'm not doing Google Hangouts anymore. I will not have anything to do with my website. I will have nothing to do with YouTube or social media at all because... Right. (laughs) Like, I was never, I never wanted to vote for Hillary, but, I mean, like, this is literally the most compelling reason that it, you anyone has given me to do so. What it tells me if she wins is if that you are Americans are either too weak and blind and stupid, and they're just going to make the world miserable for everybody else. Or, they see what's going on, but the government is so powerful and so big... Well, hold on... That we're would you, why would you? Why would you use an election as uh, an indicator that America's stupid if you're saying the election is rigged anyway? <laughs> like, if the election is rigged, then it's not indicative that America's stupid. It's a it's a fucking in, indicative that it, the system is so corrupt that it's been bought off by Hillary and her posse of fucking elites. Dude, this is just how dumb people that support Trump are. I mean, like, who knows what if Brent really supports Trump or not? That's but like that's like he, he's really about just as intelligent as the average Trump voter. I would say. <laughs> It, you, yeah. you know what the funny thing is? If somebody, if, if if I was talking to some foreign person that knew nothing about America, and I wanted to prove to them that America is by and large stupid, I would just put Brett Keen in front of them, and that's not a joke. Like I can't think of a better way. I'd say, have a five minute conversation with this person. This is an American, dude. I so wish that Brett Keen and his life were the like. <laughs> The feature, like you know, those animated family shows. Like, I want one of those for Brett. That would be great. Yeah, I just want to see weekly adventures of, weekly the, adventure. of the Keen Clan, dude. The, the Keen Clan. Do 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 do. Yeah, 
but like way more reprehensible. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, I was thinking about the uh, the animation they made with uh, uh, Brett in the in the sewer. Yeah, and I was just thinking about like the waterhead scene. I was like, you know what? It's like I was because I'm like, it's like I always envisioned like the, like the kids, and now now I just envision Brett's kids <laughs> being like this. Yeah, dude. Like, Maybe that guy that guy can animate the show, and you know, I don't I don't know. We can like we can get Paul to do like the <laughs> Brett voice instead of that German shit that was going on, and you know. <laughs> Cause like, and you know, the, the little de- deformed water headed thing can be his daughter. And then his son can be like, look, dad, I drew more link from legend of Zelda. And then like, he could be like totally fucking like you could bulge in his fucking pants and all this shit. And he's like, that's real good, son. Anyway, I'm focused on my YouTube career right now. Please do not bother me. <laughs> Dude, that has to happen. That would be uh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so beautiful. The Brett, the, the Keen Clan, dude. It's the mo- it's America's new favorite sitcom. Dude, it's just great how Brett has never had any sort of like the entire time even watching it. Um, and Paul, <laughs> have you ever heard Brett mention it having a job of any kind ever in his life? Never, no. <laughs> not once. Brett has never had any sort of employment. Um, and and I mean, ever. for a dude that has talked so much about his life over the course of it's got to be over. It's got to be thousands of videos over the course of <laughs> his his YouTube career. And I've watched not probably not all of them, but I've watched a lot of them. Never one mention of any kind of gainful employment. But then not one. But then he turns around and makes videos about you saying you should get a job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. I loved that. He was like. Well, Paul, Paul, look at Paul. Paul's wife left him because he wouldn't get a job. <laughs> what? <laughs> what you, you had a job. Yeah, Paul had a job for uh, like what was it? Eight years. I, I, I have, I yeah, have not been, I have not been unemployed for longer than a month since I was sixteen years old. <laughs> I mean, like I've always had a job. Never had a blow job though. More- than helpless fucking roaches waiting to be stepped on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Brad. Really I feel like Lincoln the future of dude. your kids and my children <laughs> hangs in the balance due to this. Okay. This oh. is serious. Uh, yeah, Brad. Sure, they really, do. Really I don't want to have now. anything to do with YouTube or any social media. I don't want to talk to people or interact with people anymore. Yeah, yeah right. If mm-hmm. you make this horrible fucking choice, it will impact the world. Brett, I don't. I fucking pray that that happens. That you like, you know, honestly, Brett, I, I, I'm gonna get on my hands and just pray that Trump loses now, just because, like, you know what? Fuck you, dude. You're so terrible, and I really just wish you would be gone forever. Like, that would be wonderful. That'd be great news. It was like Brett just quit, and I never have to fucking hear your fucking stupid voice or see your fucking ugly fat fucking face again. <laughs> but we all know that ain't fucking happening. <clears throat> So if you go, why don't you save everyone a lot of time and just say and make one video where you just you, you just say if this is for all times I'm quitting I'm gonna quit if you guys don't do whatever just t- insert whatever just make a template video and you can just put it up every you know two weeks or whatever I don't even think I don't even, I, I think uh, Paul's wrong I think Brett's just going to if Hillary wins just gonna delete this video and never mention it again and there's not even gonna be any sort of explanation. That's that's, that's like, that is a possibility that you you could be right there, but I I think I think because Brett likes the uh, I'm giving up, and then no I will not give up I will not let this beat me he likes that that kind I of picture of himself yeah so I think that's why he's going to go that way but you could be right it could go either way he's just like a, a really bad version of John Cena then. Wanna the great thing about Brett so is Brett could sit here and watch this conversation, and it literally would not impact how he handles the situation. He'll just do it the same way. The media, yeah. whenever Hillary Clinton makes it as a president, I don't want to hear about all the people who start rioting and fighting and killing each other, destroying. I've already seen people making threats about how they're going to okay, assassinate so Hillary Clinton and all that. So if doesn't have a sudden and, and tremendous shift, horrible. you're going to be upset. That's that's a ridiculous standard, Brett. You're you're just saying like, I just want all political and civil strife just to end overnight, or fucking Hillary does the cause of it all. If America doesn't do what I want, I'm throwing a temper tantrum. It's like what? 
No one cares, yeah. Brett. You're just like one of the. You're Go just, ahead and do it. You're just as dumb as these stupid fucks. You're like, man, if this person, I'm going to Canada. You know, it's like, uh, you're not going to Canada. <laughs> they no won't one, take you. No one thinks you're going to Canada. No one believes you for a second when you say you're going to Canada or you're leaving the country if this person gets elected. You're never going to do it. Just shut up. I would this, also this really ask is- them. Unless you're a this Mexican really, saying, I'm going to leave the country if Trump gets elected, like, you might not have a choice. Yeah. This really is the lazy Brett Keen version of I'm moving to Canada. Because moving to Canada would require effort. I'm just going to move off of YouTube. <laughs> they, wouldn't, they wouldn't take him. <laughs> I mean, like, someone who, someone who lives on welfare, they wouldn't, like, let them move to Canada. Yeah, come be a drain on our resources. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> probably, probably like a fucking, like, I bet you Brett would apply as a refugee. You'd be like, I'm a, a refugee from what? The trailer from, park? From bad things that are going to happen when Hillary <laughs> street, is elected. Uh, from the streets of St. Louis, man. The, the mean streets. Oh, I'm a, yeah, that's I'm a you... conscientious objector to Hillary. Yeah. I think it's terrible. And you know what's really sad, besides the fact that she's a money-hungry, greedy, gold-digging bitch, along with Bill... From what I've seen on many, many videos out there. New- you know Trump's a billionaire, right? Yeah, yeah. Trump's not money hungry. <laughs> not <laughs> at all. Yeah, uh, I ba- think basically a one of the two. Yeah, one of the things these candidates share is that, yeah, they're both pretty money hungry and power hungry. Um, but Trump is the one that does it openly. <clears throat> there, you get, yeah. Dude, just look, just look at fucking the, the whole Trump persona. It's like, I'm fucking so much richer than you. I'm better than you. I'm smarter than you. I'm better looking than you. Like... That's the fucking Trump persona. Is how fucking wealthy he is. That's why all these people love Trump. Oh, Trump is rich. So fucking what if Trump is rich? What does that have to do with anything? He's a fucking idiot. He happens to be rich, though. Okay. And what is your fucking point? <laughs> so, somebody uh, like the, somebody like in the these... chat just said... Somebody in the chat just said, Brett's, Brett's it. <laughs> Brett's it, dude. <laughs> That's what this is. <laughs> this is Brett's it, dude. If only Brett was smart enough dude, that's to think great. about himself when he made this video. That's, that's the title of this video, man. The Brett's it. Brett's it. Yeah, we got to put that in our title for sure. News outlet, she apparently has some serious health issues. Yeah. And I can guess, I've put a good guess that. A guess. She could die from all the stress, all the fucking bullshit that's going on. And could yeah, you imagine how horrific happen. that would be? One year into presidency, she fucking kills over, and then it totally screws things up. We've got Korea on our ass. We've got Russia. We've got a lot of <laughs> superpowers out there that have their but own fucking bombs about. and it's weapons. It's so obvious. Okay, uh, North Korea, not a superpower. And yeah. as for Russia, I mean, like... The one who's doing this, sa- you're, you're saber ratting and laying against Russia when your candidate wants to be friends with Russia, and Hillary Clinton's the one saber ratting against Russia. You know the funny so. thing. The funny thing about talking to Brett is people think we're just going to bring up a bunch of drama, but it's like no, we're actually going to like quiz Brett too. Like we're going to ask Brett like historical. No, no, no I'm gonna, it's going to be great to have these questions during a Brett Keen video and turn to Brett and be like, "How can you think this when this?" Like I actually want to have debates with him on the subject matter of his fucking videos, even though I know it's just a game to him because I just want to. I want to see him uh, flounder when he like actually can't defend any of these positions to the slightest well, uh, degree. Now, <laughs> what, what are you what are you talking about, TJ? You're talking about because back in the day, I made that video about Coughlin and uh, and uh, fake Sagan. Is that is that what you're talking? No, I'm talking about why you're against Russia but pro Trump when Trump is clearly friendly towards. Ru- well, uh, wait, are you talking about because look, okay, on my gaming channel. <laughs> I, I I play a lot of Elder Scrolls online. I mean, that's what it's going to be. But you know, it's of still going to be hilarious. Screws yeah. things up. People want to see We've those We've got Korea on our live, ass. We've right. got Russia. We've got a lot of superpowers out there that have their own fucking bombs and weapons. Wow. And really? it's just a nightmare. It's an extremely. Dude, when I send Brett the fucking contract for this shit, I'm going to fucking spe- uh, specify that he's not allowed to have any French vanilla. <laughs> Within 12 hours before the broadcast Limit how many bathroom breaks he can take Yeah like you're allowed like Two bathroom breaks Yeah that's more than generous And one. like they're gonna be at predetermined times Like until then you can hold it And if you can't wear a fucking diaper <laughs> Scary time in the world right now 
And I just don't uh, have so the scary. strength to watch humanity make yeah. horrible fucking decisions. Sorry. You have the strength I'm to tired of turning on the news. I'm tired right? of looking at social media and watching people rip each other apart. I'm tired of the wars. I'm tired of the killing. <laughs> I just There's can't. No passion I'm I'm tired I just, of killing. Tired of the wars. Tired of killing. Because that's that's the that's what the, what Brett Keen's worried about on a daily basis. Brett, you worry about leveling Lord. up your Elder Scrolls character, dude. You don't give a fuck about some fucking dying children. You're just like, bro, oh, whatever, fuck them. You know, I live in fucking shitty Missouri and have an internet connection and a fucking, you know, EBT card. I, my life is made. I mean, like, you know Brett doesn't care about any human beings actually fighting in any wars? No. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't. He just flat out doesn't, and that's why there's a total lack of any sort of recognizable emotion in his voice as he sits there and tells you how tore up he is about uh, you know soldiers getting blown up. Oh, I love God. the Brett. I love the Brett tore up voice too. That when he tries to get like, I'm real stressed out. You know, I'm tired of the killing, tired of the murder and the rape. I love the Brett tore up <laughs> voice. It's the best. I feel like I'm. Um in a really, really vulnerable state right now, I feel like my faith is there almost is. wanting to shatter. <laughs> I keep on come asking on, myself, dude. come on, God. Please, God. <laughs> this is making me sick. He, 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 just, he just unintentionally so not- told the truth there. <laughs> he, he, said, he said he's asking himself, which is what he's doing if he's talking to God. I keep asking myself, come on, God. Come on, what's going on? Hold on, hold on. Let me replay that. Okay. Yeah, let's replay that part. I keep asking. All right, all right, all right here it goes. Asking myself. Come on, God. Please. God. He One more he's time. Done. One more time. This is. This is a oh, really vulnerable state right now. I feel like my face oh, is almost wanting to shatter. Mm. I Jesus. keep on asking myself, come on, God. Please, God. I keep asking myself, come on, God. Come on, God. This is making wow. me sick. Wow. Come on, God. So I'm not going to make another Brett. video. Come I'm not on. going to say another word. I'm just going to relax and try to get my stress down and get my health under control. But you're a God. When becomes president. You'll never see me on social media again. Oh, what a punishment. Wow. And that's that. <laughs> I know. That's the end of it. I, Dude, I you just, just gave me the silver lining of a Hillary victory. <laughs> like, well, this bitch got elected. At least there's no yep. more breaking. Yeah, except for... So, there was well, something yeah, I know stupid really that he said in the video, but I think we missed it. Oh, well. Uh, yeah. I don't think we missed no, it. It's just, I don't think we found it among all the other stupid things he said. <laughs> True. Needle in a hundred. Myself. Come on, I don't, I don't think anything is, would t- in that video that, that we were looking for would have topped. And I asked myself, come on, God. <laughs> yeah. There's no, that, that was it's, amazing. It's, I mean, wow. Come on. And you right. know he thinks of himself almost in those terms. <laughs> so Born God. Even Brett's smart enough to know there ain't no fun. I ask myself, <coughs> Mourn God. Come what on. were you about to say, Paul? <clears throat> I was just going to say, two hundred years from now, kids are going to be sitting in a in a you know political science college class, and the professor is going to be saying, "And the greatest tragedy uh, of the absolutely disastrous Hillary Clinton presidency was that Brett Keen stopped making videos on YouTube." Like, wh- what is he even thinking making this video? That, that Brett really thinks that he's a voice that people listen to. He really thinks, like, in his mind, that him saying he's going to leave YouTube is going to have some effect on somebody other than just laughter. Uh, yeah, he's delusional. It might affect us in the sense that, like, I mean, I, I would say we can't make fun of him anymore, but, like, literally there's a treasure trove of old videos that we could make fun of until the end of time. Yep. Like, if he died right now, he could continue to be a segment for the, the rest of, like, probably our lives. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's true. There's so Come many on, fucking God. videos. Come on, God. Come on. So do you want to play the individual segment situation? Do it. Yeah. yeah. Right. The individual situation. Check out this beautiful... Oh, he's very sick. Oh, shit. 
Well, what's going on here? We're getting a Skype call, an anonymous Skype call now. An anonymous Skype yeah. call. Yeah. Oh, shit. Let's go. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Hello, are, are, hello? are you calling for the Pokemon hotline? Yo, 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 is this the drunken peasants? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yo, what it do, what it do, what it do, drunken peasants, what it do? Uh, <laughs> what it do? Oh, my God. I'm hey, were such you a big a fucking fan, Josh y'all. Fierstein recently? Y'all, you sound y'all, familiar. Y'all, I'm such a big fucking fan. You heard me. Anyway, yeah, okay. uh, I wanted to start. I, I got I got some Pokemon tips for y'all, but I wanted Sweet. to start this off real quick, real quick. Like I want to apologize, uh, you know, from everybody, from the Jews to the Gentiles, from the Pharaohs to the most low, you know, from my thick <laughs> accent. I know that English is my second language. I was I was I was born and raised in Germany. You know what I mean? I was born and raised in Germany. So, wow. you know, if y'all oh. can't understand what I'm saying. I apologize for that. You know what I mean? Bless up. Okay. <laughs> rock, rock on. We got you, buddy. <laughs> so, so yeah, anyway. Tip, sir? You got Pokemon Yeah, tips? yeah. Okay. I, anyway, my, my name is Brad Note. You Brad know what I mean? Note. My name's, yeah, Brad Note, Brad like, Note. like a music note. Yeah, Brad Note, man. Uh, look, Brad Note. I grew up in Dusseldorf, Germany, right? Mm-hmm, <laughs> the yeah. other day, the other day, a brother had to go get himself a new bed, right? Cause like my bed is busted up. My bed is all busted up. So I went down, I went down to a fucking place we got here in Dusseldorf called Beds and Brats. You guys ever heard of it? Beds and Brats? Oh, no. no. Wait, man. Yeah. No. So anyway, no. I'm, I'm, I'm chilling at Beds and Brats, right? Looking at the different mattresses and whatnot. And I see this dude, like he's in the store, <laughs> right? He's riding around on one of those fucking hover around mobility scooters. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. yeah. He yeah. had like, he had like really white hair. <laughs> but with like black tips on it, like the yeah. tips of his hair was hmm. black, and he was hmm. there was this woman kind of walking behind him a little bit, and man, she looked busted up. She looked like she'd been in five <laughs> fist fights straight in a row. <laughs> that bitch looked like she went at it with a fucking mountain lion, man. But anyway, he's what he. So I'm looking at these two guys and I watch him right now. Y'all, y'all, y'all have seen a bed before, I'm assuming, right? They got yeah, them tags on them. You seen no, them tags? No. You ever read one of them tags on a mattress? You know what I mean? Nah, yeah. yeah, it's there's, like illegal. These, yeah, yeah. There's these it? tags on the on the mattress, and and if you read it, it says, "Man, it's a federal fucking offense to remove this tag from a mattress." Right? <laughs> this motherfucker, yeah, yeah. I shit you not, man. God is my witness, hand to God. This motherfucker was riding around on that scooter, and every time he passed a mattress, he was ripping off that fucking tag. Right? Whoa, <laughs> damn. This motherfucker must have committed 15, 20 felonies in like the 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 the, the course of twenty minutes that I was watching it. He was just so this individual- scooting around the store. Ripping this tags off of mattresses. Committing. And so I finally, like, got tired of watching him break the law and shit. So yeah. I went up to him to, like, confront him about it, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And we got, we got to talking, and he offered me $10 to make 1,000 YouTube accounts and use them to downvote y'all's videos. It was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, with that out of the way, there's a ditto over there at Beds and Brats. Uh, so uh, <laughs> if y'all want to wanna catch a ditto... Over there at Beds and Brats, that's 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 where that's at. You know what I mean? All right. So thank you for that pertinent information, uh, Mr. <laughs> what was it Brad Note? Yeah. I want, we just want to emphasize that this is Brad Note saying this, not, yeah, not us. us. Not us saying yeah, this. Brad Brad. Note. There's a ditto yeah, there's a deal at me. Beds and Brats over in Dusseldorf, Germany, where apparently they still have the same federal mattress warning tag. <laughs> Born and raised uh, in Dusseldorf, yeah. y'all. Born and braised. <laughs> Rock on, dude. All right. Thank All right, you for y'all. calling, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bless up. I can't. All right, thank you. I can't help but wonder why we never get calls about Pokemon. We did. There's a ditto at the uh, beds and brats, dude. Oh, yeah, that was the point of that story. Were you not listening to the story? There's a fucking ditto there. What's up? Did I did I miss the did I miss the fucking Pokemon hotline? Oh, you missed the best call ever. Shit, dude. It was great. You do. I always fucking miss it, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah, no luck, Paul. Paul, That's you're funny how that happens, man. Well, Paul's been here for a couple of them, though, I think. Yeah, yeah. a few. Yeah. But he does miss them. He does miss them. I think I missed a couple, too. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, you take your half-hour-long shits, yeah. and you're arguing with feminists on Tumblr. Oh, yeah. Or Twitter. Take that shit. All right. Um, here's some classic Keen. Classic Keen. It's uh, 100 Atheists Call Christian Brett Keen at Home, Part 3. <laughs> I like how he adds Christian Brett Keen. <laughs> Christian Brett Keen, sexual and individual. Hey, Brett. 
walk your happy ass down to Walmart and go down the girls with low self-esteem aisle and pick yourself up a box of hair dye because your hair is whiter than Michael Jackson. <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> hey, whoa, hey, get out of here. Go on. Go. What are you thinking? Go away. Psst. Fucking dogs. Oh, I'm going to put it upstairs. Yeah, Scotty, go take care of this dog shit. This is Jesus with some lightning bolts. If you're an atheist, dude, that that's catchy, Paul. Why are you telling Paul? That was Brent, when Brent yeah, hacked our channel, dude. It. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot. I mean, Paul let that happen, but he didn't have anything to do with it beyond that. It happened on my watch, man. That's my greatest shame. Even greater than the Milo thing. Uh, way worse than Milo. Okay. Believe so by thumbing us up. Paul. Thank you and God bless you. Hey, Brett Keen, it's Jack again. Jack? Yeah, remember me? Uh, I've had hundreds and hundreds of calls. I apologize. Bullshit. Girl <laughs> 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 talking shit to Brett. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit, Brett. Go oh, get fucked, Brett. Uh, it's like I've had hundreds of calls. <laughs> like, oh Bullshit. shit! <laughs> Brad, the only reason you get these calls is you put your number out there, and oh also it's a God. Google Voice number. It's not your home fucking number. Why, you lying why, piece of why, shit. Why? 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 <laughs> oh God, Brad. Yes, you you know me. I anyway, do. yeah, <laughs> I wanted to to do a show with your kids. <laughs> you want to do a show with my kids? Yes. Hmm. Mm. Why are you wanting to do that? So I can ask them some questions. <laughs> is that so? Yeah, How often does Brett beat you? Is your uh, mother and father there? N no. No? <laughs> no. Did you ask him permission to make the phone call? No, this is my cell phone, Brett Keen. Yes, but you sound a little young. Do I? Yes, you do. Okay. <laughs> this is why I want to talk to your kids instead of you. Well, the, the phone call is for people to be able to call and get help and support uh, through me. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You're like a counselor, right? No. <laughs> You're a certified <laughs> counselor. <laughs> get some help. Uh, get some help yeah, and support no. from Brett hey, Paul, Keen. Paul, you know what, Paul? Anytime you're depressed, uh, you have a new number to call. 636-525-1290. Who do you who do you think who do you think I call when I'm at my low points, man? I call Brett Keen and he just talks me right down. He always well, knows what you? to say. No, Brett. This fucking call in thing is for this video. This is why you did it. Because you knew people were gonna call you and talk shit to you so you could put it up and play the victim. Exactly. Yeah. Or anything else for old bot, man. I'm a victim situation. My kid. <laughs> it's fucking it's Fuck you, Brett Keen. Yeah. Fuck of course. <laughs> oh. Is that all you wanted to share with me? No, no. <laughs> um, why did you pretend uh, to call your kids waterheaded? Mm. When did I do that? <laughs> uh, remember the whole scandal where you sent uh, a, a, a fake email to yourself where you said your kids were waterheaded? <laughs> <laughs> this kid is wrecking Brett. I so love that Brett never. I love that Brett's uh, foibles are something that he never gets to escape from. Like even this twelve-year-old knows. Dude, he's getting wrecked by a twelve-year-old. This is beautiful. And oh, the thing is, so low. He's getting fucking pwned by this little girl, and he actually put it on his channel. Yep. <clears throat> Saying that my kids are water-headed. You didn't. You you faked you did, an email. Brad, you did. <laughs> and what would that email be? <laughs> Where you said you were, your kids were waterheaded. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Brad, you fucking did it. Are you an atheist? What what email? Yes, yes you I know am. What fucking email. Brad, you did it. <laughs> okay. Well, do me a favor. Go talk to your mother and father and consult with oh them about God. anything that you need to do. All right. 
Fuck you, Brackeen. <laughs> oh, Brett. Oh, you got oh, a fucking record. Fuck you, Brett. This, this is, this is, this is this girl on here. Like, Brett just, do, he can't win for losing, dude. Oh, he, like, he's fuck. putting this up like, look what a victim I am. And it's the funniest shit ever, dude. I love this. <laughs> Oh, Brett, put this up on his own channel. Oh, dude. dude. Why? What a terrible, what a total absence of judgment, dude. To show how terrible God. atheists are. Do, do we have, when we have Brett on, we need to play this. Dan, we have, have to a wonderful play day. This. God bless. I come out looking Fuck like you. This is going to be the one that brings the atheists to their knees. It's fucking well, hilarious, Brett. Well, well, rolling yeah. in the aisles, yes, maybe. Yes, Yeah, this, this is Brett Keane. Yes, it is. <laughs> How are you doing, my like son, Jumbo Jenkins? <laughs> yeah. So what's up? Nothing much. I'm just watching. I'm just watching the drunken peasants. I saw. I saw your uh, your number, and I thought I might give you a call. I was seeing if I could get a contact. <laughs> if I could contact you, this is crazy. I expected to get your. Uh, your uh, your answering machine. So, well, but I'm not here to bash you. I was just here to test it out. So, right. well, some people you will. Have a good some, day. Are you still there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some people will get an answering machine. I can't answer all hundreds of calls I've been getting in. So, yeah, sometimes if you do call in, you might get the answering machine. But I'll always be willing to call back if some way is uh, given for me to do so. Yeah, and he said this was uh, our fault okay. that this happened, cool. that he got all the cars. Right. It's well, his it was fucking nice fault. To I know. You have a good How day. can you blame us all right. when you put you the too. number God up, bless. you fucking moron? Thank you. <laughs> it's not like Bye. we found your number and spread it around, Brett. Hello. God, that's so stupid. Uh, hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Uh, is this Brett Keen? Yes. Yes. Uh, well, I just have one question for you, and it is a serious question. Sure. Uh, uh, yeah. Why do you continue doing YouTube? It's obviously not working so well for you. Why don't you get, like, <laughs> a job? <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. God damn, that was, this that is was savage. This is fucking brutal. Oh, <laughs> uh, this isn't what? working out for you. Why don't you get a real fucking job, buddy? I'm oh, still man. shocked that he put this shit up there, man. He's like, you're, they're, they're this all is in your ass. ass. No, Pat Monk, this is the abuse he receives every day. How, how does Brett Keen say pwned? How does he say it? They keep pawning me. Yeah, he's, getting, he's getting pawned right they now. They pawned my ass I, over and over yeah. again. I pawned 100 atheists today. Soggy cracker. Oh. <laughs> I like that. Not <laughs> on it too. The, you obviously the circle jerks get like, bigger. <clears throat> the YouTube isn't working out for you. That's just what I'm trying to say. Well, how is it not working out for me? Um, well, well, you're not getting any, any money to do it. <laughs> like, what a dumb I'm talking question. to you, aren't I? It's working out really well. <laughs> yeah, you're on your 15th channel, and you're making your your recording footage for a video that's going to get you laughed at by hundreds of thousands of fucking people. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working out, bro. <laughs> Here, you only have like subscribers. <laughs> And yeah. most of them are from the drunken peasants. I mean, they're not going to donate to you or anything. Right. Okay, right, yeah. Uh, right. So just why do you continue doing YouTube? Who knows? Maybe so I can get really supportive and kind phone calls like this. Oh, I'm uh, the right. victim. Maybe so people can be mean to me. Right, you can't even answer like, the question. Oh who cares? It's, it's, it's just great when Brett's confronted with reality, because just then it's just like, everyone's mean to me. Why do you do this, Brett? Maybe I start to get real supportive, nice calls like this one. From atheists. The tears of the manatee. <laughs> yep. The tears of the manatee. I hope we get a Brett breakdown at some point. Maybe that should be the <laughs> I was going to say, this is the best Brett video y'all have ever played, by the way, in my opinion. Oh, I have another good one here. Sweet. I, I, I have another good one. Uh, well, that's I, what I you're calling for, one. to offer some support and love, right? Well, not really. It's just uh, <laughs> I have that question answered. I don't care if you continue doing YouTube. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> like you should probably get 
another job just so you could have more money. Maybe improve your channel. Shocking, right. shocking video you know, you of can... an atheist giving me good advice about what right. I should do with my life. <laughs> what a fucking retard. Brett, maybe just try to support yourself and like do, move forward in your life. No, get away from me and stop attacking me. Just want to let you guys know, uh, right now we're up to $40 in our fundraiser. Cool. Uh, That's $40 in my man Paul's pocket. I've decided I'm on your side, Paul. Of course you are. So for those of you who just joined us, we're going to have some sort of BDSM trivia challenge that Paul and Pimunk are going to take uh, place in. Uh, yeah. it, for the 300th episode, and we're having a dominatrix come out and beat them when they get questions wrong. It's going to be great. Um, and we want because when we had her on the show at the beginning of the show, she pulled out a ball gag that was shaped like a giant cock, and Pimp Monk cringed really hard when he looked at it. <coughs> so I know, you know, if we sweeten the deal. We'll see. We'll see Pimp Monk with the ball gag in his mouth. Oh yeah. So right now we're at forty dollars. Link in the description. One hundred percent of this will go to the winner of the challenge on episode three hundred. So check it out. Channel. Uh no no I don't. No how come? Uh, I just don't have enough time for it. Right. Because right. he hasn't got no time to call me though. Well, I mean, obviously, but that's only like five minutes. If I started a YouTube channel, I'd have to like make, spend hours making videos. Doesn't take that long. Doesn't? Yeah, really? just just ninety percent <laughs> of your I mean, life. If I if I want like quality videos, right? You're so fucking lame, dude. Well, you I I'm not trying what you to do present that, my... buddy. Yeah, not everyone wants to do it. Yeah, you know what, Brett? He'd probably be more successful than you, though. Let's put it that. The way. point is, Brett, that you're trying to do YouTube for your living. And acting like it's your job, but you're clearly not successful, like, to the slightest degree. Like, you're not making good money. He's not successful in any way on YouTube. It's like, fuck, fi- fuck financial success. At least if he maybe had an audience and people were viewing him, that'd be one thing. But, Brett, this is, not even, this is not even, like, necessarily criticism of you this guy is doing. Like, he's just simply describing to you the reality and wondering, like, why do you persist in doing something that's a total waste of your time? Apparently. Yeah, I think he was just curious. No, it's an attack. Yeah. Self I mean, is a like, movie hey, or you? some kind of like, like yeah. yeah, entertainment or gimmick. I'm not playing a character. I'm just simply hitting record <laughs> and saying what's on my mind. There, there isn't a lot of process to it. It usually takes about I don't Brad, know if I do a ten you, minute okay, video. That's you, Brad. Then it's ten minutes of me talking, God, and then so of fucking... course I render it, which takes a few. Brett is so Brett's, just Brett centric. He doesn't realize that there's people that spend hundreds of hours on certain YouTube videos. Like, dude, not everyone's channel is just like shitty vlogs that like you do. That, that, that's part of the, the problem with you, Brett. Is you spend so much time on a, and like all the shit that has nothing to do with your video quality that your videos are shit. If you invested all your time in maybe actually making inter- like watchable entertainment of uh, you know entertainment, then people would watch you. But instead, you fucking spend all your time stirring up drama, talking shit to people. It's just you don't focus on what you should actually focus on if you want to be successful on YouTube. You're totally if misguided. More, if I spend more time on my YouTube videos, I when I what, how would I find time to run around aimlessly in Elder Scrolls <laughs> Online? Come on, Scotty. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Brett, Brett should just start a top 10 channel, dude. The 10 bestest movies ever. Dude, it'd be, it'd be Number all about 10, Brett. Tank Girl. <laughs> tank Girl. It'd be, like, it'd be like 10 meanest Brett phone calls. <clears throat> 10 reasons I'm Man, a Christian that's situation. Uploaded. That's it. Well, if that's the case, then why don't you get, like, a job? Well, who's to say I don't have a job? You don't. You don't have uh, a job. You? I'm pretty sure you said that in a video before. Why don't you just answer the fucking question? Do you have a job or not? Why don't you say, I have a job, or I don't have a job? You're right. Who's to say I don't have a fucking job? (laughs) Everything with Brett is so nebulous. You can't ever just be like, let me just be direct with you. Brett, you you really, if you were smarter, you would be a politician, because you don't say anything when you speak. You say absolutely fucking nothing. Unless Unless it's an insult to someone else. Yeah, Brett should put in his fake teeth and just lose some weight and keep that black hair dye in and start wearing suits and just go run for something. 
if Brett just wants to sit around all day evading uh, simple questions and uh, just sitting on his ass making money, he could be a politician. Like, I agree with you. I think the guy's really just curious, like, hey, why are you doing this? Like, you're not successful. It's not working out. Why do you persist in doing this? And, of course, Brett just frames it as like an attack on him. What video do I have out there that says I don't have a job? It's obvious you don't have a job, Brett. I do have a job. What is it? We do. I'm not going to share any more personal oh, well, you're information. Such a fucking I've already liar, given my real Brett. name and phone number. Why would I tell someone uh, I don't know <laughs> what job I do? <laughs> yeah, because it's hard to say I'm a, I'm a carpenter. I'm a construction worker. Okay. I work at a fucking One McDonald's. One of the examples so, so I've already learned revealing. being on the internet for as long as I have is someone already found out one thing that I used to do, which was I wrote books. I have five books out there on the market. You bragged Amazon about market. it, you fucking moron. What are you fucking yeah. talking about, Brett? You promoted those fucking books. You said, people, I remember that shit, Brett. People should buy my book. People should read my book. And now it's people have found out you wrote a fucking book. Well, yeah, no shit. Because you told people about it. Um, Brett's books, the Brett's books did not make him enough money to sustain a living. He, he only pulled nope. that lie out to you too. He, he showed you some vanity press shit and he's like, look, I'm a fucking author. It's like anyone could print these books, Brett. Oh, not- and back in the day, he used to go around saying, I'm a published author. It's like, okay, you self-published, which there's nothing wrong with that. I self-published too, but like, um... I know you didn't sell for shit because uh, Nick Gisburn back in the day told me that as soon as he sold 50 books, he was ahead of you in the fucking sales charts on the fucking <laughs> website we were using at the time. So unless your fucking family ate on 50, like, you know, like 50, you sell 50 books, you make me like, I don't know, three or four dollars a book, maybe. Yeah. So 150 bucks, maybe. Well, let's be generous. Um, so he's made yeah. like almost 10 times that just taking his teeth out for TJ that one time. Well, he did pay him a thousand bucks, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, he only no, paid him he nine hundred. Shorted me. And, what shorted me thirty-seven no, I paid him, I paid him a thousand dollars and fucking. <laughs> no, you uh, didn't. Patreon no, took you its didn't. Uh, fees. No, nope. you didn't. Well, you know what? You should have. You should have paid him above that, so he still received a thousand dollars. You shorted him, TJ. You shorted him the money. Nope, I did not. Yes, you did. All right, whatever. Did Brett receive a thousand dollars? Either way, that's the best gig in life. He's like, that's his job description when he like files to the IRS, like. Like getting TJ to give me money to do shit. Right, <laughs> report money to the IRS. <laughs> yeah, huh. uh, the yeah, IRS right. might be interested in knowing that There's, Brett Keen was given a thousand dollars. He's not even worth it, dude. If he doesn't make enough money, dude, he could be considered. And nobles and a couple other places. Make any money. And the amazing atheist found that out and sent his crew over to. Uh, cause damaging reviews Damn, and such. DJ. So now I don't no, give I out names. No, 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 no. The the shocking lack of quality of the books is what caused the bad reviews, Brett. <laughs> yes, <laughs> those were those were there years before we ever covered you on this show. You dipshit. Oh, uh, you know what, Brett? Try to actually read your book aloud to, to us. I, w- I would love to see it, right? Because it is the way oh, you God. wrote the book. It's it's impossible to do that. Like you have to stop and say, like, what is this? Is even this is even proper grammar, Brett? Your grammar is atrocious. You Damien snarled as a <laughs> you hand don't know how came to out of the shadows and cohesive. grabbed him by the neck. You don't establish him about characters like a limp fish. And, and dude, don't, don't you know how characters appear randomly? So it's just like, and then this guy shows up, and it's like, who's this guy? What is he? Why is he there? And then he's like, he attacks them or he embraces them. He's like, you don't even know what they're going to be like. You don't even know. And then, but then sometimes he writes the characters like ultra fucking evil, like he twirled his mustache and laughed maniacally. Suddenly a white van pulled up and some ninjas popped out and started fighting. <laughs> Pociferon showed up with his brothers Polyphemus and Jim Beam. They both started accosting Lilith, who summoned... <laughs> I can't even make up names fast enough. Asmodeus. Stalker. As, yeah. Well, stalker, yeah, Asmodeus. stalker. Asmodeus. Asmodeus was wearing a long black trench and Doc Martin boots. <laughs> uh. Well, I mean, like, I'm just asking, I'm not asking you for anything specific. Do you, like, like, uh, are you still a writer? Just under a different name or something? Do you work for a business? Do you work for, I don't know, something like that? Like I'm not, I'm not going to ask, like, what business or anything if you do. There's some things that I do, but I, unfortunately, I can't share that. Why not? That's, right. That's so vague. <laughs> There's some like, things do you, that I do. Brad, do you work for a business? 
How about uh, what does that reveal about anything about you, Brent? Do you breathe oxygen? I can't reveal that, guys. The ways of the manatee are mysterious, Scotty. He's talking about it like it's some ancient myth or something. It's the mystery of the manatee. Yeah, you're not going to ever know. Look, anytime there's some there's someone like this and they won't answer the question, we all know, Brett. We all know. Just say, you know what? I don't have a job. Just say it, Brett. It's it. We already know. <laughs> Just fucking free hero. yourself, Brett. Tonight is Scotty's turn to flip out on Brett. Apparently, <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> we all do take turns. So why did you beat your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I believe everything that you hear on the internet, especially from guys who get drunk and do drugs on their podcasts. Seriously. Uh, cool. I'm not. That's from multiple people saying you have done drugs. Uh, not done drugs. Uh, get your wife. Okay, who said all that? Who said all that? Multiple people. Your fucking in. record says hey, that, Brad. Um, Sighted in it. Yeah, the criminal record that people can go look up says that. What are you talking yeah, about? Who says called. that? Who says know, that? The, you're, you're, oh, the ahead. state of your Missouri sheet, criminal bitch. justice system says that. <laughs> yeah, your rap sheet says that, bitch. What are you talking about? Who says that? Isn't he a YouTuber who uh, also sat there and did a cartoon of Bionic Dance, who's an atheist, choking to death and having a seizure, biting her own tongue off? You really are going to take anything from someone who does stuff like that to other non believers? Is he talking about Psy-10? Yeah, he's talking about Psy-10 atheist. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously not just him. Like, Mr. Repsion, uh, I'm not going to... I don't Mr. really Repsion like Mr. hates... Mr. Repsion hates his own life. He made a video <laughs> where he said he was going to blow his brains out, and I called the police What's and had him stop. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Mr. Repsion. Nothing he swatted said. Mr. Repsion. <laughs> Repsian. This is the classic. Brand Anyone Pittman. who attacks me is yeah. a piece of shit, you guys. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just a, but it's a pivot away from whatever's being asked. Brett will never answer a question directly. It's always just like, let me talk about these other people. It's like Brett, they're asking you a question about you. Repsian. Answer the fucking question. Patreon, Repsian. You actually had to go get some help for a little while there. Didn't you ever hear about that? Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, but he what? doesn't really change his life anymore. He's on antidepressants. He, I mean, he's pretty well yeah, off right bro, now. Yeah, unlike you other people you trying to solve their problems in their life. You know that he was looking to kill himself, and he was actually called a oh, pussy by fuck? TJ. If it wasn't for what me making a do? phone call and uh, other God believers being he's concerned deflecting. about him, he may he's not totally be deflecting. here today this has nothing making to do with videos. Anything. You know, he's so slimy. It always goes back to TJ. It always goes back to TJ. Of course. Yeah. Well, Cheetah's the Machiavellian genius that destroyed if his life. On Brett King's like little wall with all the fucking YouTube conspiracies on it, all the fucking pins and circles lead but, back but to you me. know what's great? You I'm know, in the center with you know all what's the so lines great? coming towards me. It's sometimes in the narrative you have to be a genius, and then other times in the narrative you're a fucking total moron that can't fucking tie his own shoes. Yeah, it just depends TJ, on the, me- the needs of the video. Always, TJ has always been the gold finger to my double O situation. <laughs> 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 All right, well, you know, me and Brent had our drama. Yeah, let's watch bring up TJ. One. I was like, what? Yeah. Oh, he was obsessed with TJ. He's in love with TJ. Yeah, he is. All right, uh, this is a this is his newest video on one of his channels. It's Can You Help Me? Need New Camera? No Obligations. Oh, God, Thank Brent. you. Wow. You still they, have it, Brent. They wouldn't give me money for a car, but Brent. they'll give me money for a camera. It's so obvious you're Hello, fucking scamming, Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Dude. My Come name on. is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. As many of you know, I've been using like an dude, old blog wait, wait, to wait, record wait. my... Is this the same fucking guy that gave you so much fucking endless shit about e-bagging, TJ? Like, you're an e-bagging piece of shit. What about not productive? What about this? What about the RV trip? And then every fucking week he has a new thing that suddenly needs to be replaced. I need, a, I need a car for my family. I need to fucking send my kids to the school. I need to do this. Oh, now I need a new fucking camera. Brett, isn't it just a coincidence anytime you need fucking money that suddenly you, something in your life just breaks and you need these fucking people on the internet to help Dude, you? If he gets this camera, it'll be like three videos, get shot on it, and then I'll be right back to recording to the, the webcam. Yeah, because he actually has to work.
Brett's not never gonna fucking w- really work, so he's not gonna do this. Man, and I actually love- sitting around editing a video is too fucking hard situation. Let's see. Last week, I made an impassioned <laughs> plea to my audience to help me get a car for my son who's going off to school, and I got two dollars. Huh. Let's try and get a camcorder for myself. What are you thinking? Like, what is the thought process? Nobody's going to give you enough money to buy a fucking pack of Top Ramen. Brett, no one wants to fund your Much fucking lifestyle. A- that's the end of that's the, that's the bottom line, Brett. We all know this is to fund your lifestyle, and no one wants to fund it. Okay, buddy? You, you, you can be any more fucking clear. We don't want to fund you being a lazy, fat piece of fucking shit that sits around your fucking house all day doing nothing yeah. and acting like you're a fucking victim. Fuck you. They want to fund my lifestyle instead, so I can sit around well, my you know house what? and be people, a fat Yes, because people like you. There's actually people out there, TJ, that find you entertaining and like what you do. What a fucking shock. Because you actually focus on what the fuck you're doing. Because your job is to be an entertainer. What, when has Brett ever been fucking entertaining? When has Brett ever entertained anyone that's his fucking original thought? Never. Whoever fucking wants to. <laughs> Brett, you're only entertaining when it's unintentional. That is it. You were fucking fun to be a made, made, of, made fun of. You as just yourself, when anyone has ever watched anything you've done, show me a time where it's like, oh, Brett, that was a really original point that you came up with yourself. <laughs> when have you ever come with anything? You're a fucking void. You're a fucking just a human parasite. All right. Tell us how you really feel. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> open video. Shit, the camera, audio though. is terrible. I have to go through a lot of shit Jesus. in order to remove all the terrible background. And on top what do you, of wait, that, wait, 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 so wait, 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 wait. Let's let's pause this for a second. He just said that the audio on his camera is terrible. Brett, you're sitting in front of a fucking Yeti microphone yeah. in every one of your videos. You retard. What are you talking about? Well, maybe it's terrible because he doesn't actually know how to use it. Because like literally, yeah. when you get the when you get the blue Yeti, there's a thing. It's like it literally shows like a monkey or whatever, and it's like do this, don't do this. Or oh, Yeti, yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, where's but, my uh, Yeti but it tells you. It tells you right Stop. fucking there. Stop speaking into the tip of your Yeti, and maybe your sound quality will improve, <laughs> retard. Yeah. No, Paul, that requires effort, something Brett is completely unwilling to put in. Well, except to drama. Right. He's willing to do that. I've got every new game console. I can afford a subscription to Elder Scrolls Online, but I need the <laughs> internet to buy me a new camera. Yeah, what are you doing? Like video. for decorative purposes, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, and yeah, anything Brett wants, he, he suddenly has. He, he always has anything little bullshit that he wants, any little creature comforts. Oh, Brett, Brett's got well, it. But then, he, but anything else in his life, he actually really needs. You know what? Get this though, Scotty. <laughs> get this though. Okay, what? Brett says it's okay if you want to get him a used camera. He's okay with that. So, I mean, can't you give him credit there, Scotty? <clears throat> He's okay fuck with the no. used one, dude. I, I'm okay getting something for free. Uh, who the fuck isn't Brett? Who the fuck, you know, someone's like, I want to give you a used red one, Scotty. I'm not going to be like, oh, well, it's used. Oh, well, I don't want it. The camera he wants is like 181 bucks. And it's, 99 uh, He spends more than that on his fucking gaming. Why can't he afford this camera? Yeah. If he has a fucking job, which he claims to have, shouldn't he have fucking money to buy this camera? <laughs> Brett, so you, you heard of fucking logic, dude? You heard your fucking story uh, adding up? I do things. Do your stories like, don't I do, add I, up. I do things, Scotty. Yeah, he just said. He I, had, he I do various things that I can't discuss situation. Did I, if Brett was here, I'd take this microphone and beat the fucking shit out of him with it. He's so fucking stupid and dense. So violent. Damn you're right I'm violent. You watch an old VHS tape whenever you're watching my videos. If anyone would like to help me out there, I don't mind if you want to uh, buy a used camera for seventy nine or a new oh, one for ninety nine through Prime on Amazon. Just simply click Add to Cart. I'm going to put the link in the description if you're interested in getting this for me. That way I can record better videos. There's a lot of YouTubers out there, both popular as well as starting out, who ask for support and help every once in a while. Brett, when you're not willing to invest in the thing that you're supposed to use to make your content, when you're not willing to make that basic investment, how can anyone take you fucking seriously, dude? You're literally saying... Oh, go ahead, Paul. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, like, the excuse he used, and a lot of YouTubers who are uh, uh, new or just starting out or, or who are successful ask for help. You're neither of those things. You're neither new and just starting out nor successful. So why would anybody buy you a fucking camera? 
It's just so hypocritical. Dude, about him success is just Keen. around the corner for him, though, dude. Any day now. Yeah. Brett Keane's big break is just on the horizon. Yep. Just right there. You can almost reach out and grab it. I challenge Brett know. to come to Seattle and, and join me and Paul. Wow. No it, fucking way would he do it. Didn't Brett Keane say he wanted to fight you one time? Yes. Maybe. He wanted to fight oh. me. All of it. He wanted to fight me, TJ, Paul. I was the it was it was all the drunken peasants then me and then some other people. I was the fifth one he wanted to fight in that order. Damn. It was like it was like TJ, Paul, Scotty, you, and then me. Yeah, whatever, and, whatever. Yeah. Brett doesn't want to fight any fucking buddy. That's yeah. that real shit. You know what? When uh, I, I, I want to see him stand for twenty fucking minutes. Yeah, he wants to, he wants to fucking fight, Brett. Let's go jog around the fucking block. Let's see where you're at. I will fight. I will fight, Brett. I, I will. I mean, I, you would yeah. destroy Brett. Anyone, pretty much anyone here, could destroy Brett with ease. Like all you gotta do I is mean, make it's like Brett swing. Like a three-year-old child. Yeah, <laughs> now make Brett swing like four or five times. Oh shit, guys, hold up, time out. Yeah, I want to fight you. That was the worst. That uh, anybody should feel obligated. If you don't want to, don't do it. Um, but this could okay, really come no, down. Nobody I've will. Watched a lot no, of nobody, nobody, nobody will. will right. And this apparently is cheap, and it has good audio and video on it. So, yeah. feel like doing something nice. My birthday's coming up as well as Christmas, <laughs> and I could really, <laughs> really need <laughs> a new camera. Thing. Or like my birthday's we could just stick up. to me recording I, I the screen and talking my to my microphone really like, like I'm doing you know, right come now. On, dude. But that's not very entertaining. Or ex- dude, I just wish I could. I, I, I won't do this. But, I mean, it'd be fun to just buy this camera and make a video like, hey, Brett, I got that camera you want, and then just smash it. Do it. <laughs> oh, no, I'm you have to do it. Fuck that, do it. Yeah, nah, dude, man. no bullshit. Then I'm going to do it. Fuck I ain't you. spending the money. If you want to spend the yeah, money I'm just doing to it. fucking do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay. It'll be worth the investment. Watch that comment section blow up. <laughs> Yeah, That's I'm, the I'm, subreddit. I'm going to destroy it. Fuck that, dude. What is it called? Subreddit's going to go crazy. Zoom Q4 yeah. handy I'm video fuck, I'm buying this and destroying this, dude. <laughs> Fuck you, Brett. That's what I'm going to say. Hey, Brett, guess what? Bam, bam, bam. There you go, dude. I'll send this to you, buddy. Yeah, I will. Brett, I will send it to you after I'm done with it. If you're interested. Just mark it used. Yeah, it's, it's used. <laughs> Exciting, is it? <laughs> All right. It's up to you. Link's in the yeah, description. Yeah, it's not going to happen, bless. Brett. Easy. Keep on dreaming. It's up to you. Up to you, man. Just please, no obligation situation. Please, buy me a camera. It's my birthday. Birthday. I'm I'm birthday boy, Brett. Come on, guys. So I think it's about time to wrap it up. Uh, Before we go, just remind everyone. Was the show so short now? It's It's not short. (laughs) Why do they do this to us? They hate their fans, dude. Fuck the fans and hate the fucking fans. Fuck was that? Oh, you hate us. Oh, man, I thought... Why do they hate the fans so much? Yeah. Yeah, after the last episode, uh, TJ was a dramatic, doing dramatic readings of posts from the DP subreddit. Yeah, that was pretty funny. I should, uh... Yeah, me and Paul were thinking about maybe putting out a video of that. Oh, you guys should do it. It's gonna be fun. But we'll see. You're making me feel bad for him now. Poor dude. Oh, yeah. whatever. I'm sure he's a nice guy in real life. I'm, I'm sure he's him in the hall. Whatever, he's not. Yeah. I'd flick boogers at him in class. <laughs> you guys are so mean. Oh, you know what? Um, we're we're about to uh, not cover this next person for a while, so uh, we we're we're getting it out of our system because at the beginning of next year, for several months, minimum, we will not be covering the manatee. So he's a recent uh, he's a recent friend of yours, Dusty. By the way, he he made a Is video it? that was very very conciliatory towards you. <laughs> he likes oh, you well, because I you're against it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he likes you. He did a whole review Anyone of your who's against your us. Segment. Also, he, I'm glad I made a fan. There you go. There man. you go. Yeah, I don't know anything Rock about on. him except for you guys don't like him. I've never seen a video of his. I've never had a conversation with well, him. I don't know go. a damn thing about him. But individual <laughs> situation. Check out the beautiful. <sighs> the individual Brett Keen segment situation. I hate to interrupt, but have you guys noticed I look like? If Brett Keen and Steve Shives had a baby, ah! just like that. exactly what I fucking look like. 
Yeah, go ahead. You, you, uh, I'm not going to correct you on that. <laughs> I mean, like, what the <laughs> fuck? It's true. All right, all right. Um, this is a video of Brett poning the shit out of Paul's girlfriend. Oh, she was so nice. oh shit! I loved her. She was really sweet. She, yeah, yeah. Well, now she, she's, she's gotten. Awesome. Now she's. By the way, poned. I'd, I'd like to point out that Brett made and uploaded this video on Christmas fucking Eve. This is what the yes. manatee was doing like, on Christmas Eve. Or nothing. He was dissing his girlfriend. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Christian of him. <laughs> I know. You know what? You should you should do a parody of "Twas the Night Before Christmas" as Brett Keen. You know, yeah. "Twas the Night Before Christmas." It was an individual situation around the tree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website. God Look how TV evil Radio. Paul looks com. there, dude. I know, dude. You see the three pictures. He's always my- he's always given us shit because we smoke weed, but we're in a place where it's perfectly legal. Not to, to mention smoke. he definitely smokes weed. Yeah, Me what too. a lion sack of shit. Look at him laying in bed. This motherfucker lays in bed and makes videos. Look at look at his dirty socks in the background and shit. I mean, seriously. The wife. Beautiful woman. Fantastic. My children are wonderful as well. Are they? Let's take a listen to Paul, and then we're going to do a little bit of a contrast. Mm-hmm. Kind of put him to the test or something. There you go, sucking on a bong. Oh, shit. He smokes. That what a fucking monster. Devil's weed. Vapor here. So the man... <coughs> well, I'll wait. <coughs> I'll wait. I got a viper. You're sucking on a He's so stupid. Right like now. He's so inept at making videos. He doesn't know how to like queue up a timestamp on a video so he doesn't have to fucking go hunting for shit. So it just takes him 20 minutes to find the part that he wants to berate me about. That's awful. He hasn't lost his mind. He's just dumb. But uh, we're going to take care of business with Brett <coughs> one way or the other. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take care of business with Brett. I want to do it. Yeah, uh, we're going to make a we're going to make a shirt. Like he I want you a pussy. <laughs> he was like <laughs> Yeah, dude, the man is real mad. <laughs> me, hold on, I'll play that again. <laughs> Call me a pussy? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> With Brett, my viper together. <laughs> we're going to take care of business with Brett. You ain't gonna do shit, yeah, uh, pussy. we're gonna make a we're gonna make a shirt. Like I wanted to, like my first thought was you ain't gonna do shit, pussy. <laughs> He's so mean. You ain't gonna do shit, pussy. <laughs> what? Put my fucking face on a t-shirt and sell it, Brett, and tell me I'm not gonna do shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what happened. Go the, the 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 high road, right? And send a cease and desist letter and inform Teespring of his fraudulent campaign. See, and- like Dusty. We made we had someone draw a cartoon of a manatee that somewhat resembled Brett. Yes, uh, we, yeah, we we've never we've never took a, a photo of Brett's face and put it on a T-shirt or anything like right. that. Um, so he, yeah, but it's it's he, supposed to be him though. Everybody knows that. I mean, so. I mean no, it's, it's a manatee, drawing. Yeah. It's a drawing, it's and it's it's not even it's not even like a, a realistic likeness of him. It's a cartoon. It's a cartoon. <clears throat> I mean, I agree. I don't, yeah. I, don't think he, I don't think he has any rights to say you guys can't sell him or anything. But I mean, it's clear it's supposed no. to be him. But but what no, he whatever. see? But we we discussed we discussed putting you know would we ever put a picture of Brett on a shirt? And we said no, that'd be going too far because it's like a photo of his face, and we would just be selling it like that. But what he did exactly that? He put Paul's face on a shirt, just like a photo of his face, and it said Paul's ego over it, like he was trying to like act like it was like official Paul's ego merchandise or something. That is quite I thought, different, I agree. I yeah. thought it was berating him or something. It did. It said Paul's ego on top, but then Paul's it said ego, cringe master then, underneath. Yeah. I'm but that still master. that still seems like it's it's Paul's ego merch you know to what? me. You know what, Paul? You know what you need to do to not be the cringe master anymore? You what? need to lay in bed in your pajamas and... Let your dirty socks be in the camera frame in the background. Yeah, Paul, what are you sitting up for? Get on the fucking floor, dude. Yeah, dude, lay down on the guys, floor you guys, on your belly. If you, guys, if you guys want me to, I will fucking. It'll Do take it. me one minute. I'll call back Do from it. my belly. 
do it, right, Paul. Fair Get your right fucking ass on the damn floor, bitch. <laughs> Good job. God. So, are you guys gonna let him sell these T-shirts, or are you gonna follow? No, lawsuit he's look. In, in uh, fairness, well, he 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 pulled out of that. Yeah, yeah. But, Whatever. But, and he's bringing this up just now. This happened weeks ago. Yeah, it's it was. This is resolved. All I don't this even know bullshit. What. But then somebody on Twitter said, "Yeah, you know something." And it because he's bringing up something so Paul said about TJ Dorn tomorrow. and this. Um, I didn't watch his video. No, but I'll watch it later. I'm not too concerned with it because. I've already, Brett uh, tweeted me tonight, and it's a Teespring campaign, and I clicked on it, and it's a picture of my face, an actual picture of me from one of my videos, and above it it says, like, Manatee, I'm going to fucking sue you if this is still up in 24 hours. I'm going to have Dorn on it. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to talk to the guys about selling a fucking shirt with a picture of Dorn on it. Uh, I don't know. I haven't decided on the caption yet. We might go with, like, uh, Beat Me Please or Dorn Hub. Um, but it's definitely going to be a picture of his fucking wife from one of his videos. And we're going to put that fat bitch's ugly fucking face on a shirt, and we're going to sell it. And when I get the money from the Dorn shirt, I'm going to spend it on something real nice. And then I'm going to make a video on my channel, and I'm going to show Brett what I bought with his fucking wife's ugly fat fucking face. So we're going to do it that way instead, um, unless Brett wants to take the take the shirt down. But if it's still up at this time tomorrow and the guys are amenable to it, then that'll go up, and we'll let you guys know about it on the show. If the guys don't want to run it... Doesn't it look like he should be writing in his diary, like, Dear Diary? I've always said that. It's like a teenage girl who comes home, collapses into her bed, and starts fucking writing away in her journal. Johnny smiled at me today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wonder if he's going to ask me to the prom. I really hope so. I, I, I know this is going to make me a pussy, but that was really mean what you said about his wife. Uh, Do you know her? I mean, it was. Uh, I, don't, I don't like a, making fun of people's weight, calling them fat and ugly and shit. That's mean, yeah. in my opinion. That's just me, though. I'm sensitive yeah. like that. Uh, well, Paul's not here right now. He's d- setting this other shit up, but he can answer for Does himself. He he read. I would say, okay, personally, that's... I don't do that. Um, Paul can defend his statement. I, I don't... I don't talk smack. I will say that uh, Brett does put his the members of his family out there, pretty much hoping that people will say stuff about them, so that he can use that as leverage against people. All right. Well, that's stupid if he does that. But I don't know. I just I have a big heart, and I feel really bad for people. And if she watches that and had her feelings hurt, that just makes me feel bad. But that's but, just me. But, but, but Dusty, I've seen you say some of the most like insensitive shit on Facebook and stuff. I, I mean. Me? Like, <laughs> what have I ever said about anybody? <laughs> okay, maybe I'm a hypocrite. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I can I can roll with that. Um, yeah, I don't know what fucking is taking Paul so long to lie down on the fucking ground. Fucking ground. What the fuck is that? Okay, this isn't even worth it anymore, Paul. Okay, yeah, you took well, too long, Paul. Oh, what are you doing? You so, uh, Paul, Paul, can you hear me? Yeah, Paul. Dusty yeah, yeah. takes Dusty takes issue with what you said to Dorn. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Well, why? You sound you like shit. Whoa, ugly, Paul! You sound terrible, makes... dude. I sound terrible. Okay, go on. Go. Uh, sorry, Dusty. Whatever. Go ahead. Go ahead, Dusty. I was just gonna say because you called her fat and ugly, and that just makes me feel bad for her because I don't know her, and she might be a lovely person. Hello? Are you serious? <laughs> Useless Paul, dude. What? It wasn't <laughs> worth it to have him get on the fucking floor. <laughs> it's just not worth it. I it thought, was a joke. I thought it'd yeah. be funny. This gag has gone instead, all wrong. Instead, it's just a fucking train wreck. Whatever. Paul ruined the show by listening right. to my stupid fucking right, suggestion. Really oh, there he is. Okay, there you go. You're better. You sound better right. on my end. Okay. Now, go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm back where I'm supposed to be. So go ahead, Dusty. Oh, I'm just saying that I feel bad for his wife because you got her fat and ugly and she might be a lovely person in real life. And I just kind of have a big heart for people like that. Okay. Well, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I, Dorn's not a lovely person. So, <laughs> Have you met her? I mean, uh, have you talked to her? Or has she talked to you? Or? Uh, yeah, I've talked to her on several okay. occasions. And I've okay, dealt with my her real by, name. Proxy, by proxy through Brett for about 10 years. Um, she's, okay. she's basically the same as he is. And... Uh, Whatever. Well, if you, if you uh, know but, her, 
Then maybe she's a fat bitch. <laughs> oh, whatever. I mean, I'm fucking fat too. So I guess maybe pointing the finger in that way was wrong. But I don't know I'm very much about her, so I, I usually don't talk about her. Yeah, and uh, the thing about it is, uh, Paul was pretty pissed. I mean, like Paul fucking uh, like f- a few minutes later in the broadcast was like, you know what, Dawn didn't actually do anything to me. I- I'll put the manatee's yeah. face on the shirt, you know. So it was like, yeah, he re- he rethought it and he fucking backed down from that because he course. realized it was too far. And, and uh, know, then I'll just thing, make so. a campaign for myself. I'll open my <laughs> spring and. I'll let you guys know about it on the show and on my Twitter. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to make some money on that dumpy fucking bitch. Damn. <laughs> put my face on another Damn. shirt, Brett. I'll, I'll find a nice picture of your boy, and I'll put it on there, and I'll put Waterhead above his fucking head, and I'll sell that one, too. In fact, fuck it, I'll do your whole family. I'll make a Justin Keen shirt. I'll make a fucking Brett shirt. <laughs> Try me, manatee. I'll See, make like, bank on your fucking fat ass. Rant. Just... The whole point of this rant on Periscope, well, number one, I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. I was pissed off that the manatee had sold a shirt with my fucking face on it, um, but it was to illustrate to him the ridiculousness of what he was doing. Like he, he he's always claiming how we're attacking his family and shit. And he puts my fucking face on a shirt and I was just showing him like this is this is what I could do in response to this. Put your fucking wife on a shirt. Put your gums on a shirt and put gum jorb underneath it. But yeah, dude, he, he pulls jorb. this like two minute. He pulls this two minute clip of what was probably a 15 or 20 minute rant where by the end of it, I'm saying, you know what? You, you put go ahead and I, at the end of it, I tell him, go ahead and put the shirt back up, Brett. Put my face back on a T-shirt and sell it. And I'm going to put your fucking gums on a T-shirt and we'll see who sells more. <laughs> I think that's you more should. than fair. I mean, that sounds fair to me. I think it should put back yeah. up, and you should. And I do also that. told him. Like- I also told him that if he chose to put my girlfriend's face on a shirt, I'd put his fucking wife's face on a shirt. I mean, quid pro quo, man. He shouldn't do that. That's bullshit. It's like I always do, dipshit. Hmm. Hmm. Well, isn't huh. that interesting? An atheist actually endorses this fucking piece of trash. Let's take a look at something. <laughs> hmm. You were saying, I'm not going to say a word, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even have to say a word about what we're looking at right now. I'm okay, going to leave so, it up so to your fucking let, imagination. Can I, can I say a word about what we're looking at right now? Yeah, go we're ahead. We're looking at a picture, a picture of my girlfriend, Ashley, from a live, a live shot. I guess this, like, he scrolled four minutes and 16 seconds into our video, so I guess this was the shot where she looked really <laughs> ugly to him. <laughs> Um, people do it to me too. I totally know how that so is. That's yeah. That's my girlfriend Ashley, live and recently within a couple of months. And the pictures on the right are pictures of Dorn from various eras, all with weird fucking color filters <laughs> and shit <laughs> over them. I, I met your girlfriend. At, she was Brett. very lovely and very cute. I well, delight thank you. Here is the ugliest possible picture I could find of your yeah. girlfriend versus as best as I could make my wife look with all my might. You know what? The, the one exactly. in the middle, she's totally fair. The one in the middle, she's blue, just like Brett when he was in his blue phase. Yeah. Should we sell? We should sell the Gorm Jorb shirt. Let Gorm Jorb. Let let Brett sell the fucking Paul shirt. Who gives a I, shit? That's, that's what I told him. We should him. have one. We should him. have one of uh. We should have one of Brett giving Palm Jam a, a gum job and it should say Gorm Jorm Gorm Jorb. Yeah. On it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Everyone, yes. artists, get to work. Gorm Jorb. Get to work Gorm on that. Jorb. I don't know if we can do that Gorm one on Gorm uh, Jorb. Teespring, but we can put it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god let's take a look at something down here okay did paul ever give you a beard jorb <laughs> holy shit you do look like a 12 year old hey she's now 13 Brett still doesn't get the joke. People? Are you reading the fucking YouTube comment? What are you fucking you see, doing? Paul's all reading upset because I said show. the girl looks young. What? What, Paul? Oh, no. Oh, sorry, nothing. I, I, oh. I didn't know. It, I don't even remember what I said. And even I mean, it's so DC obvious. It's just really butthurt that you talked about his wife, and he's just trying to slam you back because you hurt his feelings. I mean, even it's obvious. He's this. really hurt. Even before this, he was suggesting that um, 
he was suggesting that Paul's girlfriend may be underage. And actually, ironically enough, um, one time Brett was having a hangout, and one of the people in his hangout suggested that your girlfriend, Dusty, is underage. Um, totally. Yeah. She's 15, they, finally. They, they love to do this shit. Like, Brett, Brett loves to do this shit. I mean, um, in his yeah. defense, my girlfriend does look underage, so I totally get that. I mean, he's he's called TJ a, a pedo before. I mean, yeah. like he uh, th- there was a guy named Happy Cabby that he had called a pedo. That's that's like his go to uh, smear. It's one of them scammer too. Yeah, that's but, not cool. it, I mean, like scam, like you know, calling someone a pedo is like the, the, that's like pedos in prison are hated by murderers and shit. You know yeah. what I mean? That's like the lowest of the low. So that's why why he tries to like label people that way well he does that to direct he, he does that as like a reputation damage thing and then he does the their scammers as like a money damage thing right like trying to convince people yeah. not to support us on patreon and stuff like that yep that's dickish of him for sure that's our man that's, that's what he does though i mean this is just his modest operandi like dusty just, earlier you were like man it's obvious that he's hurt so he's lashing out anything hurts him dusty like, I know. I feel bad for I've him, tried. though. I just but feel look, so I've sad tried, for him. I've tried. Me and Paul have sat down and been like, look, let's be nice to the manatee and try to encourage his good behavior because he's, he's in a nice phase. Let's just try to encourage nope. him. Let's just How did try. It go? All this shit came out that he was actually just planning, our, trying to plot our demise. The entire time. Yeah. That we're trying to help him. We're trying to help him. We're trying ask, to, we even did interviews for his channel where we sat down and like, look, let's let's fucking give him some actual views. It seems like he's trying to take his channel in a new direction. Let's do that. Let me but, let me see if you still feel bad for him after this, Dusty. Uh, just recently, this is a very recent manatee thing. He's done worse than this in the past, or at least on par with this. But this is recent. You know, have you heard of Joseph Martelli on on YouTube in your circles? All right, no. he's a he's a guy that's very clearly mentally ill. Um, and has made threats <coughs> on Instagram and other places with guns. He showed up to one of our meetups um, after making some veiled, thinly veiled threats with, about guns. He actually took a bus from uh, where he lives in New York all the way to Ohio That's just scary. to show up at one of our meetups. And uh, he got uh, the guys, uh, some of the guys uh, on the show here's personal information from Brett Keen. And recently... Uh, he gave my new address in, in Washington to uh, Joseph Martelli, uh, where my family will live, uh, where my girlfriend and my dog will be, and then made it public. So now where I live, uh, at least the building that I'm going to be living in, is pretty much public knowledge. All thanks to the big blue-shirted, beluga, fucking ugly-looking <laughs> manatee piece of fucking toothless shit on the fucking screen there. You still feel bad for him, Dust? I feel less bad for him, but still a little bit. <laughs> He's kind of up at the, I don't know. I, yes, I do feel bad for him. I'm sorry to say, but I, that is a dickish thing for him to do. And I don't like, I understand. That's what not a dickish thing that. to do. That's a, that's a, that's a potentially criminally dangerous thing for him to do. I, 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 I have a feeling if it was your fucking home address and uh, this guy was fucking sniffing around your butthole, you wouldn't be feeling bad for the guy that passed that info along to him. <laughs> I mean, he can go to my house if he wants to. I just film him. I think it's funny, but you're probably right. If he attacked me that way, I probably wouldn't feel nearly as bad for him. I'm sure it's because he didn't attack me that way that I feel that way. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, God TV. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, any comments well, on, Justin. on Um, Justin, you know your brother. Why would you ever give this man a firearm? Why would you ever? He claims that Justin Keene bought him this pistol. TVRadio.com. Yeah. My brother recently purchased me a handgun. And um, <clears throat> one of the reasons why is because I've been having That's people fantastic actually showing up at my house there, really late at night um, with some pretty disturbing issues. Yeah. So. Oh, I see. You know, so much like a bad version of me. It's crazy. (laughs) I see because so because we're accusing you of doxing us. Your immediate response is people are coming to my house. That's why I got this gun. See. It's like oh my god. You know what? You're so fucking transparent. 
Gun this is why I'm bear. glad you know. This is you know, why I'm glad we're not you know covering you after the first for a while. Yeah, me too. You know my position on guns, but for me, when a dipshit like Brett feels the need to pull his fucking gun out and wave it around in a video, it's one of the I hate to use the word most cringy fucking things I see on the internet. <laughs> a fucking fake hard ass waving around a fucking pistol. The dude clearly doesn't even know how to handle his pistol. He had his fucking finger through the trigger guard. He's going to blow somebody's fucking head off accidentally. Maybe it'll be his own. Before, I never wanted to own a gun, but <clears throat> can't very well allow my family to be put in some kind of issues. So <laughs> I purchased a gun. <laughs> Well, I didn't that purchase sounds a gun. Fake. My brother got. The- yeah, see, I was yeah. always talking about. Oh, my family, my family. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't want his family. I don't want my family to be faced with any issues behind the scenes. Here's Paul's egos <clears throat> address, crazy weirdo. Here's his girlfriend. Yeah, here's yep. his. Here's where his girlfriend is going to sleep and walk his dog. Gone. Is what it is. So yeah, all right. Today we're going to tell the full story about Happy Happy. I've had people out there leave comments. Are we even going to revisit this, or are no. we just going to play the part where you no. had the gun? All right, so here's a little yeah. bit more, Brett, and then no. we're going to move on. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my <laughs> website, <laughs> GodTVRadio.com. <laughs> Doesn't he sound interesting? I mean, like, he just pulls you in with his dynamic personality. It's magic. Doesn't this video have a really magic interesting every time. title? Isn't it like TJ Micromanagement... The Amazing false Atheist dichotomy. False Dichotomy Micromanagement. <clears throat> it's fucking Twitter. Also, subscribe to my brother Justin Keen if you're into music and check out my gaming channel Straight if out you're of into games. Yeah. He has a gaming channel? All sure. links can be found in the uh, kind of. description. So I've been you having some people that. telling. Yeah. It's more like a travesty. <laughs> Me it's more like watching a watching a atheist, basic piece of shit lay on his stomach and play Elder Scrolls online for eight hours at a clip. <laughs> that but, sounds I mean, like I guess you, I guess you can heavily while doing it. Who <sighs> came from the drunken peasants? Oh, who came to my <sighs> channel? Who may have subscribed or watched? Some oh of yeah, yeah. We told everyone to unsubscribe to Brett. Everyone that that's like fans of ours. Oh yeah, and and he did since then hide his subscription numbers. And this is this is his video where he's he's pissed about that. Hashtag star of the manatee. Star of the manatee. My videos unsubscribe so he can prove some kind of point to show that I'm not getting views unless he tells people to go check me out. Okay. Let's see if that's correct. <clears throat> um, this is that's an a very weird false dichotomy that you have there, TJ. Okay. I don't what? doubt that there are DP fans how of is yours. That a false dichotomy. I don't understand how it's even a dichotomy. <laughs> <laughs> he presented he presented <laughs> one position and then called it a false dichotomy. How does that make sense? Does it even, doesn't, does it? No, did, it doesn't. So, so he doesn't know what a false dichotomy is. No. False singularity. Roger that. <laughs> No, the little 15-year-olds that watch your shit. All right, do you ID all the people that watch our shit? Because uh, I, I just have... <clears throat> I, I we don't do know. DP meetups that are 21 plus and tons of people show up. Yeah, I mean, like a couple hundred people will show up. So, I mean, and, and there are clearly people that are not 15 that watch our show. Obviously, there, there's going to be some. There's going to be some younger people. But it, you just make it seem like anyone that contacts you is just like, you know, 15 it's years all, old. It's a bunch of 15 year olds. Yeah. Uh, I think it's cool when a bunch of old emo 30 year olds are doing <laughs> dope. Emo. And, uh, doing dope. Ben is more so punk cool. and I'm, I'm, I'm like fucking maybe like slightly pseudo goth. Yep, pseudo goth. Pseudo hipster goth. I'm hipster Jesus. Someone I'm actually doing, said I look I'm, like I, I'm a homeless hipster goth. Shrooms and all that so. shit. I know. I'm smoking dope and doing shrooms. First of all, uh, you know, I choose to smoke weed and it's legal here. So, I And mean, even if it wasn't, I'd still smoke it. Yeah. So, But it's not a crime here. It's not even considered a bad thing. It's like a business here. I see fucking soccer moms walking into the weed stores. People are here. writing their ages you know? in the chat. 
Most of them are in their yeah. fucking 20s. I'm 31, yeah, I'm 26, six. 32, I'm 25, six. 3, negative 26. Someone's <laughs> negative 26. Wow, they haven't even been born Jesus. yet. They're, they're not born in the future. They're not even. They, <laughs> wow. That's someone that's going to watch us in the future. Holy shit. But they're in the chat now. That's yeah. impressive. Well, that's they're, a they're dedicated time travelers. fucking fan, dude. They're time travelers. 25, 22, 26, 23, 20. Almost all of our fans seem to be in their 20s, Brett. Would you stop with this fucking 15 year old narrative? That's bullshit. Some of these little assholes, when you do the whole manatee thing or, you know, whatever <laughs> retardation or autism you have going at the moment, uh-huh. that they'll come over my YouTube channel. Autism. But do you think that I actually bleed for a moment any of these My Little Pony fucking toy collectors? came to my channel to actually watch or subscribe or view me. And then you sound really butthurt about it. You're trying to act like you don't care. You're going to say that like our fans are just a bunch of assholes and that like, yeah, you know, like you don't care if you don't get there. Brett, how many times have you told me, Brett, that you just want to be left alone? Well, you're going to get that chance. Yep. So for at least, I mean, for me, it's going to be at least three months. So you they want to cover you after a certain time. If it's not it's been at least three months, I'm just going to sit he's, it out because I don't give a fuck. And he's talking about how— I don't want to hear your nasty, disgusting fucking voice. He's trying to make it kind of sound like he's glad that we're asking people to unsubscribe. So I think Brett should make a video— Give him what he wants, asking everybody. Asking our fans to unsubscribe from him. Go ahead and do it. Yes. Do it. And, yes. and you know what? Hey, then, then, yeah. Uh, he's laboring under the fucking how many? fantasy— He's laboring under the fantasy that that the 700 views he does get on a video would still be there if we didn't cover right. him. Right. Right. It's an experiment. I'm not saying we'll never cover Brett again, but we're not going to cover him for a while. <coughs> we're going to give him and a good long We encourage you break. all to unsubscribe. Uh, it's. It, I mean, you can if you want to. It's your choice. Yeah, we're, we're just <clears throat> encouraging you because, like, we. Just I'd wanna, like to see how many of our fans. I want to see how many of our fans. <laughs> Uh, make a dent in his uh, in his view counts. Yeah. yeah, don't touch the poop for two months or three months, guys. Let's see what happens. Is his view count still up? We can see it. Yeah, on yeah, this his video, view count, his view count is up, but his subscriber count is is now being private. Um, his ratings are private. His comments are disabled. He's, can a, you he's, hide the he's totally. I don't think so. Okay, good. I think view counts are public all the time. Um, I, maybe you can hide that. Maybe not. I don't think so. Can actually, you? I don't think so. Maybe you can, they but kind of I don't want to sp- speak as if I know. No, I don't. they came over to be an echo chamber and to simply repeat the same fucking mantra that they hear from you because these little bastards who watch you <laughs> are looking for something sparkly, something bastards. that shines in front of their eyes for the moment. Something now, now that the keeps them defense, from being bored of their do, own irrelevant. You guys say a lot. They do it to me. Like, your fans are the ones that give me the most shit out of anybody, and they all come to my wall, and they all say the same exact goddamn shit over and over again. Just in his defense a little bit. Glanderson Booper. Glanderson Booper. 